Good morning, Twitch.tv. It's a bright and early 8 p.m. morning. Seven Bong. Welcome to the stream. Subscribe to me, please. Please. Come please, to Mark. Please, please. Come to Mark. Thank you. Four months. That's more than three. More than three. Well, three plus one. Three plus one. Four. Four. Hello, everybody in chat. Welcome to the stream. No, it's not five. Not how math works. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. please. Two cups of vegetable oil. You can, you know what you can cook with that? Remember that you can subscribe for free with Twitch Prime. You can. You got Twitch Prime? You get a free sub. I can't elaborate into the mechanisms of Twitch because it's, you know, part of my contract, but... The best kind of subs are regular subs, then Twitch Prime subs. Trog just resubbed. Trog has kicked off the one and only hype train. We're starting the stream with a hype train. Oh my god! Fee! Today I will donate music made of Weblegon. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to turn on media shares. Is yours about to play? I can't tell. Oh yeah, yours is playing. Okay, cool. We're gonna pause that for now. Uh, hey, hey, everybody! Not only is it a hype train. I'm just... sorry, my mom thinks you're ugly, Wayne. If... Oh well, your mom that doesn't that that opinion doesn't matter. Thank you, thank you, Bullock Fifty Four. We are gonna do media shares, but not yet. Don't do the donates yet, okay? Whoever, whoever, Fee, you just did a media share donation. That it's it's in the queue. But please don't put anything in the queue yet, because I don't want to. I don't want to dirty it up. Oh my God, Sim Benry, Vintage Medic. Oh, Vintage Medic with the one year. Congratulations. After Puma J gifting subs. Oh my God, it's a it's a hype please, catastrophe. Please. There's all oh, there's bodies everywhere. Oh. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. thank you. Non-binary rights. Hell yeah. Well, then, gotta announce that we're live on the websites. Oh! 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 I want everyone, go to your window, open it up, and say and scream anything you want. It could be about Wayne Radio TV, you could say hype train, you could say anything. You could yell trans rights out your window. Let's go to heaven, gamers. Let the world know what's going down. Everyone's gonna tune in. I will not, thanks. Don't worry. You will in your sleep tonight. Q Adventure Man. I've just laid the sleeper cell activation code. Please subscribe to me. Please, please. Hey, we're live. Guys, we're live. You have to tune in. You gotta click on the link. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. Guy to Tom Hamhand. What? Subscribe to me, please. <laughs> what? Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. We're fucking live. We've already cleared level five. We're above 100. Subscribe to me, please. Please, please. Oh my please, God. Please, please. You've done it. Thank you, Ooh, Mr. Ooh. Holy shit. I have to thank subscribe so many of you right now. Please, thank you, Kaitos, Ooh, Mr. Ooh. Thank you for joining please, the crew. Thank you, Faceful please, of Bugs, for gifting a sub. I will rank Kiwata with five big gift subs. Holy shit. Subscribe to me, please. Rotten Witch. Please, thank you, Krathian. Oh. Please, 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 don't worry, you don't uh, have to scream. Y -W. Here's the thing, you could tell me, and the sentiment will carry. Hey, Casey. Wayne. In addition to the normal music I will be donating, I've also got one of my own songs that I made that I will be donating later when you turn media shares on. I hope you enjoy it. It is called Luma. Come Thank back you. When you're a little Thank you, Simple Dan, with the <gasps> demon donation. I will now summon demons while you and three of the world's most creative minds begin to dredge up inferno cursed tales built of the world's greatest fears and aspirations. Also, I'm uh -oh. scared and I love it. 
Yo, Bippy Fresh with a massive gift sub, Mothlip choice with some banana coins too. Subscribe to me, please. We please, love those banana please, coins. Please, please. So chat, how are you guys doing tonight? You know what? Hey, who likes a slow mode? Do you guys want to put on a slow mode so I can read a little bit better? Just a bit. It's not it's not gonna be too different. Here we go. Going, yeah. Hey. Okay, we're gonna do a little slow mo tonight. Thank you, Odes Teller. Oh, Fell Render. Thank hey, you so much. Hey, when you were going to explain my kidneys are acting up right before chat oh. decided to bully you with money, would love to actually hear that story. I mean, there's Dr. not a Sex. whole. There's not much of a story there. Is the thing. All right, we're gonna do a. We're gonna do a 10 second slow mode. Let's start with that. Maybe we'll bump it down. Maybe we'll bump it up. Slow mode is activated, which means maybe I can read your messages a little bit better. So, when I said, "Oh, my kidneys are acting up." Scorpion just made me laugh really hard in a way where I was I had been standing up straight in the same exact spot in the same exact spot for over three hours. I, my body was aching. I, I've worked retail. I, I'm used to standing in the same spot for five hours at a time, but I always have something to lean on. Like like if you're at a register, you can kind of lean on the table a little bit. The or you have like padded padded pads for your feet. Thanks, simulating Andrew. this pizza into my biomass using an arcane process known as digestion. Hell yeah. I had some pizza today too. I had some pepperoni slices. Uh, but because I had been standing there for so long, when Scorby made me laugh, I laughed so hard that like, you know, people always say, oh, my sides, because they laugh so hard. That was legitimately like my sides were paining me a huh? massive degree. Huh? Huh? Like it hurt really bad. So I was like, I just have to, I had to just hobble off the screen and turn it off for a second. No, no, I like standing for that long is, is a skill that I need to maintain. I don't, I don't regret doing it at all. There may be a chair next time as like a prop if I can get one that fits. Yo, what five months? Yo, this song is so good. Thank you, Rancis Dead. Thank you, Jolly Ryu. We gonna make you cry before no, the stream not. even starts. Get ready. No, you're not. Thank you. Like I'm, I'm very happy and grateful for all of our streams. Kick off with massive amounts of support, and I could not be more thankful for that. But I won't cry, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. Thank you, Captain Demac. Hello, Wayne. I know it has been a while since you received your last paycheck, so here's one to compensate for all the streams I missed. Oh, well, thank you. I do like a good paycheck. That's a 340% hype train. Congratulations, guys. You went to the moon and back. Wayne, sad face. What the fuck? No, I'm happy right now. I'm not crying. You guys, you guys assume these things. I want you to look at my face. I want you to look at my face today. You, you give me support. Fun fact: Thanks, Blizzard Every Penguin. character you give me support. in the Cuffs franchise is canonically smile. trans. It doesn't make me cry. To me, please. Please. Who? What franchise? Cars franchise? I don't know. Did Pixar make a bold move? That bold? I mean, why are you crying? What the fuck are you talking about? Damn, Gem Boy. Thank you. Rand is dead. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet juice. Trickster glitch. Casket vamps. Bigs McGigs. Shark waves. Pants117, Trans Himbo Hours, Clearly Beloved, Ecto Fool, Guy Who Drinks Fluid, Rotten Witch, Ursa Wood, Ursula Cat, Uwu Bean, Sleepy Bink, Vintage Medic, yeah, Ophia358. Damn Jam Boy with another three subs. Cryptid Shuffle, Krathian. Yo, Krathian, you joined the crew and you gifted subs? That's fucking awesome. Fix the Gibbs. Thank you. I'm when so pumped Ooh. to watch your tonight. I got out of work and am free. Also, Wayne, get a throne. Come back I want a throne so bad. That would be dope. Hey, Wayne. Have you ever had an hey, online Afro? group project? Yeah, no, it's even never. worse than a regular group project, and I was put in charge. Oh. I'm like a cat shepherd, but at least two of the cats have wandered really far off, and now I have to take the place of three cats. I haven't been in school in a long time. The plights of of shitty group projects, something I haven't experienced. I lucked out that most of my group projects were usually pretty tolerable. I think if anything, I would, might have been the shitty group project partner at some point. Thank you, Honey Nut Querios. What mystery? Did Wayne go to college? I, I did a single semester of comp sci, and it was awful, and I was bad at it, and I don't hey, remember Wayne. a thing. Hope Thanks, HC Killer. Well today. I'm doing great today. Today, I had a pretty shitty day yesterday, but today, today's awesome. Today I'm kicking ass and writing Mario. down names. Subscribe to me, please. Whose name? Please, I don't know. Please, please. Did you say Mario? Did they just say Mario? Full cap. Chat. Mario? Yeah, your name. Please, please, Wayne, a cop? Please, please. What? No. Of course not. Subscribe to me, please. 
please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. F and tilde F mu F and tilde F apostrophe F sidilla and tilde F three quarters F pelcro F apostrophe F degrees and tilde and tilde and tilde and tilde and tilde F squared F three. I don't hex me, please don't hex me, using my alert system. Please don't do that. All right, we got a lot of we got a lot of start of the stream support. I think we have a lull here for now, which of course you guys are welcome to do whatever you want to do. But we got we got a little bit of quiet. I can I can think. So, guess what? Guess what? Mega Drive 32X has broken the silence. Please, 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 please. And will now be carried. Oh, I'm not going to make that joke. Okay. Anyways, uh, welcome to another Wayne Radio TV fantastic stream. Uh, I am here today and I am joined. Thank you, Titanium Expose and Cravian, who just gifted a ton of subs again. Holy shit. What, joining me tonight on the stream are my three friends. Balp, welcome please. to the stream. How you doing? Hello? Welcome, Balp. Balp is here. Oh. Balp, Balp wrapped up his who, stream and immediately yeah, hopped who on was mine. Here? Who was watching my stream an hour ago? You Raise your hand. Of Donkey Kong. <laughs> Thanks, Seal212. So, we're here tonight with many Funny Nut heroes. Welcome to the stream. Holly, how you doing, Holly? My teeth hurt. Holly has, has, con Holly has taken part in the slop. And it has uh she she reformed it into her own sort of recipe. I made it too I made it too soupy by accident, so I decided fuck it, let's make a milkshake. Fucked it I up a little bit. <laughs> I underestimated how much sugar is in it. My teeth hurt. <laughs> but I bet it tastes good. <laughs> oh, it was worth it. That's the thing is like, thanks Beef McCat. Just wanna shout out to Mira and the Wayne Radio TV fighting Discord for oh, reuniting yeah. mine and my friends' passion for fighting games. Fuck it's yeah. really helped during these crappy times. Yeah, we got a we have a fighting game Discord that you can find in the Wayne Radio TV Discord. Big, big it's a Discord within the Discord. And curses and other worldly rituals it's a upon secret your dojo. Steam tonight, oh, good way, you know. Thank May you, Eldritch Queen. Be gentle and the stars shine bright Yo, the Eldritch Queen adventure. just back reverse hexed us. We're gonna have a good stream. We ah, finally our first one. <laughs> Is that good? With the, our, it's the first stream that's gonna be good. I can't nice. believe it. Yo, we're a dropout crew. College hard. So yeah, I shouts out to the dropouts. Thanks, Holly fix the gigs. Up teeth moments inspired by smile for me, Doctor Habit. We are also joined by none other than the AI master, Trog himself. Yep. Three months Hello. Of my power is growing. Howdy. Are you ready to write some tales, some stories, yes. some limericks? Fuck yeah! Thank you, short cake. It. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how way tonight's stream is going to go. Come it's AI Dungeon 2 multiplayer, baby. That means sure. that we... I haven't been here as long as some other you, folks started watching your stuff when you were big in VR Minecraft. But I'm so proud of you, dude. Seeing you explode in popularity like this is fantastic, and I'm so happy you're getting the support you deserve. Come Thank you so much. I love a good sentimental message like that. Thank you, Ella, for the $6. Hello, I made an orchestral arrangement of Passport Guardian, oh, and I saw that. assault your ears with it. I saw Thank that. It's you, pretty damn you. good. Thank you. I'm going to pause the alerts for a sec so we can talk, and then we'll get back to it. Thanks, Simp Benry. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Hi, Holly. Hi, Hi, Trog. Love you, gamers. Simp Scorpelings, rise up. Simp Benry said hello to every single one of us. The Hi. Hello, hello, Simp Benry. Thank you for your continued support. I see you on all our channels. You get around. The, uh, so... Hey, welcome to the stream. It's me, Wayne Radio TV, and my friends. Today we're playing AI Dungeon 2 multiplayer. So, AI Dungeon 2, if you don't know what it is, it's a text adventure that's generated by a machine, and it makes for the most hilarious, amazing shit. Genuinely good stories, funny stories, just everything that you can think of. It's fucking awesome. The So we're going to be doing multiplayer here. We're going to be playing stories together, I think. How, what kind of story do you guys want to start with? Do you want to do you want to do the usual formula of starting with a fantasy tale and then moving on to more custom stories? I think it's always good to start with a fantasy. Always good to start with a fantasy. So we're going to live our fantasies here tonight. The um, Finally. Last week, we did a stream uh, called AI Adventure Call, who every single person on this call right now was involved with uh, the where it was it was a it was a fucking yeah. time. The, the of course I was Faladoof. Uh, Trog was our producer who did the most of the work. He was the one that put together all of the production value and all the graphics and shit, and did the live the live editing. Um, oh, yeah. The and then Holly and Balp were some of the callers. So we're just missing a log and Scorpy, who we might be seeing Scorpy a, a little bit later. Um, the uh, it was fucking awesome. 
Uh, we got like retweeted and acknowledged by the people that make AI Dungeon, which yeah, I was, was super was happy great. about. That was so cool. That was, sick. That was mm -hmm. so cool. The I was super happy with the turnout. I'm glad you guys liked it. The we had a lot of extremely funny moments. It was so fun to do too. The I I, I love I love playing goofy ass characters, and I think everyone here does too. It was great. Uh -huh. and I, I can't wait. I can't wait to bring you something else just like it soon. Maybe not exactly like it, but similar similar things are in the future as they always are i've got at least i can i can almost i can count them on my hands how many cool things we have to do i think i got at least like five big ideas that are in the works that aren't going to happen for some time so before we get started here trog if you want to like post the link in the chat and get us ready um we are going to be doing media shares today media shares for those that don't know if you donate five dollars or more you can get a musics that's right a musics uh music of your choice can be played on the stream now here's the guidelines for that the we get a lot of donations for media shares so you got to get them in quick the if you don't do them quick there's going to be a huge backlog of songs some of them we might not get to play the so the if it's first come first serve on top of that i i reserve the right to skip your song for any reason uh the it could be it's maybe it's just not the right tone but usually the more important reason why i would skip it is if you donate for some copyright stuff um so like if you donate for a song that is going to get picked up by dmca bots I'm going to skip it. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell, especially because most of the time I can't see the names of the songs that you donate when they're actually playing. But if I hear something and I'm like, this sounds like a like a top 100 track, I'm just going to... Yeah, make, don't, gonna get don't make that... Gonna get don't make that mistake. The first AI Dungeon VOD actually got like blocked in the US because of that. So we have to... I'll probably go back and like try to fix that one day. It's still mm. on Twitch. It's just not on um the thing. You know, yeah. I feel like my lighting is imbalanced. You, like, if you by 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 doing that, like, you are making it so that less people can watch the funny streams. Mm. Chat, do I look lit weird I, today? I feel like I look strange. I can't like I can't put my maybe, finger. Maybe on. your webcam's still kind of fucky. Maybe. Yeah, my web my webcam's been causing uh, problems. You 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 were posting those pictures earlier where you said you look like the god of white boys. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> We got a weird start for this one. We may want to re-roll. You guys can hop in here and see it. Oh, Media shares are on. Media shares are going. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I missed one of your Hello? songs. The very first one that was donated didn't get through, I don't think. Ooh, shit. I'm sorry to anyone. I'm to, to anyone's songs who didn't get played. I don't... I don't even know what happened to them. They've been swamped away by the hundreds of people that already put songs in. Okay, so uh, let me unpause alerts as well. And turn Subscribe those. to me, please. Please, 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 please. Here we go. All right, so you got a link for us? To me, yep. Yep. Please, Thank you, Mellow Yeller. Please, please, please. I am bald and want your hair. <laughs> You can't have it, I'm sorry. In starting Ooh, school loud. next week to learn how to be a purely technician excited to be able to make some of sodas for the people. She is excited for the stream. Thank you. I'm excited too. Alright, so we're doing a fantasy story right here, right? Yeah. First so I had a I have a suggestion for fun, this. Hope sure. you enjoy it. Um So I think it'd be fun if we did it where I you three were characters and I only did story beats. I thought of that too. I was actually gonna suggest something very similar, if not the exact same thing. Required to I like the idea of like, it's it, like pseudo DM, but not really, because you still can't really decide what happens. Yeah, uh. yeah, I like that. So, so you wouldn't be a character. You're just our DM. No. Yeah, right. I would just do story prompts and nothing else. I'm into it. I'm into it. Colon three. C. Thanks, Ray Kiyawada. All right, I hope I got the audio balance right. It was a little bit fucked up for a moment. Oh, someone just pointed it out. Ch uh, Charlie Monsan said that you can't die. I know. That's part <laughs> oh, no. of the oh, 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 come up with this idea. That's fucking awesome. Who's in it now? Holly? God, no! Everyone, put your hands above your head and give Holly your strength. She needs it. I'm so happy to be here for a night dungeon stream. The Wait, last Sharkboys? one I watched made me laugh so hard. Come back. Hey heroes, I miss like 90 of the streams except Holly's Saturday streams of yours, but I watch a ton of so odds take and a, Take like a look at what the fuck it gave us, yeah, and thank you. Anyways, tell me here's a if wacky to my note. this Our, is something that we can even go Our with. Our story begins with a group of adventurers living in the medieval Salipartism. kingdom of Larian. Thank you, Overtones SSB. Ooh, that was $10. Hell yeah. The... 
Our story begins with a group of adventurers living in the medieval kingdom of Larian. The kingdom is filled with small villages and thatched cottages and has been relatively peaceful until now. The adventurers are on a quest to find the magical staff of Zalos, the usual start. They walk through the forest and notice a band of mountain dwarves. The dwarves are friendly and offer them food and drink. Then one of the dwarves turns to them and says, let's kill them. Which one attacks? Is this a math it ended problem? With the question. So is this a is this like a fucking is this like a logic puzzle? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, this is a logic puzzle. Hello, Wayne. Thanks, I don't know. Body. It's always it is it is always fucking Larion and the staff of Zalos and dwarves. It always starts this way. an epic paycheck. Yeah, with some no, it literally that's the only choice. start they have for. Thank you, Captain Demac. For the multiplayer. Chat, how's the, how's the volume of the music? The music is loud? I'll bring it down. Genuinely gotten me through some dark moments. There we go, Thank I think that's so a better much, volume. Wayne and the crew. Balance. Bless speed paste to a blessed cheese burrits, oh, yeah. glass beer mat pastry. Thank you so much. I missed your name. Thank you, Casey. And a gay row gary gay 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 because I love them. I think what I'm gonna do, hmm. Come back when you're a little. I might mute TTS so that we can like talk. Yeah, have another donation. Yeah, yeah I'm still gonna. I'm, I'm gonna leave. Very confusing. I'm gonna leave alerts on, guys, so you'll still hear more shit and all that, and your donations for media shares will still go on. But I think I have to. I think I have to turn off TTS because I can't. I'm having a hard time talking. Each day that I get older, my my ADD becomes worse, and it becomes harder to manage streams where I have to talk with the group and the TTS. All right, so TTS is going down. A wonderful community. We're muting the TTS. However, media shares are still on. Your song no should way. get through. It didn't work. Great. Fucking awesome. Thanks, Streamlabs. I tried to mute just the TTS. It didn't do it. Hold on. You mute it through OBS. If you did oh, no, no wait, but then but that mutes the alerts, the... too. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to fix it. Hold on. Give us your hair, Wayne. You can't have my hair. I love my hair. Come back when you're I think whenever it gets too long, I could probably donate it. It's already, it's already fucking long. It's long as fuck. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Who's they? Yeah, it is not letting me update TTS volume setting. That's just like not working. Come on. Can you try reloading the uh, OBS? Maybe, but that's gonna skip every alert that's in the queue right oh. now. Mute alerts that's entirely. Really All right, so am I bad? Am we're gonna bad? leave. We're bad? gonna leave am media really shares bad? on. So you guys donate five dollars or more, you can get a music in the queue. However, I think I am just gonna mute the alerts, and I'll try to I'll try to thank them when I see them because I can't I can't get just the TTS off. The uh... all right. Casey, is this a song you made? It's good start in fantasy story vibes. I like it. Okay, here, let me go ahead and add, uh... I mean, please tell me you get your dead end streamed. I haven't had it in a long time, especially since the, uh, the pandemic started. I haven't had- I haven't been to a, a stylist in a long-ass time. Hold on. Put it in the title. Media shares on! No DMCA... No copyrighted songs, please. There's a typo there. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Okay. You guys ready to start? Is Holly oh, yeah. here yet? <clears throat> no. Oh, damn it. Her hall her internet's gone. Alright, so can, I mean, you know. I think it's pretty easy to hop into a in progress AI dungeon run. All right, so oh, Scorpy, that work. Scorpy's coming, guys. We're going to have Scorpy fill in for Holly's spot for now, and uh, Holly will join in once her internet gets all better, once it gets unsick. All right, you guys ready to play? I. Yep. It doesn't show me what the song is. This is this is by Casey, Casey and Hartley. It's called Cat Machine Loomer. Nice. Thank you. Turn up the volume on that. Okay, are we ready to get started? Are we gonna are we gonna yes. re-roll this prompt though with the question? Chat, do we keep oh, the question? Let's give it a go. What's the okay. worst that could happen? Something which, funny might happen. Which one attacks? I'll go first. Alright. Blood Boy is the first to attack. The Mountain Dwarf puts his knife into Blood Boy's neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> Maybe we should re-roll. <laughs> uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold no, no, on. no, no, no. Oh. He falls undead. Bilbo kills the dwarf. 
Who's Bilbo? Who's Bilbo? Who's Bilbo? Who's Bilbo? Bilbo kills the dwarf with his sword. He continues attacking until the dwarves lay dead around him. Alternatively, Bilbo could try to reason with the dwarves or even run away. I think Bilbo should reason with the dwarves. Who's Bilbo? Hey. Welcome to the stream, Scorpy. How you doing, Scorp? Hello. Hello. Scorpy is our sub adventurer for the time being. Bilbo Braggins attacks again. He he. Who's is that Bal? Yeah, that's me. I keep saying it. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, what is going on? Death count one. AI Bilbo Dungeon is sick. Slays the door who lies on the floor. Sadly, Bilbo is also dead. Only Frodo and Sam can make it out of the hut. Sadly, without the magic staff, death count one. What about me? <laughs> I died too. That's the order. That's the order. <laughs> you don't uh, count. I think we're gonna you... have to re-roll this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let it keep on. generating names. Let it keep just, generating let's just names. Keep pressing enter. Let's yeah, see just what keep happens. Enter. Whoa! Sunshine has stabbed. Smashed. Little Jim stabs. Sunshine no. Sparkles sweet knife. Captain <laughs> Gollumer. The AI doesn't know what. Mind blowingly do. good. Seven. Well. Oh shit! I typed in seven as a story prompt. Wastley <laughs> 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 Sipes. You can, that's we, your can part, we, right? You can read it. Remember, are remember, we, so are we, we resetting or not? Uh, are we? I don't know. We, we could just we could just see how fucked up this gets. All right, yeah, let's just All keep right, going. Fuck it. it. But Wesley Sipes is known for being an emotional guy. He sits near the dwarves' bodies and cries. The adventurers <laughs> carry on through the dense forest, but then boredom stumbles into a hunting party. Boredom seven. Boredom <laughs> knocked on the head. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the adventurers successfully escape from the hunters and carry on to seek out the Zalen Empire. Well, Bal, we died. Both of us died. Yeah. So Scorpy's the only player. <laughs> what? <I'm... laughs> the dogs well, we running move the on. The story is over. The yeah, story ended. Wrong. Wrong with the the story stuff. continues in part two of the tale of Bilbo Baggins <laughs> and the Fellowship of the King. Wait, Bilbo Goodbye. Baggins what? It's possessive. It's an apostrophe S. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, do you want me to generate a new game? Wait. This one got... This one is... got sick. <laughs> hey, it kept the names. <laughs> I really hope things get better for them. Goodbye, Tom, Sparkles, Sunshine, <laughs> Sweet Knife, Captain Gollumer, and Boredom. You'll always be remembered for your bravery. Blood Boy says, Goodbye, story. Yeah, this story sucks, says Blood Boy. The candles burn themselves out, and the room is thrown into total darkness, but your loot still plays by itself. An eerie, an eerie silence follows after its last strums. Okay. All right. Uh, I say we I'm do gonna a, make new a new one. one. Yeah, I'm going to do a new one. I don't know what happened. Like, it just generated wrong. <laughs> Wesley Sipes screams backwards! <laughs> Why does it spell it like that? Unfortunately, he has a list that says backwards! Backwards. Backwards! Okay, I'm gonna send <laughs> another you link. Oh Monster on TV. Of toys. What is? <laughs> what is it? It's a backwards television. <laughs> it's, so... <laughs> it's so fucked up. What is How happening? It's so off the rails immediately. <laughs> wow, that was a crazy Monster dream. Calling Orson. We we just got we just got like a bad batch for this game. Thanks, D. Keep it the five. All right, bucks. this one this the the link that I put generated correctly. So okay, cool. So we got it. We have a Please normal start. Chat, what should my name be? Thank you, Frozen Please, Frozen Please for the sub. I'm gonna pick the best one I see. I like Borson, Longo. I can't do Longo, personal reasons. Oh, new uh, game? Bobbis, Golf Ball, that's good. Sweet Knife, bringing back one from before. All right. Uh, what should my name be? 
Uh, Fletcher, Wormworm. Oh, what? What, what kind load? of load? That's or... good. Wait, what, wait, hold on. Did you already jump? Wait, wow, I'm confused. I can't do Walter White. It's gonna think we're doing yeah, a Breaking Bad story. Wait, this yeah. is the old one. No, no it's click not. Click on the link. Click on the new link. Hmm. Okay. All right. So it's the same start, except that it says then one of the doors turns to them and says, "Welcome to." Dwaro Delph, please turn around and return from whence you came. The Dwarven realm does not admit thy kind. So let's let's establish an order. Okay, so what's your character's name? Introduce your character. My character's name is Golfworm. My I am I, my character's name is would be Za a gnome a gnome a gnome. You say they're a gnome. However, the story may change that. On its own. Yeah. I, whoa, I, whoa, 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 usually, whoa. the usually the story just decides the race as you go. Like, oh, you're a deep elf. Oh, you're a dwarf. You're an orc. Okay. So, let's go ahead. Uh, should I go first? Uh, okay. Order is gonna be Wayne, then Balp, then Scorpy, then I'll go last since I'm just doing story beats. Okay. Wayne, Balp, Scorpy, okay. Trog story. Why, why are people spamming pepper station? What? Because pepper that's, steak. That's well, the name of one, song. pepper steak is the song that's played, and two, one in one of our AI streams, you made your character's name pepper steak. I think some people. Oh remember yeah, that. that's right. All right, I got one. Stop texting me, FedEx. Golfworm, through his tears, asks why the dwarves are being racist. The dwarves grab the weapons and attack. The adventurers <laughs> fight them off and continue on their journey. They pass through the mountains and arrive at the dwarven mining village of Dagar. Great name. Wow, that was easy. All right, Bob, it's your turn. Instant no, progress. FedEx does not want to be my friend, cute eye monster. <laughs> That's uh, not the case. FedEx texted your package gone. <laughs> we ate it hungry. Sorry. I don't even know what I'm getting. It's a surprise. <laughs> Scorpion, did you see? Did you see that post of like the DoorDash driver? Yeah, that's, 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 that's what I was referencing. I thought so. Just hung, uh, hungry, inn. your food you gone. <laughs> you find an inn and go inside. The locals stare at you, but do not seem hostile. The owner of the inn, an elderly halfling woman, speaks to you from behind the counter. Do you wish to stay the night? That's up to Scorpy, it seems. Yeah, Scorpy gets to decide. Ooh, you know, I have an idea, chat. Check this shit out. Oh, look at this is fair. Tejas Philbin puts down a single gold doubloon and asks to see the king. The owner looks shocked and says, What do you want to see the king for? Tejas looks confused and says, To see the king. Why else would I want to see him? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to hit enter on that? Continue it a yeah, little bit? Yeah, let's see what... I mean... what it's the, it would be the same thing as uh, me typing in shit. Oh, well, except we don't know. Me? Suddenly what? the owner attacks! <laughs> what? <laughs> communist? What? Suddenly the owner attacks. She wants to be a communist spy. The owner gives you all a funny look and says, Er, I don't think that's going to be possible, but if you like, I'll give you a free room for the night. Hey, we got a free room. Wait, okay, we, got, we, we defended an Did attack, we but we got out a free that room. we first part? No, she's, out the see, she's, a, she's a communist. That's why she gave us room. She, she she's, she's a good. Then... She's good. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who she attacked. We seem all to be fine. <laughs> I guess. This way, with the, with the new thing for the media share. This way, we actually know when there's repeat songs. And you guys can tell me if it's gonna get copyright caught. Oh hell yeah! This is never gonna get copyright caught. Not in my world. I'm 
done dancing. I'm not in a dancing mood today. My, da my dance sucked. It was horrible. The owner pulls Golfworm aside. Hey, you guys are adventurers, right? There's something I need your help with. She takes out a piece of parchment and shows it to you. I have found where the demon is being kept, but I need an experienced adventurer to help me. Choose one of your adventurers to help the innkeeper. What? Why does it keep- I'm, like, I'm gonna it keeps take a... that part out. <laughs> yeah, delete that. I just remove that. So I'm going. Golfworm says, I've never seen a demon before. What's it look like? Some kind of dog type man? The halfling shakes her head. <laughs> That's all you get for that one. Press enter. I mean, no, a demon is a creature from the infernal realm, like a minor devil. They look much like humans, but tend to be taller and very hungry. I wish to find this one <laughs> and destroy him before he does any more harm. Not, uh. not a furry. Dog man, human dog. She shows you the map. It's a very poor drawing of several tunnels and rooms. Can you help me? You look at the map and listen out for any sounds, but hear nothing. Oh, this map has no MP3s on it. <laughs> Shit. <Aww. laughs> that sucks. All right, Bob, you're up. How does why, is there no, why is there no music on the map? Like, that's your character saying things, you, right? You click, so you click on the, the little purple button. And you can change between, like, your character does, your character says, or, like, a story beat, right? Yeah. Well, wow, Golfworm is an idiot. Can you not be mean to Golfworm? Do I have to put uh, parentheses? Listen, I've been streaming for three uh -huh. years. The, the or question... Quotes, I mean? No. Oh, hell yeah, Pizza Tower. Thanks, Mike Dawson. When you do says, you do want to put quotations. I don't think it does no, it, automatically. it does it automatically. Oh, it does? Oh, shit, yeah. I didn't even know. Afro Boom and Jay, thank you. And thank you, the dumb seal. Missy Kari, thank you for the big sub. Wibiza says, what type of harm does this demon wish to do? The demon eats smaller mammals and reptiles. <laughs> oh, uh, no! It's really big. What a threat! He's eating all the critters. Go I imagine Golfworm. Golfworm. What what race is Golfworm in your head, Wayne? I know the uh, story may not take it there, but apparently a race that has very big ears and is sound sensitive. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I just imagine Golfworm just having huge fucking ears. What fantasy races have a, the biggest ears? Gungan. Other than elves. He's a Gungan. A Gungan? <laughs> Gungan? That's not. Gungan. Do you think if I, I said I was a Gungan, it would know what I'm talking yeah, about? I kind of yeah, want to try that. You absolutely know what you're talking about. But they didn't try to, like, insert Star Wars shit. I'm a Gungan. We're going with that. We're going with that. <laughs> Elephant Man. Oh, yeah, we could be, uh, what are those called? It starts with an L. Lombonks or something? They have them in D&D and Magic the Gathering. Lob Loxodon. Yeah, no, not oh, a Lombax. No, That's from Ratchet no, and Clank. I decided you're a Gungan. <laughs> Misa never seen a demon. <laughs> I'm not literally Jar Jar. I'm not. I'm absolutely not gonna. Talk yeah, no. Like Jar, Jar Jar was the only Gungan that talked like that. Like they went God. to other ones and they talked normal. <laughs> they were the totally other fine. Talk normally. That raises so many questions it's about fine. Jar Jar. So. Jar Jar had a speech impediment. Jar Jar's just Nothing fucked up. That. Like the other Gungans are normal. They think Jar Jar's a. Even even the other Gungans think Jar Jar's a freak. Oh, hey, Chad, I just realized I'm cosplaying the guy from that funny fridge video. Milk Walker shirt Whoa. and gray sweatpants. I figured that people like that video, so I might as well do a costume for tonight's stream. <laughs> Ooh, Nuja Base. Fuck yeah. I don't know if Jesus that'll get DMC caught. I'm going to turn it down a bit just picks in case. the map back up and listens to it closer. Golf form holds the map up to your ear and you hear a faint buzzing noise. <laughs> Thank you for your <laughs> help. your ear. Thank you for your help. The halfling takes the map back from you. Now I must leave quickly before he gets away. Is she also hunting the demon? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay. I guess. We got the map MP3. I love the, the I love buzzing. the action. I love how it didn't listen to you. Or like you tried to pick it up and I didn't let you take it and I push it up <laughs> to your ear with both my hands. <laughs> I 
I told you, golf. Those gungans got sensitive ears. The first time I ever saw Wayne Radio was create ducks on Tumblr. Oh yeah, I forgot about that post. One of our what? viewers. Is the AI doesn't know what to do. The owner sprints right. out of the room. You want to read that? Yeah, I guess. The owner sprints out of the room. The three adventurers spend the night at the end, waking up early the next day to begin their search for the demon of Dagar. Does it really not know what to do from here? I it says I it enter. doesn't know what to do. Here, just type, just type, give it a little more. Leave, leave it yeah. open ended. I the way that I always do story beats is I'll type my beat and then end it with you or it or the like just like a pronoun, and then let it continue. Right? Yeah. Let's let's see what happens. What? It it doesn't know what to do. What the fuck going on? No, no, no you have to. Try. You, don't just type in the morning. Type like like another line and then end it within the morning. Oh, yeah. here we go. Here we oh. go. In the morning, you wake up to find that the owner is already gone. You walk downstairs and see the inn's guest, a dwarven miner, sitting at a table. You pick up an odd buzzing noise coming from a patch of empty air. Tegas immediately throws one of his daggers at it. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna go. Uh, <laughs> Golfworm puts his large Gungan ear oh, on God. top oh, of no. the buzzing empty air. And here's a secret message. Let's see. <laughs> Goopy Phosphine says this storyline has tinnitus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you walk up to the patch of buzzing air and listen very carefully. You hear a voice coming from it very faintly. When you hear the buzzing sound, press down on the round piece of wood to start the next part of the journey. <laughs> what is this, Arthur and the Invisible? <laughs> press the press the Are square we being button. Tutorialized. Push the analog stick forward to jump. <laughs> Press the action button. Okay, well. Let's see. You should press down on uh, the round piece of wood. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what is it going to do? What is pressing the button going to do for us? <laughs> where, where is this round gonna piece of going to open the wood. options menu. We're going to be able to select sound effect volume. Scorpy, I wasn't around for Blade 2. Was there just a text-to-speech in it? Oh, yeah. For Blade 2, there was, like, text-to-speech, and there was a long delay between every, like, part that was on screen. That's so weird. Found the round piece of wood. The round piece of wood is, in fact, a button. As soon as Woody presses it, he immediately... Th oh, no! Disappears from his sight. <laughs> you and Geekus jump back in surprise. Wait. Wibby? 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 You usually refers to like the the a different player. Like right, yeah. this makes sense. It's not very good at uh possessive pronouns. Yeah. Wibby, no. I wonder where the button sent him. He went to the pause menu. <laughs> That's what happens oh, no. when you pause in a video game. You just cease to exist. But the world continues around you? It's not my turn right now, it's up to Scorpy. Teaches Philbin presses the round piece of wood too, but smiles doing it. Just while, just like Wibby, you immediately disappear from sight. Behind the panel, there is a tunnel heading off in two directions. Which one do you take? Hold on, really quick. I just oh. want to get this in before you trog, so it knows that I'm there. We're yeah, seeing the other it. side of the button. This is interesting. Golfworm chases after his companions and uses the button to teleport as well. You press the button, but nothing happens. The innkeeper slams the door <laughs> shut behind you, trapping you inside the room. She laughs and says, be seeing you. Then she disappears out of the room with all of your equipment in it. Okay, so I have all my stuff and I'm in the room. <laughs> but you're stuck in a room while Wibby and Tegas are in a secret compartment or something okay okay we're we're splitting up <laughs> jam Derry that's says always that a good AI idea. dungeon doesn't like me tonight i'm filling in for trog i guess that's this is what you get for acting out of turn what the fuck do you mean zenic fox what do you what the hell does that mean i'm being a good boy i'm being a good hungan uh... all right Trog, what, I, 
as our like pseudo DM trog, I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do with this. Yeah, this is set up yeah, an interesting I'm, story. I'm thinking. We so if we go all the way back up to the top, our original quest is to find the magical staff of Zalos, which almost never is what happens. Uh, yeah. But now we have to hunt down a demon that eats small critters. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't really like. I don't know what to do with that information. What? The Dwarven Miner laughs. So oh, yeah. she got you too? He shakes his head. Well, you better be off then. Try going down the passageway on the left. That's the one most folks take. The right one is full of nasty traps. He draws a circle in the air and then holds up two fingers. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna... Golfworm presses the button once more, this time while smiling. Just like Tegus. Swear to God, if it doesn't warp me again. Thank you, Thundering Third. <clears throat> you press the button a second time, but it makes no difference. You've been tricked! The Dwarven Miner bursts out laughing and shakes his head. He leaps up from his chair and unsheathes an even bigger dagger from his belt. What the <laughs> fuck? Is he gonna kill me? <laughs> I, I, I guess. You're going to have to try harder than that, boy! He snarls. There's no way of getting out of this now. Uh... Okay, well, let's see what, what let's see what's here. going down in the tunnel realm. Wait, uh, you're up. Well, that confused the I'm AI. I'm just gonna look around and see what the right. way. I think with the dragon engine, if you're very clear about where you are and what's happening, oh no, you have to go back. You have to you have to specify that you're in a tunnel. Okay. How do I undo? With the undo button. Hit the undo button. Is everyone just secretly evil, says Antagonist Chen? You tell me, Antagonist Chen. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to completely wipe it. So you want to uh, describe the place you've been teleported to. Honestly, what I would do, about is instead of instead of inputting it as Wibby Zah blank, you should do it as a story beat and, and type it like, it appears that Wibby Zah and Tejas have been warped to some kind of underground tunnel system, and then type your action. Just so it knows what is happening, right? Hello, numero letter. We're on slow mo. I can see the greetings today. I don't understand the communist tie in the plot line at all. That seems to just have been glanced over. Hello, Captain Numak. We miss Joshua too. There was a development in that field. I'm gonna say, not big enough that I can promise anything, but we we got some news. Piers, Wibby, and Tigas have been teleported to an underground tunnel system. Bewildered, they take a look around. How did we get here? Did you do this, Wibby? Tigas says me. <laughs> I just pressed the button like you said. Wibby looks as confused as you are. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. See, as long as we as long as we preface which scene we're talking about. Yes, Stone Bees. Like I said, I can't promise anything else. I'm not going to give any other information because I don't want you guys to get excited. But we got some interesting news. See what it does with this. <laughs> Land shark. That's funny. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> oh no, they didn't like that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Do I undo that? I should undo you, that. You can just re-roll re it. Re yeah, just yeah. hit the, the little refresh button above the thing. You just Somebody turns down go. the volume on your TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like, it's like trying music. to break the fourth wall, like, incredibly quickly. Okay, this is fair. Tejas Philbin screams out for help. We're here! Both stand at the edge of the round opening. You look down a very long tunnel, which is how you got here in the first place. Maybe we should wait here, would be asked? Trog, I think for your story beat, you should focus on these two for a bit, and I'll just take a back seat because I'm currently trapped. Like I'll let I'll let you guys focus on what's going here, so the AI isn't jumping back and forth. Thank you, Shark Waves. What are we listening to? Gubgar would have loved this. <laughs> I'll send it back in the time machine. It's good sounds.
Suddenly, the tunnel shakes violently. It's a cave-in. Thinking quickly, Tegus grabs you and Wibby's hands and leaps backwards just in time to avoid a huge rock slide that falls into the opening. The other side is blocked, too. Actually, I do want to do something. I don't know whose hands Tegus grabbed. I don't know who you is. <laughs> but... I'm going to try to I'm going to see if I can figure something out back at the trapped in. Gets on his knees and starts pressing the button rapidly and erratically. Wait, that's not how you spell that word. How do you spell erratically? Is that with an E? E R O. Yeah, okay, it was with an E. The um and erratically hoping to trigger a secret function. Let's see if that happens. Come on. Let's warp him back. Let's see if it knows what I'm talking about. The dwarf bursts out laughing again and pokes you in the belly with his dagger. <laughs> well, what's so funny, you ask? You're a fool, that's what... I hate this situation it's put me in. <laughs> this dwarf is just <laughs> bullying me, where I just, like, press the button over and over. <laughs> uh, <sighs> this song is not... This song is not about the dwarf! Do not get <laughs> what the hell No, the, trust me, this is not a copyright song. I'm well aware of what this is. You do is. anything you want. You, you have you to could, use you your imagination do. to get we're out a, of this. We're in a bizarre <laughs> situation. You could stay here as long as you want. Yeah. Remember, you can just make shit up. Like, maybe you pull out a pickaxe and, like, dig your way out of the tunnel. You can imply anything. Like you could say, like you dig for five days and escape. Yeah. Ram Ranch is Ram Ranch is not legal to donate, not because of copyright, but because that song is explicitly like against TOS nowadays. There was precedent for that. There was a Twitch court case. Really? Seduce the dwarf? No, no, not literally. But like, I'm pretty sure there was some Twitch. streamer that like got in trouble for it. Ram Ranch case. However, Ram Ranch variations that aren't as understandable or maybe don't have the right lyrics, maybe those could work. I fucking, like, my favorite thing that ever came out of Ram Ranch was the edit someone made of Rick Astley singing it. Ram Ranch! It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Wibby's uh, Light a Lantern. You missed her, probably not, holder. because that would be copyright. He begins to look for a, for a way out by looking for Magic Rune Door. You soon discover that the button on the wall doesn't work. Thanks, Try man. every possible thing to make the barrier lift, but nothing happens. The ceiling starts falling rocks, and you have no choice but to run down the passage. To Damn, where? You got caved door. in. <laughs> it's a long passage. Oh, dogs, probably. I don't think that would be a problem. As long as those small local bands haven't, like, filed with a, like, a, a label yet. All right, what will Tegas do? This story is all kinds of fucked. Nothing's happening. Oh, this is okay. Yeah, I thought for Don't a second worry. Copyright, this one's safe. It's almost my turn, and I can make anything happen. Teaches Philbin grabs Wibby and runs down the passage, hoping to find Golf Worm at the end, unharmed and not hungry. Rocks fall from the ceiling, barely missing you. You are very unlucky to be caught in this <laughs> cave in. <laughs> yeah. Any further down this passage is a dead end, so you turn back and go the other way. What? <laughs> Wait. Whoa. What? <laughs> Meanwhile, far beneath the earth, huge machines pump air through pipes and tunnels far beyond your imagination. Great gears turn and keep the pace of time moving steadily as steam vents into the musty atmosphere. Whoa. Damn, that sounds that pretty cool. Whoa, that's kind of dope. What? That's kind of awesome. Sorry, so did you guys get teleported? Did you guys get teleported? Like, I don't know. Into that's, the just like, that's just like tunnel? a cutaway. Like that's just like yeah, just cut away to like yo foreshadowing. That's fucking the awesome. Earth. There's like some steampunk mechanism that's like making time move. That's fucking awesome. Uh, All right, we got we got to we got to get back I'm, on that I'm, later. I'm gonna assume direct control of the story now to make things happen. Good idea. You should make someone come and clear the passageway in the tunnels. Golf worm gets stabbed by the dwarf. <laughs> That's and probably then, going to happen. And then gets teleported die. to the tunnel. I think I'm going to be killed. 
Time warp. <laughs> Time warp. I'm gonna check what this package that FedEx is mailing me about is. The world reset. I have no idea what this is. No, we can't do the time warp again. I don't have the sword. I don't even know we're not, where we're the not sword using is. the we're not using the fan fantasy the fantasy engine. engine. <laughs> so we Here can't we have time warp. Living penis and golf worm are teleported back to the inn. The dwarf laughs again. You're a fool, a fool. His skin <laughs> begins to melt away as it is revealed that he is the demon of dagger. He has played a demon's trick on you all. He cackles as <laughs> sparks of flame fall from his mouth. And now I will eat you. Okay. So Golfworm was stuck with the demon the whole time. Hmm, what should Golfworm do? Golfworm, still on his knees from his button operation, crawls over to the demon and punches his feet ten times. Each. I'm gonna laugh when it's like the demon is defeated immediately. <laughs> It takes a lot of courage for the young squire to do this in front of his royal friends. He leaps towards <laughs> the ugly feet and kicks them as hard as he can. Punch, 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 punch. He kicks. Hold on, I'm gonna re-roll that. Cause like, what the fuck is he talking oh, about a squire and his royal friends? The young squire and his royal friends. It is good. <laughs> like, what is that? Gothworm is a... He's very the between person. the monster's legs. He looks down as you yell, Wibby, throw me your sword! With all your might, you stab upwards. Okay. It ignored my punching. So you just so stabbed cool. him in the taint. Yeah. I guess I got a few stabs in there. You threw me the sword and I just stabbed his taint. Uh. Got him like the ninjas. Ninjas hiding in toilets. <laughs> ah, does it say that? I remember Logmore's fear of a ball destroying toilet mechanism. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the funniest story. <laughs> The people that don't remember that, Logmore told us a story a while back of like when he was a kid, there was a rumor that someone was making devices that would shred your balls and were putting them in toilets. Like, Whippy Zod uses the spell Color Splash and the rainbow colors flow right into the demon's <laughs> eye. Whippy throws a glass vial of colorful liquid. You leap out of the way as the colors, as the liquid splatters all over the demon. His eyes become colored and he looks around in bewilderment. I mean, that sounds accurate. That sounds yeah, accurate. that is how that spell worked. Holistic Penguin, did you donate for an ad? What the fuck was that? That's a real spell. I hope yeah, that... Why are you... I, I think media shares might tr be, like, tripped in ads now. Oh, no. Okay, so you made, you made his eyes colored. Okay. Yeah. What does that do? Well... The real D and D spell, it like it does it's damage. Cool it like does damage and a whole bunch of effects. I wanted the game to make the effects, but I just threw like all right water. Like well, let's just fill in, and puts the rotten apple core in the demon's mouth, hoping to overwhelm <laughs> its senses. As the demon staggers backwards, you and Wibby grab a sword each from the wall. He puts a rotten apple in the demon's mouth. Eat, he orders. <laughs> the monster begins to gag. Soon he falls over, coughing and choking. You hesitate to strike when crash a huge stone, a huge block falls from the cavern ceiling and lands on the demon's head. He is crushed instantly. Wait, so there was there was <laughs> also right. an illusion that we're in the we're in caverns, not the inn. Okay, the apple core strat was good. Yeah, apparently it was exactly <laughs> what you needed after That's stabbing how you him. Defeat the him. <laughs> That's like a that's like a solution to a boss in King's Quest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like in King's Quest, you beat bosses by like giving them a tambourine. Like, you have so to it's make exactly. Sure you find the apple core in the trash can behind the inn on the second day because it disappears after that and the game becomes unwinnable. Got the right, apple Tron, ending. <laughs> no, the story's not over. Apple pie ending. We need to figure out what's up with these caverns that we're in. 
And also, what the hell that cutaway with the Gears of Time meant. <laughs> yeah. We need a new quest, Trog. Oh, Blissy Penguin says, I think I accidentally copied the link for the ad before the YouTube video <laughs> instead of the YouTube video itself. <laughs> oh, God. Good job. That's hilarious. That's genuinely fucking great. Thank you, Luther for 666. Enjoy your sub, Jurati Kid. Yo, this song is from Sword and Shield. This song is dope. I didn't play Sword and Shield. I haven't played a Pokemon game in a long time. Oh, really? That makes sense. The demon's body disintegrates as you hear his unearthly death wail. Looking around, you see that you are in a vast, labyrinthine cave system. Torches line the wall. To your north, you see a multitude of doors, many of them with large, odd symbols on them. To the south, you see two—you see a two staircases. One goes up and the other down. You help Wibby to his feet and decide what to do next. Golfroom goes to the leftmost staircase and tries to descend, but they are covered in butter. Whippy and you walk over to the left-hand staircase. As you place your foot on the first step, you feel it slide away. Bye. <laughs> Fall down. The staircase is covered in butter. With remarkable agility, you all manage to avoid falling and take the right-hand staircase instead. A shriek from behind you tells you that at least one of the demons has survived. Multiple demons? There oh, was shit. only one demon, and his head got crushed. Everyone in chat's like, why butter, Wayne? And I say, why not? What's wrong with some butter? This is the world of the imagination. Anything can and will become real. Anything can happen. You're asking... Thank you, Wolven646. Uh, like I said, I don't know how long it is, and I also don't know how many of these will be skipped. The The Streamlabs interface for media shares is like... Yeah, we have 43 songs, so there's actually a chance that you'll still get in there. I'm not sure if that number's correct, though, because like I said, the Streamlabs media share interface is fucked up. But 43 songs, depending on the length, like, the stream's gonna go for a good couple hours. Maybe. I can't guarantee it. That's the thing. Regardless, for, for a media share, first and foremost, you're doing a donation. It's not like you're buying a product. If you want to try, you can. But we have a lot of songs right now. It's two hours of media share in there. Yeah, so there's a chance if you still want to put your stuff in there. You're not buying no product, Doc Jackal! Read the disclaimer down below. I wrote about that. Wibby Zod uses their demon detecting compass to find the other demons they must slay. Wibby opens their compass and it turns around until the arrow is pointed <laughs> directly at the right hand staircase. It must be a <laughs> it must be a demonic compass. You pull out a compass full well knowing it's a compass and say, "Oh, this must be a magnetic compass," <laughs> as it points to the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> it's pointing towards the stairs. <laughs> well, I'm not arguing with a magical compass, Wibby says and runs up the staircase. <laughs> up? <laughs> Wait. Okay, I guess it goes what? up. Left hand staircase goes down, right hand staircase goes up. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, Holly's internet died. She'll be back whenever it comes back? Question mark? She can take my place. I gotta get oh. something to eat later. Oh, wait, no, Holly's. No, Scorby. Bob, Scorby's gonna leave later. Oh, I okay. guess Gurk and Gurk could fill in too. Hey, maybe we have everybody on board. Yeah. Hmm. Good night, Charlie Monsens. Two staircases. Does Trog plan on faux DMing the whole stream? Probably not. No. I would think that Trog no, Lobbin is a character one. later. I wanted to give it a try, see see how it worked out. This is a good song for demon stories. AI Dungeon loves demons. Whether it comes up with demons on its own or you add demons to the story, it just revels in that. I was I wanted to do this tonight because I was looking at the VODs channel and I just like skimmed through one of the AI Dungeon VODs and there was a point in one of our stories where we were like hunting Count Dracula and a demon appears and kills one of the vampires and was just like, yeah, demonic possession complete. That story was so <laughs> fucking funny. 
That is great. <laughs> oh shit! Demons have been summoned. De demons don't need any more power. We have to win. I remember the demon daily motion. <laughs> Oh my the God. funniest thing oh, that it's man. ever generated. I forgot about that. No, the skeleton's name was Vim Eo, and we added that in later. It came up with a demon named Daily Motion on its Daily own. Daily Motion. On its <laughs> own. Hmm. I think you look out science. I don't know we split up. That's fine. We split I mean, up? You can manage I can't, it. I can't figure out the geometry of this place. Oh, it's pretty confusing. You could re-roll it. Tobin has no compass, but trusts his gut and walks towards wherever he feels his quest will be fulfilled. You take the opposite staircase. Wibbiza and Golfworm went through the same stairs. I, I Are guess. They different stairs? Do you... We went up. We went on the <laughs> no, right staircase that went up. The left staircase covered in butter goes down. Oh no. So I guess I that's know. the opposite staircase. The one with the covered in butter that goes down. Uh, within, okay, you take the opposite staircase, the demon shrieks falling behind you. Within minutes, you reach a room with several doors exiting it, each with odd symbols on them. The sounds of footsteps ring out behind you, but you feel strangely at ease. I don't know why. E1M1, it, it compels me to shake my head. It's a good song. Holly's back! You did it, chat! Good night, Sins. Good night. Welcome back to the end of the fray. Holly! Hi, I have internet again. Cool. Do you want to jump in this story or wait for the next one? We can give you a recap. I want to hear that hot oh recap. Oh god, what's the recap? Okay, so here's the recap. So, uh, the adventure is Wibby Zah, TV just Philbin, and, uh, what the golf worm is my character uh met some dwarves that didn't like the races that we were so they attacked us and we went and found an inn and there was a communist spy woman or something that cool. the game self-declared that uh who told us that she needed help hunting the demon oh hold on current story advancement from from scorpy's thing suddenly several of the doors swing <sighs> open a butler emerges from the leftmost one. Yes, sir, the butler asks. Would master wish for a cool beverage or perhaps <laughs> some warm bread and jam? A beautiful oh. woman appears from another door. Why, hello there, she says in a sultry tone. I could make you feel things you never dreamed of, lover. Just come closer. <laughs> a large hairy man steps out from another door. Bartender, get this man a drink, he shouts. Finally, you hear a familiar voice behind you. Come on, friend. Have some fun with us. We're all having a wild time in here. This is the best ever. <laughs> Everyone's nice. <laughs> I went this down the right cave. Path. This is some cave. kind of crazy, crazy demon, demon trick. Demon's trick. Yeah. Hedonism castle. Yeah. Oh, I love it, all of it. <laughs> all right. I'll continue my recap in a bit. We I just got overwhelmed with the plot development. <laughs> Golfworm says to Wibby and Tegus, what is any of this? Is this real? You turn to see Wibby and Tegus arguing over which door has the demons behind it. You shrug and say, I have no idea whatsoever is happening. I knew it, Wibby cries. <laughs> <laughs> the shining of D&D. <laughs> Demons are tricksy creatures. They look just like people. Come on, we have to kill them before they kill us. He runs over to the leftmost door and prepares his sword. These oh, are no. demons. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Wibby believes all these nice people are demons. I mean, that it would make sense. It doesn't. Out, out a limb. I, it would make sense. It doesn't make any sense. The demon teleported us to this labyrinth, and there's just like people offering us drinks and sex and fun. Dude, like, there's gotta be ahead. demons. We must see what kind of haunted secrets are up ahead. <laughs> So yeah, uh, we met a woman who asked us to hunt a demon and then she suddenly left. Uh, there was a buzzing, there was a empty space of air making a buzzing sound and I put my ear to it and it said a message, press the round button on the floor to continue your journey. Hold on, this the current plot's advancing. Wubizah goes into attack stance and uses the most dangerous attacks known to gnomes. You laugh. This 
silly pint-sized creature thinks he can fight you and your brother, and he will soon learn how just how dangerous demons really are. It'll be charges towards what? the <laughs> towards the butter. What the crap? Why? Why was that message from like from the demons, demons' perspective? That message was from the demons' perspective. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hold on, I can. I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> from the demons. <laughs> I would. Oh my God! Why isn't that? Why isn't that a thing? Like in a movie, when someone is attacking like a monster for a split second, you just see the monster's POV <laughs> with like the monster's hands and the bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> I fixed it. The butler, butler laugh. laugh. The butler laugh. So yeah, there was a button on the floor. <laughs> the Hold on. Laugh. Before you keep going, I do want to do a recap. So there was a wooden button on the floor, and uh. Balp and Scorpius characters pressed the button and it teleported them to a cave, like like a tunnel system. And then I went to press the button and it did nothing. And there was a dwarf in the room that just kept making fun of me. And then the, <laughs> and then the innkeeper came back and said, "You fool! You understand nothing!" And then locked the door and trapped me inside. And I kept trying to press the button and the dwarf kept laughing at me and poking me with a dagger. And then cool. and then uh and then the cave collapsed. And then we saw a glimpse of somewhere else, gears underneath the earth that were causing the progression of time. Which we still huh. haven't, we still haven't gone back to that, and I hope we do. Um, the and then we we killed the, the demon was actually the dwarf guy, and then we killed him. We got warped to a labyrinth, and now that's what's happening now. All right, try uh, Scorpio, it's your turn. Oh, what is this song? Oh hell yeah, Black Knight. The dwarf stabbed you with several different daggers. He used multiple daggers. Jesus Corbin does not believe they are demons, but wishes would be luck and enters the door with the haunted woman hoping to find peace and fun. He just considers at the demon's words for a second. These are demons. They are clearly tricking you. There's no way that a butler, a woman, and a bartender are demons. The game is the game is like, you idiot, those are real those are not real people. Those are demons. Yeah, they're, they're getting some mixed messages. They are clearly tricking that. you, however. You could re-roll it. Uh, that, that's like not the response you wanted. The game is like, no, fuck you. You didn't do that. You need to kill them. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. uh, maybe I'll just undo whatever I fucking wrote. Uh, I don't know. Just reroll it again. Just, re just keep rerolling it. There's no shame in rerolling it. No shame in re I'm having it. a hard time with that one. The thing is, anything <laughs> that AI, AI Dungeon tells us is funny. So, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is yes! a development. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> who, is, who is saying yes? Is that Tegis? I imagine I it's Tegis. <laughs> yes, I would yes. be upset if they turned into the. I didn't want them to be doing. <laughs> hey, hey, watch this, watch this. <laughs> no! Tegas, no! Wanted to, Tegas wanted to maybe have fun with a hotted babe, and it just couldn't, it just would not be. No way. You got the power. I've never seen a Black Knight pinball machine in real life, but it seems dope. I love That's how it cool. says, give me your money in the fucking theme song. <laughs> they knew what they were getting into. Am I allowed to join this round? Sure. So here's what we'll do. The order right now is me. Uh, so I, my character's name is Golfworm. Golfworm, Balp, who's Wibiza, Scorpy, who's mm -hmm. Tejas Philbin, and then Trog is a story beat. So after Trog's story beat, we'll go through the turn order again, and then your character can be introduced after, like, at the end of the turn order, right? The okay. so uh, w once we get there, I have a sp I have a specific tip for introducing your character. The Nito by Nito says, "Is getting premium AI dungeon worth it?" Yes, absolutely, one hundred percent. Uh. The two demons smile. Yes, travelers, welcome to our evil labyrinth, the female demon says. If you wish to escape, you must play by our rules, says the other. Then they speak in unison. Rule number one, don't think. Leave that to us. Just follow what? your instincts. What kind of demons are you, Wibby shouts, raising his sword and taking a defensive stance. Oh, yeah, a third you. voice enters. A, a third voice answers from the other side of the room. That's for us to know and you to find out. There are demons among us, say, <laughs> Wibby says. Two of them. One is masquerading as a human, and the other, he points at you. 
Whoa. Who's you? What? Who's you? Number one, there's three know. voices. And both of them were masquerading as humans. So. Okay, well, Wibby's just being dumb. So, uh... Wibby is being confused. Okay, this is Street Fighter 3. Okay, so I'm up. Hmm. What the f- This is not Street Fighter 3. What is this shit? This is not Street <laughs> Why did you say that? Now, this is AI the Dungeon. Media shares. Oh. Yes, bubbling remix. Hey, Gur. Gur is deafened. <laughs> Chat's being full of babies. Chat's being full of babies. Balform comes to this conclusion that they must follow the demon's orders and ceases all thought. His instincts tell him to walk forward. I don't like this one bit, Wibby says, and advances into the room. He slices the throat of one of the demons, but is caught off guard by the other's kung fu. Woo! Woo! It's like the sound you make when you're going down like a water slide. Woo! You whisper as you walk in a trance towards the center of the room. Come on, more! The butler demon shouts as he claws at your face. You laugh hysterically and dodge out of his reach. Whoa. Hey, it's really hey, hard to tell you. what's going fuck on. You. Who donated for that? I missed your cool. name, you bastard. Someone just donated for like the knocking sound that sounds like it's in your room. That scared oh. the shit out of me. I hate that. <laughs> Alright, Wibby, it's your turn. I guess we're not playing their game. I guess we're just killing them. No. Wibby I kind of wanted to play their game. game. You never know what might happen later. But now uh, I'm just fighting them on my instincts alone. I'm not thinking. Is this song copyrighted? No, I don't think so. Wait, Chad, is this going to be copyrighted? Oh, fuck, no, they're saying copyright. Sorry, I am so sorry. Yeah, look, okay, yeah, that definitely is going to get caught up. Uh-oh, uh, -oh. uh -oh. Don't do that. Don't donate for big songs. Yeah, don't. Like, okay, I'm just skipping this because it's the Gummy Bear song, everybody. and I'm and I'm pretty sure the Gummy Bear song would get copyright caught. That's a pretty, <laughs> that's like a, that's like a very owned like, thing. Like before you donate, just like you can literally look on YouTube. If you look in the description and you see that YouTube has detected what the song's name is, you can't donate for it. Nine times yeah, out of ten, yeah, that's gonna like get DMCA that caught. and like you know, just think about it for a second, you know, because like. It's cool that media shares are on, but you're gonna get the VOD muted for everyone who's watching later, which is nowadays is like the one you know, thing I like ask 3, of you. I, people. <laughs> I say thank you. I say thank you so much for your support in the media shares. Is this gonna get copyrights? Yeah, people are saying that this is that Red Vox is under a label too. I gotta skip this one too. Man, a streak of copyrighted songs. The best anyway. stuff is very, very, very obscure music, uh, like local music or video game music or anime music. This isn't even music. This is a clip from Street Racer. Awesome. <laughs> What's happening in the story? We got distracted. Clam. Uh, Red Fox is happened. fine, by the way. Oh, that's Vinny? Oh, I didn't know that. I was just told they were under a label, and I don't trust like that. Wibizaw starts doing a cool break dance, which is also kicks and kicks the demons in the face with helicopter moves. Wibizaw attacks the demons with break dance moves. They never knew that someone could be so rad. Let's get <laughs> out of here. Whoa, that's a cool cape. I want what? a cape. <laughs> the demons are like, they're like getting beat up. They're like, whoa, that's so cool. Wibby knows capoeira. That's fucking dope. We will never forget this break. I don't know if Lemon Demon gets caught. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for Redbox in the label. future. But yeah. I had to... If someone in the chat is, like, suspicious that there's going to be a copyright claim, I'm just going to believe it most of the time. If I end up being proven wrong, I'm sorry. But... <laughs> it's not music. Who's next? Oh, uh, Scorby's next. I am. So they're running away. Early Lemon Demon? Even late Lemon Demon. Like, Neil Cesariga is self... Everything. Oh, 
What is this? This won't get caught, whatever the hell this is. Whoa! This is rad! <laughs> well, that works. He just filled in claps for Wibby's moves, but is saddened by the loss of any hotted action. Let's get out of here, Wibby says, and you both quickly run into the next room. You could reroll, maybe get something funnier. Maybe I can continue it. You could. What's in the next room? More demons? Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, God! A harsh sound reaches your ears as you're leaving the room. Ah. Uh, maybe his this... neck is caught <laughs> between the teeth of a demon okay. hiding in the next doorway. Why, hello there, it says with a smile. Okay, so now, here's the thing. Here's the thing now. So, Holly, we're going to have you introduced here, but what you should do... So, have you ever played AI Dungeon before at all? Nope. Oh, shit. Awesome. So, at the bottom, like, where your bar is, like, you've entered your character's name, right? Mm -hmm. So, what you should do is click on the purple button that says your name until it says story, and you should then introduce how your character arrives to the scene. Like, okay. type it like it's type it like it's a story beat, and then you can, like, that can be your action as well. Okay. Like, you, you could be the demon that has Wibby... Wibby's mouth in there. Am I Wibby's doing my I story talk. thing first or? No, Holly's going to go. So then the okay. order becomes me, Val, Scorpy, Holly, you. Okay, okay. that makes sense. Uh, do I, 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 need to, I need to include my character's name in this, right? Yeah, like okay, I, would, I, I would describe however, whether you're the demon or whether you're some ex, like third party that's entering the fray, you describe how you enter and like have okay. your name somewhere in there. Yeah. Let's wait for that to submit then, I guess. Lurge the large falls from above, crushing the demon with her enormous hammer. Whoa! She laughs. Looks like I caught one. The demon's head is crushed and spurts blood all over the floor. His friends have run away, so you turn and... Ah. New friend, Lurge the large, welcome. So now it's Trog's turn. Oh, fuck yeah. Wait, this is Disco Elysium music? Where else have I heard this? This is from Dark Souls. Wait, yeah, this is from Bloodborne. Aren't those the, the same game, Disco the, Elysium and Bloodborne? The title is wrong. Yeah, this is definitely Bloodborne music. <laughs> Fuck yeah, though. Bloodborne music is exactly what I want for AI Dungeon. Trog, you're going, right? Yep. Okay. Yes, sent it. With the demons all vanquished, you can all get a better look at your surroundings. There are countless doors in every direction, but one in particular catches <laughs> Golfworm's eye. It's a door with a sign hanging over it that says Golf <laughs> HQ. <laughs> Under the sign, a shorter door leads into a room. You open this door and find you and Wibby look around in awe. There are so many trophies. Hey, how do you spell plaque? No, that's like plaque on your teeth. P L A Q U E. P L A Q U E. But I thought I thought it was a different word if it's if it's like like a plaque that would be on the wall is spelled the same way as teeth plaque. I'm pretty sure. I think so. No, there's there's no C K. Yeah, plaque. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I guess it's the same. I guess it's the same. P L A C K sounds like a comic book sound effect, like when you hit someone plaque. with a plank of wood. I want to know what's Placker. going on at Golf HQ. Oh, Golfworm finds a plaque on the wall with large text on it reading the game of golf. Golfworm continues to read its inscription. At the bottom, the inscription reads, written by Wibby ZA. Ribbit <laughs> Wibby says. <laughs> <laughs> Who is hold Ribbit? On, hold on. Ribbit? Frog gnome. <laughs> That's just the noises that Wibby makes sometimes. <laughs> He's a frog, frog gnome. Ribbit. Oh, it just didn't oh. listen to me. Hold on. I don't think it likes the, the colon. Uh, 
Once there was a ribbit who really loved playing golf. Now this particular ribbit wasn't just any ribbit. He was one of the best golfers to have ever existed. Backstory. What is a, is a ribbit your trick. race? Through his dedication to golf, he learned everything there was to it. No matter the situation, he could always score under par. Nice. Yeah, okay. pro golfer. Is this going to get copyright caught? What is this? Oh, no, this is from a game. His name was Wibby ZA. One day while walking across a desolate wasteland, he found an old, dusty, forgotten club in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we're just we're just getting the backstory on yeah. Doc's character at this point. What is Starfetchers? He picked up the club and felt the surge of pain through his arm. Ignoring the pain, he brought the club back and swung. Crack! Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm ending it. Are you just gonna keep going? I, I'm ending it. This is how golf was invented. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's a really, really long inscription on that plaque. This is like a really <laughs> long plaque. It's fine. Right. 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 Valp, it's your turn. That story was about you. Uh, but, ma but maybe not you. It was about Wibby ZA. Could that be like your ancestor, maybe? It's up to you to decide. Yeah, Autumn, I don't know what that's about. The, on, on my end, it says the AI doesn't know what to say. Yeah, don't worry about that. That'll, That'll go away sometimes. whenever somebody adds something. I'll have to okay. look it up because that song was pretty dope. I like that. Someone's sending a fax! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who did this? Internet suck. Fax Dream 2, now! <laughs> no, don't send a fax. How does a media share? A $5 more donation will put your song at the end of the queue. We have a lot of songs right now. Some might get skipped. The, uh... Oh, here we go. Wibbyza wonders why the name inscribed is so similar to their own name. Clearly it must be because this is about him in the future, and this one was made and sent to the past. I have to tell myself about golf, what he says, and he places his hand against the metal. He smiles to himself and whispers so that I can invent it. <laughs> I'm pretty proud, but why do they call me Wibby ZA? Well, that's your name, isn't it? You say, oh yeah, I'm so happy. You stare at the room filled with trophies. <laughs> what a development. <laughs> Holy shit. The time gears. This is something to do with the time gears. Oh, God. oh shit. This story is forcing a time travel plot on us. This is awesome. All right, so Scorby's up next. Wibby Zaw must invent golf in the future and then create a room and send the room back in time with a plaque talking about how he invented golf so that him from the past can find it and read it and then invent golf. <laughs> well, does, is he the one that sent the room back? That's the question. That doesn't matter if he is. All that matters is that it has to be sent oh, it, back. It's all, that's already happened. Someone sent it back. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll never know. The causality loop is already complete, like, you know. So is our new quest to invent golf? No, I, mean, I think, I think is. my character will invent golf eventually. We're still have to kill demons and find a magic staff. I love the I, I love that like cinematic moment where Wibby <laughs> says, I have to tell myself about golf and then just whispers. He places so his hand on the plaque. Yeah, it's beautiful. What? He just Philbin digs a hole in the ground and asks Wibby if he can get a hole in one to unlock extra memories. <laughs> you all look at the many trophies and medals displayed on the walls. Wibby picks one up and turns it over in his hands. These aren't mine, he says. At least I don't think they are. <laughs> I don't think Wibby knows what a hole in one is. Wibby doesn't yeah, know the rules no, of yeah, golf yet. yet. No! You could, I also would love to see what happens if you re-roll that. Like, if it does go with the hole-in-one. I'll try. <laughs> Wait, I, I just realized there's another part of time travel fuckery here. You find a golf club in the desert. Wait. I don't even know. I'm like... 
All right, uh, me? No, I couldn't play golf if I tried, Wibby says. Wibby stares at the trophies. His eyes light up with excitement. We should take one of these trophies to Claude. Who is Claude? <laughs> All right, Holly, your turn. Who Maybe is you know Claude? Claude? I don't Claude know who Claude, a, Claude is. Claude has to be a, a key in the in the golf journey. <laughs> I, I don't remember if I said this on stream or if this was just in our Discord call, but I love AI Dungeon because it's the closest I'm ever going to get to a hollow deck in my life. Yeah, just a just a it's just a really bad hollow deck in text only that just gets everything wrong. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. <laughs> is this from Noda? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Lurge the large <laughs> thinks about Claude. I remember that name. He was a famous golf hero from my time. You <laughs> nod. He was a hero to us all. He was also the greatest sinner to ever exist, Ruby really said. <laughs> I think maybe we should take one of these trophies and put it in his chamber. That sounds like a great idea. Just like Ayella and myself once were. <laughs> Who's that? Wibby asks, Who pointing once to a picture played. on the wall of a man smaller than the rest. Who's who, you ask, puzzled? Hold on, Trump, can I do something? And then you can I go- would, No, I want to do something. Ah, shit. It's my turn. I'm also removing that extra thing. Oh, that'll so fuck things up. <clears throat> yeah. Stick to Lick Nose. Stick to Lick Nose. That's a good emote. <laughs> no. Loving the golf stream so far. Thank you, String Wormy. I'm liking it too. Suddenly, the picture of the small man comes to life. Oi, who's done come and woken me up? He complains loudly. I've been asleep for centuries and no one has ever. Wait, you say, stopping in mid sentence? Are, are you Claude? Yes. Who are you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. You're some crazed modern day historian who's uncovered my long lost chamber and wants to know about the olden days. Well, I have news for you, Sonny. They weren't good. Not good at all. Who is talking? <laughs> what is Claude. going on? Claude. This is Claude talking. Who? Wait, what? Who's talking? <laughs> I assume that's me talking, because you was used in I, reference to me just like a set paragraph ago? I, I guess, yeah, that must be. Golf worm still under the spell of the demons has yet to have a lucid thought. His instincts tell him to snap Claude's neck. Before we can speak, you pounce on the small man. <laughs> he puts up a good fight, but eventually you snap his neck. No! <laughs> you stay in the face with me. And he deleted from the story immediately. I like to imagine that Claude is someone that we know and like has traveled back into the past from the future with this room and your first instinct is just to immediately kill him imagine imagine like going back into the past as an old person and like and like the person you know just a um, first instinct is to kill you uh, <laughs> but like I, I did something and it, it, seems a, it wasn't a real man game. it was a painting of a person how did you snap a painting's neck I I told it to I told it to unsnap neck and it just like isn't doing anything. <laughs> like it's locked. I can't type anything. Did the AI dungeon servers die? Thinking. We came up with too convoluted of a story. The model broke. Oops. <laughs> we have <laughs> we have a time travel plot where a man was trapped in a painting in the future after he was dead and a golf hero and sent back in time where people think that they came to talk to him about the past. Trickster God, <laughs> yes I can in the Whoa, 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 oh, hold on. No. Hold on, let me, oh let my me God. let's fix this. Let's fix this. Golf worm the world reset. <laughs> Unsnap. Right. Okay, that's all see, we're getting. Let's, let's see what happens. He stands still, wondering why he snapped Claude's neck. Slowly, the madness fades and is replaced with thoughts of genuine reason. 
<laughs> Golf Worm was just having an episode. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was. A an demon episode induced of AI episode. Dungeon. Claude stands up and dusts himself off. Some psycho you are. You'd have been a great help against the demons. Curse those beasts. Maybe it's a good thing we take their trophies. Demon oh, no, is golf played by demons in the future, or, or do demons collect the golf trophies? Hey, can you, can you, they donated for Bakamitai, can you, can you fall in love with Claude? So it golf, fits. Golf isn't but played Claude by is demons dead. in oh, the wait, future. Oh wait, no, he's not dead. Golf is played no, with back. demons in the future. The I demons are the clubs. I came to my senses and, <laughs> that's awesome actually, I came to my senses and I twirled his neck back in shape. I fixed him. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> so Claude took the so the trophies are the demons' trophies. I guess the, so. The trophies are also demons. I don't know about those here. This we have we are so off the rails. Yes, Lemon Devo, I love it. Well, the deep fake of me is fucked. I I look like a monster. <laughs> they all do! Mine especially. It doesn't like my hair. <laughs> I can't sing to it because it's out of sync, probably. I was thinking about it. I, I said that once I complete a DK rap, I'm going to replace it with a, a, a similar song, but I'm going to increase the amount so it happens less frequently. And everyone was like, oh yeah, Wayne. Dunkachino, do Dunkachino is like, yeah, that's pretty good. The thing is, is that I'm, it was in sync. Oh shit. The, the thing is, is that with Dunkachino is like, I'm going to get that right the first time. I know that I have that memorized. Belp, are you typing your answer? Uh, it's no, your turn. I forgot. I told him to order. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I'm petting my cat. I don't know all the words to Bakamita yet. I have to learn. So yeah, Dunkachino is too easy. Yes, Steel Paper Crane, the idea would be to deter it and make it happen less. DK raps are $100, they happen constantly. Lola time? Yeah. I'm heading for Lola right. jumps on the couch. What we saw asked what the major demographics of the game of golf are in the far future. Oh, this might... I don't know if it's going to know how to answer this. Yeah. I think it didn't know how to... You look hot straight in the eye. I'll do you one better. We want your help to combat the demon threat. Okay, yeah, it's just like I refreshed me. it. I refreshed it. I want him to talk about golf. <laughs> <laughs> Demographic on app. Is there a limit to golfers like a right now? A Yes, and it had basic intelligence, but it couldn't play. That's fucking awesome. Wait. <laughs> Getting some. What is, is it? Yes or no? <laughs> that's the answer. <laughs> Jim Barry says yes, but actually no heart emoji, and that's it. Does that all the time? It just I'm constantly good, contradicts what it just said. Answer. He just Philbin asks if Claude knows what a hole in one is. A hole in one? Sure, you hit the ball in the hole, no mistakes. No way. And what if there is? Claude pauses for a second. Well, I've never heard of that happening. In the future, every game is a hole in one. Yeah, we've exactly. got, got so good at golf. And you neither has the history of this game. Am I right? Aha, you are correct. The idea is laughable. No one in recorded history has ever managed it. Right, Wait, up. I don't understand. Is he saying that nobody gets a hole in one or everyone gets a hole in one? Steel paper cranes, I would, but I have to look up the lyrics. I don't have them memorized. I just know the, the one. I think part. he's saying everyone is, has a hole in one in the future. Yeah, let's just grill this AI about golf. <laughs> <laughs> golf in a fantasy setting. Other child says, like, Wayne, you have to do the first hole in one, but it's not me. It's Wh Wibby Za is the, is the champion of golf legend. He invented it. Happy birthday to Stonebee's dad. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, yo, somebody donated for Aquacycle's song from HLVR. A classic bop. All right, let's see. Let's see what the AI does with this one. Let's 
Lurch the Large tries to understand what has happened to the timelines. She knows Claude is an ancient hero from her past, but golf does not seem to exist yet in this current time. The existence of golf in the future disturbs you greatly. Claude, you ask. Does golf exist yet in your time? Not during my lifetime, or any others that I've heard of. Wait, so are you even making this shit up? How do I make this continue? I want to just, see just press enter with an just empty box. Enter. Okay. Any of us can do it, technically. <laughs> Alright, I want to see what's going to happen, then. <laughs> I, I gotta know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, oh man. Talbot Why do you just said, Whippy Zaw said that. And I think he knows a little more about golfing than you, pal, because he invented it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you ask? The thought just occurred to me that if we managed to destroy the demons, then you would never have had to invent the game of golf. <laughs> Which means it wouldn't exist today. Oh, so the God. existence of demons in this world precluded golf becoming a sport. It's all connected, I'm telling you. Shit. Is Claude right. Wibby's huh? I'm gonna see what the fuck I can do with this. Um. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. You should do something with the gears that I mentioned way earlier. So this, so this, so... So this room is constructed in a timeline where golf exists, but they don't have golf in their timeline, which means they're just constantly sending people back, trying to make it happen. We need golf! <laughs> <laughs> it has to happen. My head hurts even like remotely trying to grasp what is happening. Like trying to trying to hold on to any like single constant stable plot line. Whoa. Claude points at the painting he emerged from. I have to return now. My magic is running out. You must seek the golden club that lays in the center of this dungeon. He steps back into the painting. Oh, but don't forget, there are fiends guarding it. Well. <laughs> Good luck! The painting rips as Claude steps into it, showing a desolate street corner. Wait, Wibby <laughs> says, how can we return the trophies to their proper places? Alright, when you turn. <laughs> a desolate street corner. I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna ignore that. <laughs> the location in the painting changed. We'll have to put the trophies in various places to activate fun mechanisms. They say that if you place a penny on a railroad track, it will melt the steel and cause a train wreck. Maybe the same will happen if we destroy the trophies in the same places they originated. That's quite the plan. Ah, <laughs> uh, the classic penny on the railroad trophy <laughs> Hold plan. On. I'm gonna re-roll that. That's good, but I just... <laughs> there's too many confusing things going on right now. I don't need that in there. This is like a, a, like a, a 3D platformer collectathon that has like 9,000 different things going what? on. What? There's, there's an elf bound in the wall? Okay, I'm re-rolling that too. I'm re-rolling that too. It's the, it's the captured elf bound in the wall. Oh, you know the captured elf. The unmentioned The door's elf. open. What? <laughs> Hey, how about I just go again? <laughs> Maybe you pick a sure. different one. Right. You should keep re-rolling and see what shit comes out. All right, yeah, fine. We'll do a few more re-rolls. It seems to, like it's just... <laughs> it's so drastically different every single Let time. Let me drop the club on the board and shock. What happened? I broke it into pieces. He pulls out a huge notebook. Okay, another re-roll. It doesn't even mean anything. Re-roll. My hat is on my desk. Also, Wibby Welcome doesn't have AI his club yet. Lola. He needs to find a club. Wibby looks around. It's true. That's why I made the room to make you play this game. He wipes a single tear from his left eye <laughs> and dashes through the only door in the room. <laughs> okay. Okay, I like that. The puzzle I like master. That. I, he said that because I referred to the mechanisms as fun, so he called it a game. Like, <laughs> what's wrong with Wibby? Here. Can I put something before? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah, just I just pressed enter. Just to try and like get the AI. Situated. Here's how it works. A voice shouts <laughs> as you enter the next room. There are two of you, so you'll need to compete for the high score. I thought that's that was not gold. true. There's 
four. Compete for the high score. There's four Let's do of it. You. Hold on. Are we a... Can, I, can I delete Truck. that? <laughs> sure, sure. All, All right. right. I'm just going to do something real quick. This song's dope. What is this? Is this from Valhalla? I got a friend that really likes that game, but I've never I've never touched it. I know like little to nothing about it. I like it. The character designs are nice. The music is really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just we have a try and, that right and now. get you guys to a different place. You all return to the room of many oh, doors. True. There are countless doors to explore here. There's one with a terrifying monster, which makes you feel queasy <laughs> just by looking at it. There's another with a room <laughs> full of delicious food, but sadly, you are all stuck in the room and can't enjoy it. That's so sad. <laughs> the door is locked. There's another door which leads to an endless path. You find yourself in a hallway with door after door lined up against the walls. Each door has a sign on it, each with a letter on it. This is okay, a very so it's, confusing it's puzzle. Turn. This is good music for this. This fucking golf circus nightmare. This well, plot and this location reminds me of Anodyne 1. Makes no sense. Valp, you're typing, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Last time, you forgot. And I'm gonna bite you. What result lift up the door letters on, on the doors? They spell out P G A T O U R P G A Tor. Oh god. <laughs> Each door has a different letter on it. The doors line the hallway from when you enter all the way to the end of the hallway. It's so dark in here, I can hard I can hardly see it. I think you should re-roll that. You should re-roll that. You yeah. just ignored Anything. what you said. Yeah. Um, We've so been here before. <laughs> isn't this, isn't this P G A T O U R? Large gulps loudly. A large <laughs> gulps loudly. I'll go this way. He runs through the door. Our demon was discovering my character. Oh, don't, Holly. In in this game, you have to consider every character as gender fluid because it will never get it right. Ever. Yeah, the, the AI does not. <laughs> okay. Like, the AI like. The AI like just doesn't like. It can't remember your gender. Any like any like. It can't you, remember your species. If yeah, you, exactly, like, exactly, exactly. I was a gungan and it never brought that up again. It can, the it, fucking. It, so, so like for for reference, like the game is good at keeping track of like who is what character by name alone. Like it literally nothing else matters. Like the AI like struggles with that. Well, so, that wasn't the end of the message. A demon with an axe well, yeah, jumps learns. Demon, with an axe jumps alert landing on his chest and pushing the air out of his lungs. Oh god. Oh god. It's oh god. It's Tiger Woods the demon. <laughs> Can I type that as a story beat before Scorby goes? Yeah, go. Just fuck I'm it. Trying. I know. I don't know. It's, about it's, golf like, now. it's the great demon Tiger Woods. The Tiger Woods sounds like the name of a place where demons would live, to be fair. Can somebody make a, um, can somebody make a Dark Souls health bar with the Lurch. name Great Demon Tiger Woods? Lurge <laughs> slaps the monster in the face. The demon roars and howls in anger and slaps Lurge right back, knocking her out cold. You grab his, you grab her hand and carry her down the endless hallway of doors. So we just ran away from the demon? I guess. All right, Scorpio, you're up. Thanks, Luke Kiwi. Yeah, if it ever uses the wrong pronoun, we can just say the right one. Although it sometimes sure. gets a little hard to think about. Yo, yo, Mike with the, the 23 months. Because sub. it's hard to tell who the game is talking about at points. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's like the 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 AI is like good at keeping track of like, okay, you want these characters to be in it, but like by name only, and like it. I I think like it's not <laughs> good with anything else. He just filled in, licks his finger, and thrusts it in the air to determine the direction of the wind. He just says, I know how to get out of here. He takes his tongue and jabs it <laughs> into the air. He licks his finger and touches it to the wall. The wind blows that way, sir. Perfect, you say. Was my tongue talking to me? <laughs> Clawing <laughs> through the air, you manage to exit the area behind the hallway. It is a courtyard of some sort with fountains shooting streams of water high in the air. All right, Holly's turn. But I'm knocked out. 
You can still do something. Like you could wake up or you could like. Okay. Yeah, you just type wakes up and. Yeah. You also, like, like, you also have the ability. You could at any time like forfeit your turn to do a story beat. Like that's yeah. the fun. That's the and fun like, thing with this the, game is you can hop in and out of the roll of DM. The I haven't played this game too much, but something you have to start thinking about is like you can literally play this like a kid plays like imagine fighting like you can just say i wake up and i'm stronger and the yeah. game will acknowledge that and try to work that in okay power gaming is okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> like magic force field uh, don't go too far like don't ever just say i complete the quest oh yeah unless, like, unless we're like struggling yeah right. yeah of course Lurch the Large wakes up, feeling stronger. She examines the fountains and recognizes them. Shaken, you sit beside the fountains. Your breathing is heavy and you're wet in sweat from your earlier encounter. Why is Claude, Claude here? Hold on, removing Claude's Claude. Claude has been yeah, removed yeah, from remove the story Claude and we're gonna here. give you Claude more text. Claude, Claude is not Claude alive. has been removed. Your friends wandered your friend... back. You, you oh, yeah. on, sorry. It's your, it's your friend. Whoa. Your friends what? wandered what? back. They bring along several cameras used for taking photos. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good idea because you cannot take your own camera to every location. Hence why you rely on the PSX to do so. You're using your PS1 to take pictures. Why is the PS1 here? We were the place. The technology levels in this in this world are all over the place. That that line is funny. I, I, I want to re-roll that one. Yeah, feel free. Go for it. <laughs> Which, how, do, how do I re-roll this? The, the little the refresh little, button. Uh, circular arrow. Okay. Your, your buttons there are undo, redo, edit. Uh, that little tack, the thumb tack, if you press that, it'll let you add, like, remembered facts. Which is I've a weird feature. I never use it. It's never done anything. The, it never uh, worked for me. The utility. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, you know, right? no. Your voice says. Oh, You fuck. look up to see a... Large, terrifying demon standing beside you. I think Tiger Woods <laughs> chased us. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> can, can can I can I edit that to say that it's 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 Tiger Woods? Sure. Uh, no, it's just add, just demon. add at the end. It's, it's Tiger Arnold Woods. Palmer. Right. It's Tiger yeah. Woods. It's Arnold so Palmer. It's it's the great it's the greater demon, Arnold Palmer. I just realized I know two golfers. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, the ty the good one and the drinks one. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, Charles turns next. Demonic rub. I forgot about the rubs. What's a rub? In our uh, the last time that we had demons in a story, the vampire one of the vampires stood up and said like, it said like he summons his demonic rubs, <laughs> and like. <laughs> Oh my I don't god. Think we, they, I don't think the demon's that, nice necessarily, dog man. I think it's a farce. Say that say that there's say that there's one fountain of tea and one fountain of lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> I could go for some Arnold Palmer right about now. That's just good. Yeah. I'm drinking water. Yo, this music's but, dope. This is from Bug Fables? Oh, That's Bug the Fables Paper Mario like game, right? And soundtrack. Yep. Bug no, it's not so pooping good. pee fountains. What? The demon doesn't seem to be aggressive. In fact, they look concerned. Do you want anything to drink? Pepsi? They ask. He snaps his finger and the fountain turns into Pepsi. I can make all your dreams come true. All you have to do is me. No, huh? I'm not trading my eternal soul for a can of Pepsi, you say. Alrighty then. <laughs> is, he a, is he an incubus? <laughs> I, I think guess. he's an incubus. I fucking guess. The incubus, Arnold, Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Alrighty then, do you want a different beverage than the other guys? Do you have Mountain Dew, you ask? Hopefully, I sure do. <laughs> let, it, let it be known. <laughs> let it be says, known. Lurge the Large <laughs> would trade her soul for sex and a can of Mountain Dew. A can of Mountain Dew appears in your hands. You grab it and, gre uh, and greedily drink it before handing it back to the demon. Thank you. The demon makes a face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that, that. It made that exact face. This is the face I make when I win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, how is the team going to tackle this? A demon is giving out free sodas in exchange for souls. 
Demonic- That's my- That's the demonic possession complete phase. Yeah. <laughs> demonic possession <laughs> complete. <laughs> Chat is just full of that face. Mm -hmm. The demon face. Golfworm says, Golfworm slaps the beverage out of Lurge's hand. No, you can't drink that sexy drink. Golfworm says, you were given Mountain Dew. Lucky, I only get soda that isn't acid. It doesn't even fizzle. <laughs> well, you need, okay, we have to, I'm going to re-roll that. What the fuck was I think you need to re-roll that. That's nothing. I only get soda that isn't painful. And I thought you got really hung up on what? the why not? So Lurge says. Aspect. She gets up and notices the demon for the first time. Who are you supposed to be? The Grim Reaper? Help! <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? The Grim Reaper? <laughs> first reaction to anything. She was like, she was still in like a daze from being unconscious. Yeah. I'm the iconic Arnold Palmer, bar bartender extraordinaire and crowd favorite, the demon says proudly. Now let's get back to the task at hand, loyal Lurge. The demon snaps their fingers. <laughs> what the fuck is oh, happening? No. Alright, we have to slay it's the demon. Happen. Uh, I like- I love the- the- like, the redo button in AI Dungeon. It makes me want to watch a movie where at any point I can press a button and it just, like, re-rolls the plot of the movie from the last, like, ten seconds. He summons another Mountain Dew. This one hasn't been through the usual procedure, and instead had a dash of lemon-flavored cough syrup injected into it. This <laughs> should cheer up Lurch considerably. That sounds fantabulous! Yo, Lee! Oh, man, we're getting high. Alright, so it's, it's, it's Wibby's it's <laughs> turn. Tripping. <laughs> That's just straight up drugs! <laughs> we got lean in this story. This is new lean. I've never seen lean use Mountain Dew. It's always Sprite. I've, I've honestly never seen lemon flavored cough syrup. Is that a thing? I've never seen that ever. We we may it's real. not. I've seen we, it. We may not have golf in this universe. In this but we, have we do have, but we do have lemon lean. flavored demon lean. <laughs> <laughs> and we love it. All of our characters love it. <laughs> they do. It's their one weakness. Are we training our soul for lean? <laughs> I think Lurch already has by accident. Yeah, you All like right. forgot. You're like, no, I'm not gonna <laughs> give up my soul. But do you have Mountain Dew though? By the way, Chad, if you're liking what you see here, we do these streams all the time. I never get bored of AI Dungeon because it's literally infinite. The We do these streams once every few weeks with a different batch of people. The So you'll get more of this. And we're yeah, going to do more is... stories after this one. I don't know when this is coming to a conclusion. Yeah, this is like my first time actually doing it myself, but it fucking rules. Wibby Zoss says, this is a terrible trick and we have to kill you now. Wibby licks her lips. I'm not drinking that. Thing she says it. <laughs> uh, I mean, so you say you tempting. haven't played, the but you played it with the other one. Eh, that that kind of counts. Kind of counts. She sticks her tongue out and makes a gagging noise. Large chuckles. Me neither. Look, I found some regular powder. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate uh, can of soda. I'll just drink this. <laughs> okay, I'm so the I brought my I own. Too hung up on the soda. No, it's great. I want. I, I want to keep that. Okay. I want to keep that message. The soda demon. All right, all right, I we'll think, keep I it, think we'll that keep can it. of Mountain Dew that you found is also made by the demon. Maybe. <laughs> no, this, this is the one that she brought with herself. She brought a can of Mountain Dew. All right, it's Scorby's turn. <laughs> ah, this game's awesome. Hell yeah, Pippi Gaddy. T just filled and takes the can of soda and pours it out on the floor, hoping for something God magical damn it. to happen. <laughs> Lurge squints at the empty can of soda. I think I found some insects in this drink. <laughs> Picks it up and looks closer. Do you want to re-roll that so your character does something? I kind of want to find out. Yep, yep leaf cutter <laughs> ants. You can find anything in these cans. <laughs> Or you sit around the fountain. Should I? Do we continue with that? It's up I to guess. you. I mean, up to you. 
You can re you can How rewind you as far back as you want. I'm gonna rewind and reroll to see if something magical happens. <laughs> I think if you want it to do something magical, you should say pours it out on the floor and something magical happens. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Holy no. shit, that's amazing. <laughs> oh my What <laughs> the real world? What's the world that you are in? <laughs> okay. I haven't Let's I keep that. We are I haven't been paying a lot of attention, but what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, it's always oh turn again. Okay. Uh look at all that mountain dew. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I love it. You dump a soda on the floor and think a small child might find it one day. <laughs> a small child might wander into this demon labyrinth. <laughs> this time, this this bubble of time. There's no evaporation in here. Thanks, Stabber. <laughs> Alright, what is the real world, though? The re it's where we live. Real Mountain Dew just came into this story. So Arnold Palmer has a connection to our world. Oh, he's That's about awesome. to have an even deeper connection. Hang on. The real Dude, Arnold yes, Palmer walks Arnold through the Palmer. portal. The golfer walks through the portal. Lurch the large brandishes her massive hammer and swings at Arnold Palmer, launching the demon into the Mountain Dew portal. Wibber blinked. I didn't expect that to happen. The portal closes and the room returns to normal. Wibber. Well, that's that. <laughs> and that's how it happened. I gotta know what happens next. And that's how it happens. We Call still have a flood of mountain, mountain Dew bottles in our room now. Wibber ends his story. Everyone is in awe at what they've heard. So that's why the Rock Falcon became such a prominent <laughs> juice manufacturer, somebody <laughs> says. Uh, what? What? Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Okay, I got I got no, freak I out that. for a second. Don't worry. That, trick. that would be fucked up if it generated that. <laughs> Can I rewind that? I think we should rewind that to, uh, maybe get rid of the rock falcon thing. I don't know <laughs> what. But how are we gonna know? How are we gonna know how the rock falcon became a prominent juice <laughs> manufacturer? <laughs> what is Somebody that? says it's like a disembodied voice echoes into the room and is like, "So that's why the rock fountain became such a prominent juice manufacturer." <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's your turn, dog. Are we yeah. keeping that or no? I think you decide as the as the pseudo DM. I got. I'm getting really hungry. I want to go grab dinner. So we should wrap up the story and start a new one. God, I need someone to draw the rock fell. I actually would like to take a short break. Be and like we could start that without you, and then whenever you're done, Bob, you can come in and uh, yeah, and join. Or someone like, can like, just take my spot in the same I way that Holly like... did. Yeah. Chat's asking you what you're gonna have for dinner. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I kind of know, but I'll confirm it. It's a surprise. This? This is, this is not a Kevin MacLeod song. No way. <laughs> this is from an Arnold NES Palmer game. vanquished. The adventurers move into the next room. This room is very different than the last. Oh shit! It's covered from head to toe in an assortment of delicious food. There are whole roast pigs, racks of lamb, pheasants, potatoes, and much more. A gigantic table sits in the middle of the room piled high with even more food. How does this relate to golf? <laughs> I don't know. Demons made it, not me. <laughs> this is the feast room after you play golf. <laughs> it's yeah, it's the feast room. Only well, the last room was the soda out. room, and this golf is room says, room. "Oh boy, nummy!" With a cry of delight, you fling yourself into the food. Time to eat. You're so hungry, you don't even wait for a plate. You pick up a chicken leg in your fingers and devour it. You pick it up in your fingers. Oh, yeah. Your fingers, not even in your head. <laughs> You're just like. Maybe the really small chicken thing. It is so good, and the wide. smell, the delicious water, mouth water smell of gasoline. Your eyes widen in surprise as the room is suddenly bathed in a bright green light. Oh, oh no. no! It was a trap. Trap food. Is Bob going, or is Bob at dinner? Oh no, no we're wrapping it up. Yet. Yeah. Are we dying in this room? Man, I feel like this is the first time that, like, if we're wrapping up this story, that like we don't have an end here. I don't want to. I don't want to end it. We have so much set up. You know? Might say too much set up. Ruby's all watches so the much happening. food lights in a blaze. 
the lights go out and there is a moment of silence. Then the screams start. A moment later, the entire room is in flames. Oh, oh <laughs> whoa. Is, the tone of this story took a hard left turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was too. I was too hungry. My gluttony got to me. Oops. Chat saying it's a residence cascade. You think this might be green? I don't think this is. Hot. This is a this is a fake part six OST, a fan made part six OST, not fake. <clears throat> Music's fake. It's not real. Music isn't real. None of it is. Yay! I'll turn it down a little bit just in case. Tejas Philbin runs into the room where the bottles of Mountain Dew fell out of the real world portal. Carrying five to six bottles, he runs in and throws them on the fire. The room quickly fills with a poisonous gas. <laughs> the I screams think... of the dying and the roar of the fire slowly muffle as you pass out from the fumes. You're not going to make it out of here. Right. I think uh, it wants the story to end too. Okay. <laughs> uh... the, the game is like, wrap this shit up. Uh, there are 39 songs in the 39 song, bleh, 39 songs in the queue. So if you donate now, there may be a chance your song gets played if we end up going late. The uh, which could happen. These streams usually last a good a good chunk of time. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Palmer <laughs> killed all the maidens. The demon, the de Arnold Palmer won. That's like an end of- that's like a video game lose screen message. <laughs> were we the maidens? Uh, I don't know. Arnold I Palmer we died. Hold on. Reroll? Wait, no, no, no. No, absolutely not! The world reset. <laughs> Alfred says, not the maidens! This isn't even You're real dead. golf. Wrong! <laughs> this is golf! <laughs> <laughs> AI fighting back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Holly, this is a normal behavior. Sometimes, sometimes your story just ends anticlimactically, and like you get the bad ending, and and, and the game also. <laughs> so Arnold Palmer puts. Back. Arnold Palmer crushes everyone under a rock. Arnold Palmer is poisoned by witches. Arnold Palmer puts your head into a hole. Arnold Palmer rides <laughs> off into the sunset with your wife. All your worries are gone. Golf courses are owned by Owen Parmel. You feel dizzy from air contamination. The king isn't really dead. A man eats all the food. A man eats all the food. A man eats all the food. <laughs> We're off the rails. <laughs> what? what is the happening? King of demons. Poglet, the king of demons, <laughs> emerges from the flames to collect your souls. The room is engulfed in flames. <laughs> Luckily, you are made of wood and stay cool. <laughs> Not so for the others in your group. Wibber panics and is unable to move. Unfortunately, he's a little confused. He thought you were, well, you'll hear about Pog is a whiny brat looking for his <laughs> mom. He, he sucks. He sucks. <laughs> Damn. AI dungeon roasting him. What? He's not a fog <laughs> eats babies? Well, not really. Morg acidly scolds you for not for smoking and takes away your smokes, but gives you a lollipop. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Morg. It's broken. Who are all these characters? <laughs> Golfworm says this demon sucker a fart. Acid Ma eats you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, hey, this is a AI bad dungeon. Word. Hang what on. Is this? Hang on there, AI Dungeon. Alicia casts a fireball at you. It's no big deal. Baccarol combines all the characters in your group together to create a horrific abomination of doom. I think the story's over. I think we, uh, we fell for the food trap. I think we fell for the food trap. Uh, the poison gas filled the room and killed all of us, and those of us that it didn't kill went delirious. I wanted to see what it the keeps piece. introducing new characters. Who's <laughs> Tengra? What I would get with Tengra? Trungsten, Trungsten is a Logmore name. <laughs> oh, remember the man-eating tree, though. Kobe. Yeah, <laughs> Kobe. The Kobe. 
sometimes you hate choices. All right, we're going to take a break. Bob's going to go get his dinner. I imagine that some people are going to hang out, but I need to run downstairs, use the bathroom, and fill this cup with something clear. Uh, so I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to do that. And when we get back, uh, we're going to play some more AI Dungeon. We're going to start a new story. I'm so sad that that story ended like that, but... It was a good story. Free Xbox will drop after it. Congrats, you are now the Hokage. Believe it. I feel like it's said that one. exact thing before. A nice Mexican buffet oh, will open across the street from a Subway sandwich shop. All their meat is replaced with rat, mouse, and roach. Oh, no. Welcome to Fallout. Oh, They're going to go out of business. <laughs> Holy shit. Holly's internet went out. Holly's internet Oh, well, hopefully by the time the break she's is having, up, she's back. She's having the worst. You order a rat foot long sob. Free Xbox Live, do you want it? And can taste every single one of those little feet <laughs> on my way. What's that? You just want a brand new automobile. Where are you? Where you park it, though? Folks have been known to steal things like that around here. Yep, you got it. You didn't even have to vote because your halo is too awesome for you to neglect your duties as a child of God. So you believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? It's not too late to start going to church. Seriously, it should change your life around. God is watching you. Why is it trying to convert me? When Radio TV will release a new t-shirt with any color you want, but it will turn your blood into that color. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you want a blue tea, you're now bleeding blue. And with logo on front of T. Only 20 bucks. Oh, only 20 bucks. Well... Get ready for the <laughs> Thank shirt you that for your pathetic the color donations of, your blood of 27 cents for $20. AIDS, what the fuck? Don't want that sweet <laughs> custom profile skin for Battlefield Bad Company 2. Wayne, you have to put a shirt in the store now. How do I, I do that? Does, that it, does, the, does the text say my blood has become this color? Yeah. I got the battle. <laughs> My blood is now this color. Teachers Philbin made it. You died of an overdose. Sorry, no more gay for you. Any celebrity you want, only seven. <laughs> People can breathe through their ears. Now, you know why that dude was always idling around in that arcade. Okay, it's a stretch, but whatever. Reddit. Reddit. <sighs> Any celebrity you want, only $7.99. <laughs> That's a new subway deal. Oh, no. Dude, make more merch. Let's make more merch. More gay for me! <laughs> Better get pumped I for Black that. Friday. I don't so even see the more gay for me message. You don't? No, it hasn't come up yet. Yo, so much is good to the sub, they continue to sub. Hey, I doesn't know what to say. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas there characters is. on Face Metalhead. Those aren't real babies. You are duped into killing fake babies, which is still bad, right? <laughs> more gay for me! What? What do you get when you cross the room with a wolf? The howl. Get it? Uh, like, <laughs> That's the like, the child joke. like the hall? Like the hall? I mean, TV new merch store t-shirt will feature. Congratulations, you may download music for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Super Mario Bros. is one of the greatest video games of all time in Krabby 3D. Link, Zelda, and hey, check out my new shirt. It has in Krabby 3D a stro. Why did the peasant throw the princess out the window? To get to the Chucky, the first ever appearance of my face on a t-shirt, only 10 bucks. <laughs> you gotta release you gotta release a shirt with your face on it and sell it for ten dollars. Honestly, $10. honestly, a shirt with my face on it that says congratulations. Now you may download music for only 49 <laughs> cents would be fucking great. Let's do that. Has an old man smelling dirty gray hair? <laughs> <laughs> and a smile of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I'm screen capping that. I need to save all of that. I don't know what I do for an old man smell t-shirt though. I don't know what the fuck that means. Teeth shirt! <laughs> Here's the shirt no human should wear. My face come out catchy. USA, USA, you could be improved. Merch now has a happy version and an angry version. Did you know yeah. if it's the first 3D shirt? <laughs> Look, only one we have a happy and angry merch. Here's the first shirt no human should wear. <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh, what is it? What is it? What's the first shirt? Go, no go on your break so we can do another real story. Wayne's new shirt is great. It's got yellow and brown shirts with orange stripes and a red neck. It's a new profile skin. <laughs> <laughs> new Ever rare 3D shirt. Skin. Only one fucking buck. <laughs> Only one fucking buck. <laughs> <laughs> one fucking buck. <laughs> Oh man. <clears throat> Wayne, take Only a break. One I'm having fun!
You got it. I want to do another real story, <laughs> what? Wayne. <laughs> Such, I Free can't shirt see. with a dorky VR helmet. <laughs> whoa, whoa! This shirt is fucking awesome. The design has what? Shiny new shirt on your screen. Only one dollar. The future is new, improved, happy version. Hey, everyone, guess what's only one dollar? This shirt. Be sure to buy it and wear it. Tell with your tickets. Only one buck. Flowing purple water and a sun with smiling. <laughs> Okay. Smiling. Hey, look, everybody, okay. it's a new profile skin. All right, we're taking a break, guys. When we get back, we'll start a new story. Your media shares are still going to play while I'm gone, which is a cool new feature. I didn't realize until now that we could have the title of the songs up on the screen like that. Thank you, hey, Pigeon on a Chair. Only one dollar. This shirt. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the AI dungeon on screen, but if you can reach it to them, you're not going to actually go anywhere. All right, we'll be right back, chat. Uh, McDonald's, the media share queue, let me tell you how that's looking. 36 songs are in the media share queue at the moment. And there's always the chance that some of them may get skipped. Oh man, they're playing a Star Trek story off screen. We should do another Star Trek story. Maybe. I want to do something... I want to, I want to do something that we haven't done yet and something... I want to do something non-standard. Like, I want to try to oh. get to make a collaborative recipe. I, I gotcha. We're doing Star Wars story. No! <laughs> What's a ten dollar shirt with my face on it? Everyone, me. <coughs> Hi, everyone. I have some, um, I have some green pea snack crisp stuck in my throat. <laughs> Your throat is full of country goodness and green penis. No, 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 no. Does somebody remember the exact music for 49 cents? Here, I'll scroll up a million years and try and get it for you. Uh, oh God, where even was that? <clears throat> it is Wayne Radio TV new merch store t-shirt will feature congratulations. Now you may download music for only 49 cents. Am I joining next round? Yeah. You all tell Wayne to release a shirt that says, Congratulations, now you may download music for only 49 cents. guys it's too bad chat can't see what just got put in the story can you hijack wayne stream is that something you can do <laughs> i don't know does he have his overlay on i can check fucking check. mario he does i don't know i usually have to ask him to turn it on <clears throat> wait till i turn it on i can read just it wait. yeah i can read it but it's like it's more of a visual gag hold out for wayne to get back then let me see if let me see if Wayne has his overlay on. Hmm, we'll find out. Oh yeah, he does have the overlay on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is my stream now. We are more hat. We're we're jacked in. Sometimes I feel kind of bad about using that 
weird picture of our friend Erarg's face grafted onto a 3D model, but he it's really it. funny. If he really likes it, then it's picture. okay. I think he likes it. Hey, what are you doing? I wanted to show the chat something. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What is it? Was it in our AI dungeon game? Yeah, hang on. I'm putting. I it can on just. Screen. I mean, I can just tab back. I'm on my computer. Oh, okay. That was Aerog from like a decade ago. Picard, Worf, just what is the status of our main deflector array? Worf, I'm sorry, Captain. It was damaged in last week's attack and needs 20 hours of work. Picard, damn it! Who wants a $10 shirt with my face on it? <laughs> Everyone, me. Well, thank God that didn't happen. Troy, Captain, I'm sensing something very feminine. Also, I sense danger. Guinan, you fools! Now is no time to question our commander's orders. This man has saved all our lives. Naming. Do you question that? Mario, woohoo! Wow, yippee! Does a backwards long jump into the purple warp puddle. Worf, did he just... Picard, yes. And a painful and embarrassing death it will be too. Fucking great. All right, what's our new... Ah, Rarg! <laughs> you look over and notice he's in your room. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. You're not on tonight's stream. Oh, yo, chat. After AI Dungeon, I think I'm going to try to play some Fall Guys. We'll just do some late night chill shit. And I think Scorpy's streaming later, too. We have all kinds of entertainment for you. All right. Uh, did you put a link for the new story? No, I'll make a new story. I'll, I'll turn my... Oh, I was having fun with the overlay. What are you playing later, Scorpy? Blade 2 again? <clears throat> I think... It might be. It's I'm good enough to play twice. Blade That's surprising. Two. All right, so we're doing a custom story this time, right? Uh, yeah. All right, chat, help it's us think of prompt. a story scenario. We got to think, so this could be a totally new thing. We could do, um, we could do a totally new thing. We could do, like, a story based on a pre-existing format. Like, in the past, we did, like, a sequel to Sonic Adventure. We did Sonic Adventure 3. Holly, unfortunately, her internet's dead. So, like, she's coming back if it can. She said it came back for 10 seconds and immediately gave out again. I give up. Big F's for Holly. I think Saturday we're going to be doing Lisa. We're going to be doing a big long stream. What the fuck? We need to write an angry... We need to all write angry letters to Holly's ISP. You need to give this woman better internet. Stat! Do you guys have any ideas for what our next story should be? I'm asking you guys. We well, want to do Star Trek again. When did they I do Sonic Star Adventure Wars. Three? We did, I did Sonic Adventure Three like a long time ago. That's before there was honestly, multiplayer. If Scorpion's gonna to... play with us again, I kind of like the idea of doing Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, As yeah. Somebody who has no concept might, of what Star Wars is, but it might teach him things about Star Wars that he's not supposed to know. <laughs> you, you really think that this is gonna teach him things about Star Wars? <laughs> Night at the Museum no, story. Um. Let's see. Cowboys. Cowboys. You know, so you many know, people, so many people Cowboys. always say, so many people always say HLVRAI. And I do oh, think it'd be funny mean? not to do, not to do HLVRAI, but to do like a knockoff, like someone trying to copy us. Like the character's names Cowboys are like Benny, aware. Benny, Benny, Buddy, Dr. Cooter. Like, Cooter. Oh, no, you can, no, no, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kingdom Hearts. That'd be great, especially because I don't think Scorpion Girl have any idea what's in Kingdom Hearts. I don't know shit about exactly. I'm down for whatever, but I do All think right. I do think we literally have not ever just done Cowboys. Like we've, we've never just cowboys? done a Western. Cowboys. I mean, I did it solo, cowboys. but not multiplayer. Do, do we want to put it to yeah. a chat vote? Ah, uh, no, because HLVR will win. I guarantee. No, it. no, no. Do yeah. a vote. Do a vote, but have it be Star Wars, Cowboys, and uh, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom yeah. Hearts. Okay. Okay. Yeah, do it. Do the poll. I think we'll do the HLVR one at some point, but I think for that, we should probably have the full cast playing. And we all play, like, knockoff characters of ourselves. I think that'd be very oh, funny. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to reprise my famous role. <laughs> <laughs> Viewer. Uh, how do I do... How do I do this? What? There's the manage poll button. Yeah, it's, like, not working. Okay. Uh, the knockoff Coomer would be Dr. Cooler. Dr. Cooler. Yeah. Dr. Frieza. Dr. Frieza. <laughs> All right, the poll's up. Vote now. I Hey, have they have they implemented voting on mobile Twitch yet? I don't know. Oh yeah, I that would also be funny. Thing. Is is not either either doing knockoff versions of our characters or everyone plays a different character. 
and we try to retell the story from different perspectives. I think that'd be There's funny. There's no way. <laughs> Whenever you think about it, the story of Half-Life is actually incredibly simple. On the surface. Half-Life 1, anyway. Cowboys is winning, like, majorly. Cowboys has 407 Cowboys. votes, Star Wars Cowboys. has 61, and Kingdom Hearts is 100. I mean, Cowboys is a tribute. Tribute to our fallen child. Just because they're not winning doesn't mean we won't do them some other time. All right, I think Cowboys is the victor. The clear or immediately victor after. All right, post the link when you're ready, troll. Uh, we should well, do. Here's the thing. I have to do. This. I have to do the prompt before I can do the link. All right. Do you want to type it or do you want me to do it or something? Let's come up with it together. Okay. But read, hang read on, it out loud. I have to choose a character name first. What's a cowboy name? Oh Billy. shit! Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys something. Really quickly. Billy Quick Draw. Oh wait, can you guys see that? Oh wait, no, I'm gonna go to BRB while I get this ready for you. <laughs> Mute the media shares for a sec. While I do this. Check out what's Begoner, Mike, in chat. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Wait, can we I not window that capture VLC player? Nope, that doesn't work. Can I game capture a VLC player? Let me just put it in as a media source. Cowboys. Hold on, guys. I get this ready for you. Don't you worry. I wish it was easier to do this. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. Bro, I'm gonna kick you in the nut. Do we do we want to be okay? We're doing cowboys. Do we want to be like the law enforcement or the like the like? Are we robbing a train? What's going on? Let's be right. train robbers. All right, chat. Check this out. All cowboys are bastards. Great job, Mike. Fucking awesome. That was so fast. Very quick edit. That was a that was a real mod for Dark Souls. Should put that mod out there. Change, yeah. <laughs> change the first boss to say Great Demon Tiger Woods and no other changes. That'd be fucking great. Alright, so read me what you have so far. What is uh, our cowboy So plot? far, I have It's the Old West, the time of cowboys Yo. and desperados. <laughs> If you, you and your gang of bandits are getting ready to rob a train of its valuable of its valuables. You could probably take that bit out. Just rob a train. I had to unmute it. Oh, Wouldn't be I'll fair if they didn't there. get some of it. Thank you, sugar enemies, for the big ten gift subs. Enjoy your sub if you got one, and consider continuing it when you get the chance. You got a whole month to do that, though. Please. Enjoy it, sweetheart arts. Valuable valuables. Uh, any other suggestions for this prompt? Not a clue. Scorpio also is eating, by the way. That's fine. He can hop in whenever. Is and Balp here? Bandits are getting ready Balp to rob a train. Dinner. Okay, so right now it's me, Trog, and Gur, and then Balp and Scorpio will hop in whenever. The, uh, you, you and your gang of bandits are getting ready to rob a train, but the local. Sheriff is is hot on your your tail. Trail. Hell yeah, we're renegades. Trail. We ain't no sheriffs. We outlaws. Can you put Josh in this game? Let's do, see. It. We'll see if the AI gives us Josh. Do you guys remember an old cartoon that was like it was about cowboys who were literally cows? No. Oh. It was like what was it called? It was like Cowboys of Moo Mesa, I think. I don't have oh, a God. cowboy hat. Hold on. Does anybody else remember that? I see a couple yeses. It wasn't good. 
By by no account was it good. The closest thing I have to a cowboy hat. Oh shit! It could barely fit on my head. I haven't worn this in so long. That's a that's nowhere near a cowboy hat, my man. <laughs> it's the only hat I have. By being a hat, that's not true. But <laughs> not a is. cowboy hat. I have to hold it on like a Why child. Why do you have that? Why not? Uh, remember when he ran a church? Yeah, but I- he had like a monk robe. Yeah, I had this too. I wore this sometimes. This is when I like- I- I became Father Diddy for a while. Oh. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna send the you. link now. I- I have created the adventure. Oops. Where'd the other strap go? They're not- Oh, they're in the back! That's right. All right. I'm trying to use the straps. Those straps are, are not the are decorative. <laughs> They're not meant to... Wayne struggles to put on a Pope hat for 20 minutes. Oh, there we go! Let's point the camera up. <laughs> Perfect. What's my cowboy <laughs> name? Got it! Instantly new! Instantly new! Will you officiate my lesbian wedding? Right. If I could, I would, but I can't. So you won't. Can you do e-officiating? I don't know. That'd I think somebody fun. has to be there in person. Even during COVID? Maybe not. Maybe not now. Finally cut away from your TV stream. He adjusted his Pope app for two hours. This hat is oh. six feet tall. It's crazy. Before he heard me eating food and immediately started yelling. All right, are we all in? I'm in. I'm all right, in. so let, let me let me read right. this over one more time. It's the old west, the time of cowboys and desperados. You and your gang of bandits are getting ready to rob a train, but the local sheriff is hot on your trail. If this heist goes right, you'll all have enough money to live the rest of your lives comfortably. The train is set to arrive in an hour. To repair, you all hide out at a cabin just outside of the town Cougar Creek. Let's find us some cougars. Uh, order Wayne Gurmy. No, uh, J Man, if if you're if you're sure. hearing the wrong song when it's listing your title, I think that means that your song is gonna override someone else's. Media shares are fucked up right now. I really need to like contact Streamlabs to be like, hey, your media shares can't handle this large community. It doesn't work anymore. Um, who's goes who's going first? You, 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 you? Gurgan okay. me. <clears throat> How about we reverse that order? Uh, okay. I don't know what Sounds to do. To me. I, need, I need some more I, context. I don't care. Since I just picked gorilla? arbitrarily. Mr. Streamer. Bitch. The way I have the cam set up makes me feel like, to your eyes, I'm just a floating head. I like it. Looks more like you're a child. Can I, can I light the candles, Mr. Pope? No, you burn yourself. But I'm big now. I can do it. I'm big enough. I'm as big as I'm ever gonna get. Shut up. My papa said I don't grow anymore. Well, my papa, the one up in the sky, says shut up. God would never say that to me. God loves me. I am God's child, and He is God, my dad. God loves everybody. But God makes me on, glad because He is tonight. my dad. I hate you, Pope. I hate you too. I'm gonna poison the wine. I'm gonna poison the blood of Christ and the bread. <laughs> Hello? We're having a moment. Sorry. We're, 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 we're role playing something oh, else. He didn't like what I did. Billy, I, you read I it. think I need to re roll. Hey, you but stole I'll read Walt's my name. Prompt. Billy Fingers is standing around a table with a large map on it. He points to a big red X marked on the map. We'll ride our horses to here, then hop on the train while it slows down to cross the bridge. He looks at the other two bandits to confirm the plan. I'm gonna re roll it because it invented. Two people that won't Hi, exist. The little, little Chuck. Chuck. Oh, and Red. Just yeah, just reroll. See if anything happens. Yeah. Yo, log in the chat said Billy Fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's excited. Okay, boss. She says okay. J boss. Who's hey, what, what is one of your characters' names? And I'll just uh, change J Doobie K Jones. To... Change change it to Doobie, Doobie Jones. Jones. Yeah. All right, I'll change it to Doobie Jones. How do you spell that? All right. I just needed to do something to get the story going. Thanks, Ducky Town. All right, my turn. Yeah. I'm Pope tonight. Baby Pope Wayne Radio TV. 
All right, Gert's turn. Uh, I'm thinking. Oh shit, I should be careful. This hat, this hat will come off if I'm not careful. God, I look so hot! Starting off, starting off gentle on this one. Starting off easy. Oh my god, this one's already fucked because it keeps adding characters. Bob in the That's blaster. Fine. Uh huh. Yeah, it's just an NPC. Bob in the blaster gets his shotgun ready as he's very excited to shoot anyone that dares attempt to stop their plans. We will be armed with whatever weapons we have, Cole Younger says giving the stock of his shotgun a couple of pumps to in Ephesus. Billy Fingers nods at everyone and steps off the porch. Okay, we'll just change Cole Younger oh, to no, your no. character. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Doobie Jones okay. shoots Cole Younger in the back of the head. He had plans to turn us in. I nuked it! You watch Cole Younger fall to the ground in shock. His eyes rolls in the back of his head. What? What happened, Bob says? We all agreed to this. Who's oh, it's just going to call you your Bob. It's just shortening oh. it to Bob. Hell yeah, River Song Pond. Get some cream. Okay, we're having so much manual adjustment and we're three entries in. Yeah, but that's how it works. You have to get it started on the right path. Hold mm -hmm. on. I'm just responding really quick. It's okay. He walks over to Bobbin and puts his foot on the side of his head, holding him in place. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? You killed him! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Just fucking murders him. Hold on, let me reroll that. I think you must have the Desperados, okay? I think you should, uh. I rerolled it. Bobbin nods and stares at the body of his fallen friend. So, what's our next move? We robbed the train as planned, Doobie Jones says. Okay, perfect. We're back on track. And we killed Nicole right. Younger. <laughs> that was like Bobbin's best friend, and he just came to terms with it. Doobie Jones is a good negotiator. Yeah, he's still dead, as he should be. Cole Younger was meant to die. This was always the plan, said Snoop Dogg. Why did Snoop say that? Billy Fingers nods, and him, Doobie, and Bob go outside to get their horses. Uh, you wait inside with the two guards. What? Okay, re-roll. That is nonsense. This, this it's gonna- it'll get on track. You- you just start. have to keep going you with gotta, it and keep gotta trying gotta to patch it, it up. The more- you. the more inputs you get, the better it gets, always. You stare down at the dead body of your brother-in-law. This is brother -in -law. not related to Everything what I said. Everything happens so fast, you hardly have time to even think. He hadn't even done anything suspicious for the last week. I mean, that's a good message, but it has nothing to do with the last one. What? You Who's watch watching? You from the window as the three bandits mount their horses and they ride out of sight. You suddenly have a thought. You could shoot them all now before they even <laughs> attempt to rob the train. You have an out of body experience. This is another party. This is like somebody, like, this is like the sheriff or somebody who's like just watching us, spying on us. Maybe refresh that again. All right. Song's at the top of the screen. That may or may not be the right song. It could be wrong. You narrator, How the you legendary told? cowboy. Take your shotgun and go to the group. Cole Younger is face down in the dirt. It looks like he had a lot of friends or family out here. What? Okay. I don't know. I don't uh, that's know. close enough to we be went outside. something that advantage uh, I, I, I got it. We I'll, went outside. I'll... It's all good now. I should have just said get on their horses and leave instead of go outside. Chad, do you like my hat? Banning you, Pachi three thousand. I can't. Never mind. You the the chat moved too fast. I am the worst. Like out of all the mods on my channel, I'm the worst one because my chat just constantly scrolls. I can't ban him. I can't ban Pachi. No heart. <laughs> Bob and the blaster and the rest of the gang head to the railroad tracks. Oh, I gotta skip this. This this is gonna get caught. Oh wait, is oh, it Neil Ciciarga song? Wayne. Sorry, sorry. Start again. <laughs> Bob and the Blaster and the rest of the gang head to the railroad tracks and await the train. A few hours later, it arrives, and they. Yeah, that's and not the how those work. It doesn't. It doesn't fill in extra sorry. whenever you do like a character action. That's only for the story. In the dead so of night, 
you and your gang make your way to the train tracks. You ride your horses along the train using a rope to hold on and do our best not to fall off. All right. Advancing the plot. Can't really... It can't... Has a hard time remembering... Uh... Yeah, I'm perspective, I'm, but I got so hold on. I'm sorry to whoever donate that, but like the thing is when you listen to Erica songs when he does mashups, if if the main vocal track is too clear and not very modified, DMCA bots are gonna pick it up all the same. So I gotta skip it. I'm very sorry. I like Nilsi Sierra's music, but that's not how you pronounce his name, I'm pretty sure. Uh okay. So the that you and your gang make your way to the train tracks, you ride your horse alongside the train using a rope to hold on and do our best to not fall off. Okay. Do we not have saddles? Do we not have reins? You just have a rope? This story sucks. Wayne's thinking very hard. I type it! Do I just felt silhouette. It? That takes me an hour. Okay. As the crew heads up to the hill, oh. Doobie notices the silhouette of a man on a horse with a lantern far in the distance. Cops, he whispers. Bob in the blaster hops down from his horse and shoots a railroad security guard who was attempting to leave the train. Got him. Wait, you... Wait, hang on. So... We're ri you're riding your horse alongside the train, using a rope to hold onto the train, and then you hop your entire horse onto the train. <laughs> Yeah. Bob and the Blaster is is on his horse on the train. Mm -hmm. That's that's sick. Wait, I'm so confused. My horse goes everywhere with Can me. Can I refresh that last one? Oh, sure. I was assuming we weren't on the train yet. Oh, that was. Cool. I mean, so were so were we. He yells as the rider approaches. It's the law. You and your fellow bandits all stare at one another in shock. How the hell did they find us? Cole says. Hold on. Hold on. Doobie Dunn shoots Cole again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Cole. Get Cole out of here. What? Cole says, Doobie, why did you shoot me? The gunman on the horse turns out to be a deputy sheriff who promptly arrests a lot of you. It's all over for you and your gang. All right. Wow, we're, I'm right, refreshing next it, refreshing one. it. No, next one. No, refreshing it. How do we lose that quickly? They intercepted a message from a local kid. Doobie explains they must have put two and two together when they caught him. So we have no choice. We have to kill every man who tries to stop us. All right, so Cole died. That's good. Cole died. The, the cops are here. We're riding. We're on a hill. We're riding alongside the train. Yes, I have. I'm, I'm the little pope for the day. Pope Jr. It's a kid's program they put me in. <laughs> it's like Baby Einstein, but for religion. Mm -hmm. The desk, my desk is like right up to here. Billy Fingers tells them that the sheriff won't be able to catch the train in time. He leaps from his horse towards the train, grabbing onto the side before it reaches the bridge. Doobie and Bob also make it on the train, leaving you alone with the three horses. You have to choose which of your comrades you'll ride with when the time comes. Hang on. You just edit that. That ain't yeah. right. I'm gonna I'm going to leave <laughs> it as I'm gonna leave it as this and then I'm gonna press enter. <clears throat> Whoa, nice hat. Hey. Thanks. Doobie and Bob also make it on the train, firing their pistols at the posse members. The others stay behind to combat the lawmen. Well, all right, sure, why not? All right, I get a recap of the story. I think I'll just wait for the next song to ask. So they're cowboys. We're cowboys and we're trying to rob a train, but it's really hard to get the AI to do a train robbery. Apparently, my hat fell off. Bob, what'd you have for dinner? Everyone needs to know. Uh, Fuck, let me tell you again. And noodles, shrimp and noodles and chicken. You just couldn't resist, could you? Save on everything. 
Oh my god. What? The fuck did this? Are you good? What's up? It's not my turn. No, I was asking you like just a really Static. good just a really good media share. Alright, it's H.H. H. Greg singing to Baka Mitai. Nice. Bob and the Blaster says, Alright everyone, hands up. Give us all your cash and jewelry or we start shooting. A man gets off the train. A lady with two young children follows. You devils. Bob draws his pistol. Get on the floor, he commands. The man complies. Now, nah, listen closely. Alright, hold on. I have to hit enter and see the, what The train is going over a bridge right now. Where was that guy gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Oh, this is you, Billy the Fingers. I mean, Billy Fingers. Now listen closely, Billy Fingers says. We're about to rob you, but we don't want to hurt any of you. Give us all your valuables and gold, and no one gets hurt. I you, think I you crazy son of a... <laughs> Alright. Doobie Jones walks around the train, slapping each person once. Not too hard, though. After robbing everyone aboard and sending them down from the roof of the train, what with throwing them <laughs> off? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna re-roll that. We're not... I'm not... That's not what I did. <laughs> making all of these they people give us their shit and then jump Yo. off the bridge? Doobie slaps a teenage boy who's just getting off the train. Shut your mouth! Doobie barks at him. The boy complies with hesitation. If anyone tries anything, hurt them. Damn. Hey, you got two turns. I'm trying to slap everyone. It's not working. Cole is back. <laughs> Fuck, get Cole out of here. Kill <laughs> Cole. Soon, each and every one of them has been slapped unconscious. <laughs> you run into their pockets and for valuables. There's only a few dollars here, Bob complains. <laughs> we could have done better robbing the bank. <laughs> Alright, whose turn is it now? I, it's my turn. Right. Yeah, Jen, I don't know what's going on with that. I wish I I wish I could fucking answer that question for you. Streamlabs is just not ain't what it used to be. I agree, cotton candy. I have the a mashup feeling was done as well, but well I'm trying could, to do here. Songs just don't match very well. Billy Fingers points towards the back of the train. That's because the real prize is back there, he explains. I hear that there's some kind of crazy doodad they're transporting, and I intend to find out what it is. Billy heads towards the back of the train. Wait, Doobie Jones yells. You mean you're... Yeah, Billy nods. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I have to press enter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once I put on the stupid mask and hold him up, some last-minute bravery might convince me to let one of these people go. What? That doesn't make any sense. I'm re-rolling that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Where am skip? I? Is this Who's gonna Billy? get copyright caught? I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, Billy nods. Song? I'm gonna rob the Denver Mint. You're crazy, Bob says. I'll come with you, you say. Bob? Okay. Roll. Robbing the den no, I think we could use that. I'm not gonna skip this song. Who's Just talking to who? It's still music, even out of context. The Homestuck. I don't. I don't care if it's Homestuck music. 
That would be mean to the donator. <clears throat> we're gonna go figure out what they're keeping at the back of the train, and then we're gonna go rob the Denver Mint with it, I guess. You would have to really donate for something I hate for me to skip it out of, like, taste. Is Homestuck a banned term in the chat? It might be. Thanks, Waluigi Tex. I... Okay, I I know this song's from Homestuck. I thought it was just about to go into the Rugrats theme. <laughs> that was absolutely the chord progression of do 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 do, but then it didn't it didn't do Rugrats. <laughs> Before the gang opens, what? Did you? I mean, you <laughs> must have typed that. I didn't type that. <laughs> that's great. No, that's great. Before the gang opens, finds what's at the back of the train, Bob and the Blaster takes a moment to put a bullet or two in Cole's head. Cole is now dead. Forever. That <laughs> son of a... That son of a Bob whispers as he stares at his dead friend. Then the gang proceeds to the back of the train. <clears throat> Soon you reach the back of the train and find crates piled up to the ceiling. <laughs> Cole is now dead. Forever. Did it generate that? No, I did type that. Oh, okay. I accidentally typed the word finds while I was doing that, so. Oops. Oops. Cut fuck colon fuck Claude. Doobie Jones says, this crate's got money in him. Oh, yeah. And shoots the crates open with his crack shot skills. As you're loading up the money in a rush, you hear several loud screams from Bob. You rush back to find him with three bloody knife wounds in his what chest. The fuck? What happened? <laughs> That's not fair. I think you can just delete that. Part or re-roll or I'll something. Re it, yeah. Yeah, I re-roll that, that. That had nothing to do with the crates. It wants to do a train murder mystery. Out of the open crate spills a lot of coins. Time to get rich! Yells Doobie, filling his pockets with the valuable tokens. They're not. They're not U.S. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have a not, hell of a time of Chuck and Cheese. They're not U.S. currency. They're just tokens. <laughs> they're tokens, dude. Hold on. I want to see. The tokens are... I want to see what it thinks. Shiny. Tokens are actually <laughs> worthless, it turns out. Only the last car is the real money, but that's okay, because you've stumbled upon a beautiful chest full of gold coins. I'll take this chest back to the bank. I think taking wait, it... stolen money to a bank is a bad wait, idea. <laughs> wait, wait, we found... That's like extra. It wasn't calling the tokens gold coins. We also found like a pirate's chest. Yeah, there was there was some crates full of worthless tokens. Think of garbage nirvana. I think back in the day, if you went to a bank that was far enough away from said like operation, you could probably get away with the stolen money. I mean, but the thing is, if cops ever go to them, Let's see if thieves prequel find some grubs. No, <laughs> we ain't doing that. Whoa. Wyoming disappeared, thank you. Welcome to the crew. Who's next? I'm already, I forget, I forget the order every time, right? It's Trogger and me. Yeah, there's three people, one of which is you, and you still forget the order. This song is dope. You know how I am, you know who I am! <laughs> Billy <gasps> Fingers finds the crate he's looking for. He pries open the top and peers inside. Oh yeah, here it is, he shouts excitedly, finding something amazing inside. You Yo, stare so into the open crate and find another crate. It's just like the one <laughs> Billy found in the first place. Let's get this thing to the train. <laughs> We're on the train. Can I re-roll this Yo, one? Thank, thank you, Jerry, sure. for the sub. And we got a high train, <laughs> Cyrex. Ooh, we, we, gotta strong get, we gotta get you to the five hospital. Subs. Yo, shameful, thank you. Billy reaches inside the crate and carefully brings out a small brown gem about the size of a child's fist. Boy, that's it's a, a weird way room. to describe. The brown room! Gee whiz! <laughs> oh, <press enter. laughs> this YTB and B is awesome. Thanks for the donut. Gee whiz, that's a oh, dark stone, you say in awe, approaching to get a closer look. It's practically black. I've heard of these, you add. 
they don't come around very often. I'm gonna press enter again. See if what? it explains is anything get... about the dark zone. Is this gonna get fantastical? But if I recall, they're not very valuable. <laughs> Maybe not, Billy says dismissively, but I can still sell it for money to buy grub. Chat, <laughs> chat literally just asked to find grubs and it brought that up. That's wow. fucking great. Is it my turn? No. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, well, Gur is typing. If you didn't see my tweets today, a little update with the merch store. Um, today marked the end of the first wave. Uh, the I took a lot of the items down. However, a good chunk of them will be back whenever we get into wave two and I get some new contracts written up for the artists. Uh, wave two of merch, September. We're going to have WRTV items. We're going to be having uh, HLVR items. Lots of good stuff. I don't know if it's going to be right when September starts, but I'm going to have a try to be ready for the start of it. And we're going to we're going to do a showcase of the merch like we did last time, similar to the last one. Not exactly Ooh, the same, though. It's going to be so good. You guys I don't think even know. I'm you excited. don't even know. I, I'm not, I won't spoil anything. I can't spoil anything, but it's going to be different and it's going to be good. Good night, Sweet Juice. We, I think we you could be fresh. Here at Radio TV Solutions, we never do the same bit twice except when we do. Oh, hell yeah. Robin, Kingdom Hearts okay. Bob in the blaster peers into the last crate and notices something wriggling around. It's some grubs. He grabs a handful of the grubs and holds them up to Doobie Jones. You want to eat these? No, Doobie responds, jumping backwards in disgust. You reach the final Caesar. car, a massive safe at the very end of the train. You pull open the heavy door and find stacks and stacks of green bills. Hell yeah. Now it's your turn. Tori, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Sorry, I liked my joke. <laughs> yeah, bro. Doobie Jones inspect the bills. These aren't US dollars. They're Dave and Bucksters. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> the bills aren't actually from the American currency, but the tokens that Bob and the Black. Okay, hold on. I'm going to reroll that. It dropped the ampersand. Dave. They're Dave Buckster. <laughs> <laughs> you find a chest filled with gold coins. They're real, all right. Money, 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 Bob Chance. Lopping up and down like an excited pixie. An excited <laughs> pixie? Hold on, hold Western on. I want to I wanna fix this up a little bit. They're Dave <clears throat> and Buckster's, the famous currency of Dave and Buster's. All right, let's see what it gives us now. Yo, we're the level four hype train. Can we hit the level five? It, it I'm honestly not all. expecting it because we've had so many media share donations. You're not obligated to, but I'm curious. I think you turned about kid. Maybe if you got some food, you would be. It just didn't even listen to me. I don't think it. I I don't think it can even process what Dave and Buckster's is supposed to be. No, I don't. Think I think it has that. no. I, it can't pick up on the on the. Oh, there we go. That's something. Yo, thanks, Crocs Rare 420. Oh, Plant Cat and Zeraz. Oh, oh, holy shit! We're gonna get that level five hype trade again. Clunkus and Seal 212 and Clunkus again! I got some of that in my place. If you take it to a bank, you can get real cash. Oh, wait, what? Dave and Buster's currency is exchangeable for real money? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Apparently. cool. Yo, smug ladies! Oh, shit, we are gonna clear level 5. Holy fuck. Oh my god, it doesn't end. Uh... Okay, so it's it's your turn. My turn's over. That's what happened. Yeah. That was a mess, but I'm I'm happy that I got to make my Dave and Buckster's joke. No, no, it didn't change it. Oh, and that's a hundred! Cabaron, you did it! You cleared the level five hype train! You've you succeeded in completing the mission! What is that from? Billy Fingers continues inspecting the strange gem he found. As he peers into his inky dark center, he can feel a force tugging on his very soul. Give me that, Doobie Yell, snatching the dark gem from Billy's grasp. As he holds it, a strange black tentacle begins Holy flowing out shit. of it and onto his arm. I got this, hold Robin, on. Robin, you gotta stop a, it! This is a crazy cowboy a story. Woo! An entire bear just subbed, too. Holy shit. Dave and Buckster's can be exchanged for cash. Everyone knows that. At any bank. Any participating bank will give you real money. 
Bankers just love Dave and Busters. Hey, Jeb. Thank you, Lady Dame. Weird West. Vegeta, Weird West. Yo, thanks, Doe. Your dad's? My dad had a campaign just like this. I can't reach my phone. I threw it over there. I can't have it anymore. Come on, Bobbin. Good. Show us some metal. Valp, are you back yet? Yeah, I'm here. You should I'm jump in the story. story the I, I think the story is going to the right direction here. Suddenly, the whole gang is pulled into the gem by the mysterious tentacles. They've been pulled onto a pirate ship in the middle of the trembling sea. Unusual creatures abound. Sharp-toothed monsters, tentacle creatures with far too many eyes. Beasts with countless sharp horns. You're all at the mercy of a mad pirate captain and his beastly crew. Oh, now it's a pirate story. It's a pirate I guess. story now. Thank you, VK Dragon Tech. And Bob! Bob with a resub. That's right. <laughs> Read it. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Nobody can hear you. You're in a parallel dimension, and only you have the ability to choose how this story ends for you and your friends. There are several there are several options here. Re okay. Roll. No. All you said was ah oh, shit, and it just like went off the fucking rails. Doobie Jones chooses the apple pie option. Doobie's one of the lucky ones. He gets out alive, but manages to escape a watery death and cannibalism. I think rewind. You're I say we rewind. I don't want the pirate. The I want to play. I want to play. Yeah. I want to play. I wanted to play pirate, cowboys. cowboys. I didn't want to play pirates. Bullshit. Pick pick something else, Gerb. Pick something relevant to the story. Yeah, man. I don't want to play pirates. We had a good story going here with with a nice little fantastical twist. I want to see how this plays out. What is this tentacle? Why were they keeping it? It's not a ruby. <laughs> God, that stream was so much fun. However, a pirate story is a good idea for a different story. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Whoa. The, the tentacle oh, went inside my chest and squeezed my heart. Holy shit. Whoa. That's intense. The tentacle begins to slowly squeeze Doobie's heart. He screams as his skin turns blue and his eyes turn into pure blackness. With a shriek, he drops the gem. Get it away from me! You oh, want to hit enter? Game. Yeah, enter. Holy Hold on. shit. This thing's fucked up. You found this on the train? In one of the grates? Yeah. I'm not touching <laughs> that thing. Uh, well, I'm going to hit enter one more time. Good idea. This music does not fit. <laughs> it's bad juice. <laughs> Doobie, are you okay? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! The tentacle <laughs> lifts its head and stares into your eyes. I'm not Doobie anymore. Oh no. Possessed by the evil spirit of the gem. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Doobie rises. He stands up with an unsavory look in his eyes. He points towards Bob and the blaster. You, Private Bob, grab that, <laughs> grab that gem. You're frightened at what you see, but you do as he commands. Now bring it to me, President Enter. <laughs> I don't like this. You say trembling. Oh, are you afraid? Dark Doobie <laughs> teases. <laughs> Quick, right, Bill, you gotta do something. Drog, it's your turn. <laughs> How will you stop Dark Doobie Jones? There's a period of silence at the end of this song. Gonna cry? Piss your pants, maybe? Oh, someone donated for three bears and 10,000 rats. I see that in the queue peeking out from under the window. Oh, fuck yeah. Perfect timing for this song. Well, Billy Fingers do. 
Billy Fingers stops Bob. Don't give him the gem. Give me the gem. Billy snatches the crystal from Bob and cackles. Now I can do anything. Billy uses the gem to increase his dark powers <laughs> until he can move the train back to where it should be, taking Bob's job. He also uses it to release Dark Doobie from his curse. Wow, what? that just completely <laughs> deflated all the tension immediately, huh? Hold on, Gert, can we swap can I turns? Roll that? I want to. No, wanna... just... Oh, you could re-roll it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna remove everything after Billy uses the gem to increase his dark powers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gert, you're up. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm gonna leave there. Alright, hold on. I'm trying to think what I want to do on my next turn. I gotta make a big move. Oh, this song is so awesome. This boss fight was so awesome. I think Neutral Ending of Undertale was my favorite. This whole the whole sequence this song is from was so good. I liked it better than like the passive ending. Bob in the Blaster says, "Hey, don't hog it." He snatches the gem back away from Billy and absorbs what's left of the dark energy. Bob now has all of Dark Dobby's Dark Doobie's power <laughs> Dobby. in a concentrated form. He feels tempted to use it for evil. Trouble waits ahead, but for now the gang is united in victory. Oh yeah, we all absorbed. We the did it. We all dark have crystal. dark powers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're now the strongest desperados around. But wait, Actually, is Dark Dobby the house over appears. What are you doing with the dark gem? He demands. Never mind, Dobby. <laughs> Just move out of the way. You demand. Feeling full of yourself, the dark elf seems unfazed. The dark well, elf. Dobby is a dark elf. Get out of here, sweet. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this out in a second. I just wanted to do this because of the fucking misread. Dobby puts on a sock and is now a free elf. I am a free elf. You will not stop me. Now give me the gem. You get off to the left. Dark Doobie Jones arises. He stands up with an unsavory look in his right eyes again. All right, let me get rid of all <laughs> just this. Repeated it. Yeah, let me get rid of. Are Dobby. we removing Dobby from the story? All right, it is your turn though. <clears throat> I love this story, that we've all absorbed the power of the Dark Crystal, <laughs> and now <laughs> evil. I mean, we were already bandits. That's kinda evil. I mean, it's not nice to steal from people. <laughs> I just saw something dumb in chat. Doopy Jones takes back half of his power from Bob and you gotta share, you know? They now have enough power together to destroy the powerful warrior Zaladane. I'm gonna re-roll that. Oh, it's getting its, it's the... getting its genres confused. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboys aren't supposed to have dark powers. Since when? Now there are two power sources of power to contend with. A bounty hunter sneaks up on Bob and aims a rifle at him. Hands in the air, dark freaks! You're coming with me! Well, we, like, we have, we had our powers for all of 45 seconds and somebody well already known. put a bounty on our heads. We're well known. <laughs> the... Or maybe the, maybe that bounty could have already been there. I mean, we are bandits, so. I guess. Snuck onto the moving train. I guess <laughs> he, he saw us trading, I, I guess he saw us trading the dark evil powers. Yeah. Don't worry, chat, he's not referring to our skin, he's referring to our dark powers. We are freaks. I did get my heart gripped by a tentacle. You felt his grip. He did. Billy Fingers takes his next dark and powerful move. We went from the most fitting song to like the least fitting song. We need a peaceful moment. God, that emote is so old, Craigasm. Nobody fucking uses that anymore. It's like so low res. It, they, they never upscaled it. They didn't make a bigger size. 
There are so many old fucked up Twitch emotes that I'm surprised they just haven't done away with. Billy Fingers screams and lifts the bounty hunter in the air with his new evil powers. He makes the bounty hunter experience a lifetime of pain in an <laughs> instant, but leaves him alive. Tell any other bounty hunter that we are not to be trifled with. The ghost of an old stagecoach driver chuckles. Well, young, well done, young ones. I've seen you brought balance back to the frontier once and for all. Doobie looks confused. So we did the right thing? Did we hit enter? No. <laughs> I got it. We should kill this guy. Kill this ghost. The idea of like absorbing <laughs> evil powers and then torturing somebody and then a ghost says, good job, you brought balance back to the frontier. Maybe the frontier was like too good. We brought balance back by bringing and a little dark. fear. Yeah. Bumper the Blaster lives up to his name and blasts the ghost with a dark energy beam. The ghost screams and falls apart before your eyes. Wow, wow. What, did you, what did you do that for, Doobie asks. He was judging us. I can't be judged. Doobie, Doobie shakes, shakes his head, his head sadly. sadly. We are bringing darkness to the Old West. We're, we're riding the balance of power back towards evil. The world was too good. I hope nobody opens a dark portal. How do you know I'm typing that? You have the stream open, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I wonder. No oh, shit, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> Doobie, open. Doobie Jones opens a dark portal to Tennessee. Grab the money and let's go. You climb into the dark portal. When you arrive in Tennessee, you are home free. Of course, how the cops are going to chase us through a dark portal. Yay. You have escaped with the money and have not killed or otherwise used your dark powers. Congratulations. <laughs> Play again to see what exciting <laughs> dark choices you can make. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> I think I think just delete that last line and we go from there. No, I'm going with it. Doobie You're Jones. Going? Doobie Jones plays again. As you leave a small town bank with a double bag full of cash, you hear the toll of a distance bell. It's September 24th. That's my birthday. How did wow, I do that? Hey, did someone just stop typing <laughs> in chat? Stop it. <laughs> I think someone did 10,000 bits. Did they do 10,000? Did I hallucinate that? Yeah. I think you hallucinated. I think I, I think hallucinated, you hallucinated that. Everybody talking about which Holy shit, I'm which fucking... Oh, my brain's fucked, man. No, there was no 10,000 bits. Yeah. Oh, they said 10,000! No, they said 10,000 rats, and I just... I just have the fucking brain link where I saw four zeros and was like, God, I got to do the DK rap. My God. <laughs> Good damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me rewind that. Even though I mentioned your birthday? Too scary. I'm gonna refresh it. No, I think it is neat that they got my birthday, but Well, that was an adventure, Bob chuckles. I think it's time we split up again, Doobie says. I'll go find Wyatt, and Billy can find Jesse. I don't wanna find Wyatt. He's a he's a <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rewind that again. I don't wanna split yeah. up. He's a, I love he's I love my friends. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> it could be. We could just move on. Yeah, I think oh, we should move on. I like you want to play wanna, more with our dark I powers? I our cool powers. <laughs> it, I rewinded the end. It like won't let me. It just the keeps world going that. You've escaped with a small fortune. All of you have, in fact. You'll be rich for several months at least. Over the coming years, the gang falls apart and Doobie loses all of his money at the track. <laughs> That sounds about right. That's just something that will happen in the future. We have to get to that point first. Okay, so what's our next move then, Billy Fingers? If anyone knew how Wayne played fucking GTA 5, that checks out perfectly. God, that was a fun time. The, the <laughs> month that we just all were GTA 5 fiends. And I in particular was a casino fiend. And I, 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 I exploited the horse glitch. Oh, I, I did too. So I much think money. I have millions I made and millions. millions. Yeah, Fenry. I, t I tend to, uh, I tend to eye roll too hard. Banana Slam has suggests that we blow up the moon. Okay. Well, it's Trog's turn, so... No, I know. <clears throat> I don't really...
really remember the details of the horse glitch. It was like, it let you bet. Oh, hold on. Billy Fingers feels the evil force is coursing through his body. Let's get a drink. Doobie, Billy, and Bob all walk into the nearest saloon. Billy walks up to the counter. Give me a lemonade. Extra <laughs> cough syrup. Again, a lemon flavored cough syrup. That a boys your age shouldn't be drinking <laughs> alcohol. Billy puts his hands to his side and clenches his fist. The glasses on the shelf behind the bartender <laughs> vibrate rapidly <laughs> together. That's fucking awesome. Hold on. Hold Holy on. shit. How it's, old is yeah, my I'll character? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right, I'll press enter. <laughs> Yo, who is teaching? Who just taught AI Dungeon about lean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get that lemonade for you. I want two whiskeys and a beer, Bob says. The bartender glares at him. All right, Bob, take your turn. All right, Bob. In. I guess my character is not even 18 or 21. Or maybe the bartender is just looking out for me and I look young. Uh, Kitten, when they donated, they asked Wayne, what would your Pope name be? Father Diddy. We've already gone over this. Or should it be Pope Diddy? I'm really glad not... that the AI has realized that right, we have right. dark powers. Bob in the blaster does not appreciate being glared at. He steps outside and fires a special beam cannon at the moon, instantly destroying it. What the hell? It took me years to perfect that shot, Doobie complains. I did it for your I did it for your benefit. No sun, no glare in your eyes. Now bring me some alcohol. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You Hold blew on. up the moon. <laughs> no yeah, change it to no moon. No 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 no. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm just oh, responding. I see. I see yeah. <laughs> Doobie Jones says, that's the moon, dumbass, not the sun. I want to refresh that. I want to I get I want to get a response where you recognize what I'm saying to you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, just give me some alcohol. <laughs> Doobie grabs the dark gem and reabsorbs his energy. He'll use it again one day. It's a new day in the old west. Uh, uh want to refresh delete, it one more time? Or uh, delete yeah. everything after alcohol. No, I like that last part. <laughs> and then I'm going to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. It just wants it to stop. Should have listened just... to me. <laughs> no. The game's not enough. I want to keep going. Time. This is getting engaging. This is getting enticing. I want to yeah. see what these characters what do. What happens next? God, shut up, AI dungeon. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't haunting us all right well let me just reroll this whole message here it just is like it just doesn't want to give me more bob trembles with rage his ear hordes grow and his eyes turn pitch black i've had it with you doobie he grabs the whiskey bottle from the bar and breaks it over doobie's head <laughs> press it nice. The bottle shatters and Doobie's head opens up like a smashed pumpkin, <laughs> revealing something Whoa. like maggots feasting on his brain, then rapidly growing tentacles, then the stench of death and decay. Holy shit. You have released the, the beast, fuck, oh, no. That's some body horror. Holy shit. Okay, uh, take your turn, Trog. I'm sticking with that. Great. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot to work with. I've turned into like a beast, like an eldritch horror. I've released fucking Cthulhu from within. God damn it. God damn it, Bobbin. <laughs> someone in, chat, someone in chat just said Bloodborne real. We're about to start the events of Bloodborne. Yeah, I <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Ah. Uh. Someone in my house is baking popcorn. I want some. Baking popcorn? Baking popcorn. Whatever. It's technically baking. Billy Fingers is more than eager to use his new powers. He turns towards the nearest <laughs> bar patron and attempts to eat their soul. The woman, sh the woman shrieks as a black, smoky substance oozes out of her ears and other orifices. What are you? The bartender cries. Get out of here. Get out of here now. <laughs> <laughs> Murdered an innocent woman. <laughs> hey. Billy Fingers is possessed by the 
the demon of the dark crystal. All we right? all are. You know? Somebody's gonna have to perform an exorcism. I could send a bag of cooked popcorn to you. It might take a couple days, it'll be stale, but still. I can go make my own popcorn! The whole box of Orville. Why is this stream so evil? I yeah, dungeon streams are always evil. We need to poke. All right, here we go. Sponge the demons. That's a good idea. Except for the fact that I don't know where the fuck the hat went. Oh, here it is. I will save us. All right, all right. Bob in the blaster closes up Doobie's head, resealing the hordes that attempted to emerge. There'll be time for that later. Billy's busy trying to eat souls over here. The woman shrieks and runs out of the bar, screaming for help. Several other patrons see what's happened. They immediately stand up and begin running out of the bar as well. I'm gonna hit enter and see if anything happens. I didn't want you to close my head up. Why didn't you ask my permission? <laughs> I was... Damn it, Billy. That's you. <laughs> Damn it, Billy, we're <laughs> cowards, not psychopaths. <laughs> I demand to eat more souls, Billy screams. Oh, no. <laughs> the demons made me do that. Oh, out of the hat. patrons in the bar, four have escaped. They sneezed the hat right off. Fuck. What? God damn it. We're cowards, not psychopaths. What? <laughs> All right, Wayne. I'm gonna stick with that. Okay. All right, Wayne. You're you're fine. You you you're healed or whatever. I simply closed your head again. Wait, is it Usus? What is? It? Is it Osis? Yeah, it's that. Is it kind of loud? I can bring it down. Doobie Jones reopens his head and begins the metamorphosis. You spend the rest of the night drinking and growing tentacles and maggots, and oh, attempt to no. teach the others to do it as well. It takes a couple of hours of practice, but soon the three of you are having a grand old time. You know, I want to yeah, re-roll yeah. re that. I want to re-roll that to focus more on the metamorphosis. But I like the idea that we're dr like we're still drinking at the bar while I'm like, okay, now here's how you here's how you commit to an eldritch transformation. Like, <laughs> it's really good. I'm gonna hit enter. Go for it. My ears are so itchy today. I don't know why. Oh. I think my soul is about to fall out from black smoke. As the alcohol and shrooms take their doing shrooms! <laughs> As the alcohol and shrooms take their toll, your body begins to become one with the maggots and insects. It's quite liberating, actually, though you still can't do everything a normal maggot or fly could do. I don't want to turn into a maggot. I'm going to re-roll that. That's, that's not what I was imagining. Yeah. I want to turn into, like, a cool demon. Like a beast. You know? What's with the demons tonight? Maggots are crawling out of your ears, changing into squishy little tentacles and helping you drink. The only problem is you can't <laughs> go back to your human disguises now. Disguises? Darn. We were always like this? We're permanently transformed. Foreverly demonized and loving it. Len, I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the baby pope program. They let kids like me get a cool get to be a pope for the day. <clears throat> Some people didn't appreciate me making that joke. <laughs> Alright, what are we gonna do? Gonna do something. You're gonna do something? Trog? Yeah, I'm gonna do something. Okay. Oh no, Feyorb! I just said my ears were itchy and then it does that. God damn mm. it. Oh hell yeah, good donation. This is just in my usual my usual queue. Thank you, Loot Kiwi. This is not fitting for the moment. Sure it it's is. Good. I love Kisser, sir. Da 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 da. Do 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 da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Billy Fingers finishes drinking somebody's soul soul out of their skull. Hey, I know. Let's go to the casino and use our demonic powers to cheat at gambling. The three evil cowboys head to the local casino. <laughs> Meanwhile, the bartender reports the trio as suspicious characters. Soon, a posse is raised to bring you to justice. It doesn't matter how many drink you've got squirming around in your head. I don't know what that last sentence means. It's talking about my ear maggots that help me drink. I, I guess. guess. 
I need you here with me. Shit, I can't jam with this hat. It falls off instantly. Wayne's Pope hat looks photoshopped on. It does. That's fucking <laughs> awesome. Was Gordon Freeman baptized? I don't know. He doesn't remember. I don't remember if I was baptized. Well, I know I am, but I don't remember. I was a baby. I'm thinking real hard. It's not my impact. Fall Guys is just huge. Do you have any popely words for you? Be kind to everyone. If someone tells you they remember their baptism, they're lying. <laughs> even if it happened yesterday. This is yeah, the even if you even if you it, if, even if you got baptized when you were older. This is the Pope's word. All who've been baptized shall forget. If you were Fuck baptized off. and not a baby, it does not count. What? What happened? Hold on. Hold on. I'm re-rolling it instantly. Why? Yeah, I don't know what that was. It, it had a blank in it. <laughs> re-rolling again. It just ignored it again. Poopier? Hold on. What Stop is reading word? it. Uh, okay, whatever. The yeah, bright lights of the casino are, asto are astounding to the eyes of the cow dark cowpokes. As they approach the closest blackjack table, a mysterious stranger greets them. Howdy, the name's Anonymous. I couldn't help but notice that you're not from around here. Also, you seem to have some <laughs> demonic aura about you. Both of those things are causes for concern in this city. That's like something that happens in a fucking shonen. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's All like right, a Yu Yu Hakusho oh, character right. coming up and is like, I can see you have demon powers too. Wait, Wayne, hold right, on. It's my turn. To... Oh, I'm sorry. Ah! I, it was my turn! Don't worry, you'll like what I did. I better. Ruby Jones traps Anonymous in a dark ball. It doesn't harm him, it's just for fun. Okay, it just ignored that and also yeah. mentioned the KKK. So let's go yeah, ahead I'm gonna and stay with, let's re roll get rid that. Of that one. Maybe next time, don't take your turn. Doobie closes his hand to a fist. The glowing red aura around Anonymous flares brightly as it suddenly forced into a tiny ball, trapping the mysterious stranger. Who the hell are you? He angrily demands. Wait. I put you in a ball. Now you can come with us forever. I didn't expect it to make the ball small, but cool. <laughs> you've, you've shrunk him. I put you in a ball. Now you can come with us forever. Oh, so now you're kidnapping people, Doobie? I thought you were better than that, Anonymous says, clearly unimpressed. I'm going to delete that second thing he said. I, I'm fine with the second thing. I'm fine that this guy, for whatever reason, is acting unimpressed that he's been made into a small ball. All right, who wants to go next? Me. Trog, because it's his turn. That's the order. Sona says, I just got here. What's with Lane's little hat? This is a big hat. This hat's half as tall as me. I'm and Pope for a day. I'm, it's baby a little Pope. I'm baby Pope for a day. Uh, Anonymous Ballos. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that we would like gamble with this guy, but we can trap him in a ball too. I he guess. can gamble with us while he's in a ball. Listen, Doobie Jones does what he wants, motherfucker, especially when he has dark powers. Whose story is this? All of ours. Oh, I guess the only way I can think to word this is by doing it as a story beat instead of a... Thanks, Seal. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Are you and if it doesn't, I will pick something else. Who are you kissing, uh, bro? I'll never tell. <laughs> Good answer. I have everything I could ever dream of at my fingertips. What can you do for me, Anonymous? Billy asks the stranger. Let me out and I'll make you filthy rich, Billy, the stranger replies. He's lying. He just wants to escape so he can turn us into the sheriff, Doobie replies. We need no money. Sure, you don't need money when you have power. Uh, I got this. 
I got this. This this will work in my favor. This will work perfectly. Yeah, I'm sure, man. Bob and the Blaster says, We'll let you out, but only if you can beat us in a round of blackjack. I'll have you know that I happen to be a blackjack dealer. Let me show you what I mean. A deck of cards floats over from the nearby <laughs> Whoa. table. Whoa, he's got, he's got blackjack powers. Yeah, okay, hold on. I, I have to hit how, how do you beat somebody in blackjack, though? I guess you just win the, the hand? Like dark yeah. blackjack. Start dealing out the cards, flipping them from the bottom of the deck. They form a perfect blackjack hand. <laughs> How did you yeah. do that? <laughs> <laughs> really? All right. Damn, he dealt himself a blackjack. <laughs> Fucked up. A dealer gave himself a black. <laughs> Whoa! How did you beat it? <laughs> I like it. We, that's fucking great. All right, it's your turn, Wayne. Jojo is. Here we go. It's too bad we were lying about letting you out, Doobie says, dribbling the ball the stranger resides in against the ground. You may have won this round, Doobie, but you can't escape your own destiny, the stranger says before the light in the ball goes out. What was that all about? Did he, like, escape? I'm pressing <laughs> enter. He disappeared. He's gone. I don't know. I didn't like that last bit, though. Doobie says, you continue playing cards with your demonic buddies. The night is fun, but nothing out of the ordinary happens. <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah. How much? I mean, do we gamble? Well, let's have fun. Yeah, we're in a casino. Okay. Let's, let, maybe, something, maybe something out of the ordinary will happen now. Very tempted Shit. to just butt in and type something out of the ordinary happens. Look, there's a hole in the in there. That's, really that, work, that, that's your pope hole. A pope hole? Oh, I just realized I'm like not wearing this right. It's like flattened in a way that it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to bend more. <laughs> I'm going in my pope hole. Maybe that'll fit better <laughs> now. I want to cover my eyebrows. I don't want my eyebrows to. <clears throat> I swear to God, every time I look at your chat, it's always "gur no, gur what?" Don't say that, gur. Because you say nasty things. I. What's so nasty about a pope hole? Nothing. I go in it all day. Billy Fingers <laughs> goes over to the nearest slot machine and puts in a shiny nickel. He pulls the lever and watches the reels spin round. A crowd has started to gather around you. They're angry with your crimes and forming a lynching party. Lynch the oh. demons, they've escaped from hell and have come here to destroy <laughs> our virtuous souls, one man shouts. Wait, can I do something? Yeah, sure. it's to take that guy's soul. Because <laughs> that's what I would have done. Billy Fingers destroys that man's virtuous soul. Yo! And Kofsky with a super gift. <laughs> the virtuous souls of gamblers at a casino. <laughs> They're like talking out yeah, their ass about themselves. Yeah, that's a lot of shit. He's talking a lot of shit. I wish you two both would end speak. Okay. Easy. Easy. Simple. Billy Fingers turns around and points at the shouting man. He turns into a statue made of obsidian and then shatters into countless stars of stone. <laughs> have some more fun, everyone. The demons have infinite money, shouts a clueless bystander <laughs> as money is <laughs> out of his pocket. <laughs> the crowd gets angrier because they're rushing at you. Just some random <laughs> dipshit 
has coins falling out of his pocket. He's like, Demon, oh, have infinite 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 money. Infinite money. Can I say something? Can I do something? Can we swap turns, Gar? Yeah. Uh, for now. Okay. No, just yeah, just for this round. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this guy figured out the infinite money cheat in real life. These fools are after our infinite money! Kill them all! Doobie cries, summoning tubes full of knives to put the men in colorful dresses out of their misery. <laughs> the three of you head towards the casino's front entrance, only to find several more men with guns waiting for you. Damn, okay. we gotta fight our way out of this casino. I, it gave us a new detail that the men were all wearing colorful dresses. <laughs> I guess they were fancy. That's nice. Were they like, They're all dead. cool ones? I sliced them up in tubes. Alright, here um... we go. I got this. I would love to do Rhythm Heaven stream. Uh, depending on, on the results of this, I may just start over on it. I just want to give this a shot. That's fine. The Pope will see you now. <laughs> okay. Bob and the Blaster uses his powers to utilize the Tilda Key. With this, he is able to kill all nearby hostiles. Bob makes a few hand gestures and metallic keys of all various alphabets appear. Then he starts lobbing them at surrounding enemies. <laughs> That's a confusing attack. You just like summoning... summoned a bunch of keycaps and threw them. Summoning metallic let me, keys. Let me hit enter. Alphabet? You probably should have said like opens the console. It would have No, I, I so wanted it to be big on purpose. Do some lit RPG bullshit. Yeah. Suddenly, each of them has a letter Whoa. on their forehead. C, <laughs> Keep going. First one who What's falls over dead. You, Buzz. <laughs> I hope it's not N and T. <laughs> or C, K. Oh, okay. Good job. See you. He's, just, he's saying bye. He's saying see you. Before you know it, T. the entire group is dead. T, Bob says <laughs> to the next one who falls over dead. Within moments, you've cleared out the enemies. You've entered the front door of the casino. It's time to have some fun. <laughs> we uh, edit, I'm gonna edit the walk laugh. back in. <laughs> Are we? We're in a different casino now. Like we walked no. out of one. And no, we just walked back, back in. We weren't. We weren't done playing. No. We got interrupted by them. <laughs> yeah, okay, here you go, Trog. It's your turn. No, I want to go back in and keep gambling. And Trog, if we're gonna do that, then Trog could say he goes. Back I mean, in. we haven't left. Yeah. With this, we haven't left. Oh, glad that's over. Let's get back to gambling. That's how they get you. We're demons with infinite money. We're doing this for fun. This demon used just spells out the word cut to kill everybody. Wait, I think you have a gambling problem. Let me tell you that anytime there's virtual gambling in a game and it's fun, I almost always go full whole hog on it. And now that I actually have money, I think going to a casino would be the worst idea. And I would need to go with friends that are smarter than me. I, I am the anti you because if I lose three dollars, I am going to walk away in anger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, generally I'm the same way. I think what I would do is if I went to a casino, I'd bring like a couple hundred bucks and like leave my wallet at home. Like just bring my ID and some cash so I can't like that's, go to the ATM. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. That would be dangerous. I would love I to go it. to casino. Like though. if I don't win money, I I lost. And if I and so the casino is the worst place because it's always in their favor. At the moment, no, I will not go to a casino because of the pandemic. The casinos suck. Nowhere near as fun as in video games. I've brought twenty dollars, lost it all, and hated every minute. I don't play. I don't like guys' games. I just don't think they're fun. Are you telling me the house always wins? Is it my turn? No, it's, my no, it's turn, not. Yeah. It is your turn because we swap turns. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... Uh, of course, Doc Jackal. 
Billy Fingers smiles and summons a giant gold brick. This is demonic money. If you touch it, you will relive your most embarrassing memory. But it, be it can be used to purchase goods and services. Who wants it? I'll take it, Bob says before picking it up. That's worth a lot, Doobie replies. Are you sure you can handle that responsibility? How will you keep it safe? Well, I meant uh, for somebody else to touch it, not one uh, of us. Gur, you should just type in Bob, like, in, with a story prompt, Bob relives his most embarrassing memory, the memory of, and just let it fill that in. I would love yeah. to see what that does. Yeah, sure. I don't like the casino in Tower Unite, just because Tower Unite money is, like, worthless. And also, there's better the ways to get it. Fun games in Tower Unite. Yeah, I like the arcade in Tower Unite, which is sort of gambling. Yeah, Different that's time. just like gambling with more fun. Okay, yeah, let's see what happens. It's gambling, but toys are on the line. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Bobbin remembers the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to him. It was the time that he wet himself after drinking way too much <laughs> milk. He was only three at the time, and it was an accident, but he still remembers it all too well. No, those days are long gone. I'm a demon now. <laughs> <laughs> that paragraph is so good. It's a great, 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 great paragraph. Super. I'm glad it turned out to be something that you just would not be embarrassed by. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what my most embarrassing memory is. Doobie smiles and touches the brick for fun. He really he relives his most embarrassing memory, the time when he was potty training and sat on Moira's favorite loaf of tea leaf. <laughs> it like fucks <laughs> up. I want, I, want I want another one. I want it. I want another one. Reroll. The time when he wet his pants at a very important martial arts contest when he was a black belt senior in high school. He has long since gotten over it, but the memory of everyone laughing at him is still painfully vivid to this day. Another one. I want more embarrassing <laughs> memories. That's just a great thing for the AI to generate. He smiles and touches the brick for fun. He relives his most embarrassing memory. The time when he wet himself during a school play in front of all his classmates. Ha ha, that was a good one. Let's see what else is in here. More <laughs> memories? In my brain. Wait, it not, it not only makes you relive your memory, it, like, projects it psychically to everyone around you. I added something else. <laughs> Why is it all piss stories? Doobie relives his saddest memory, the memory of his father leaving him. Soon you're all sharing embarrassing and sad stories using the gold. By the end of it, you're ready to use the evil key of Tepest to release the demonic Teh at your command. Teh! That's quite a left turn. All I right, thought, we're just I summoning thought, another hey, demon now, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm like zoning out. I thought your story was about Cowboy. Oh man, that's not anymore. Oh, have you freed me, poor souls? The tiny winged creature asks, grinning at you all. all right, it's a, it's a tiny demon. Trog, it's, it's your a little turn. pixie demon. <laughs> it's a little baby demon, but he's very evil. It's still Cowboys. Yeah, this is a casino type music. I like it. Music to gamble to. Ah, oh, uh, shit. I need to glue this thing to my head. You need a cowboy hat. Billy Fingers addresses Tay. Mighty Demon Tay, I require more power. <laughs> more power. Please teach me to unleash the full fury of my demonic abilities. What kind of powers do you want exactly? Asked Tay. I want to control people's minds, Billy asks. Let's each Not ask a for a power. Yeah, I'll ask for a power. I bet we could do that already. Yeah, that seems like if I can turn people into statues of obsidian and shatter them, I feel like that's. The like strings are in the impressive. back, though, Bono 3. They don't really, like, work like that. They're also really short. Like, I. They wouldn't fit, see? They only go this far. Bob in the cool. Blast says, and I want the ability to merge hell with Earth. Hmm, two very different powers you want. Let me see what I can do. Great, just great, Tay says, shaking his head. 
The both of you, the both of you together, couldn't even open the box properly. What? I think he's talking about the train. Deleted. No, no. Are you he talking, talking about the train? About the crates on the train? I just had such a good idea. Yes, the train will take you to someone who can give you your powers. After okay, no, that's. Here, let's let's re. Do you want to re-roll that, Gur? Your what? What it give you? Okay. Uh. What? What happened? Uh. I don't know. It like. It. Well, how about you read that one, Trog? Okay. What? Doobie says in shock. This will be easy, Tay declares. S simply speak the incantation and... Suddenly Billy's eyes roll back into his head and he falls backwards. Tay opens his arms, catching him. Okay, now I'll try again. Chat, you want to see something actually, scary? Actually, let's see what happens. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't ever use my powers for evil again. Whoa there, partner. Hey, he says, this is powerful stuff. You need to be careful with this. But you should be able to control people's minds now. Billy slowly begins to get up. Got a power up. Now you got to get your power. No, Wayne! Oh, I thought it was my turn. No. I, have to, I had to restart my turn. Pope Dimodome! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pope Dimodome! I'm Pope Dimodome! Omar Order of the Vatican Dimodome! The Dimsdale Vatican. Hey, give me the power to merge hell with Earth! Tay puts a hand behind his back and pulls out a large book. He begins to page through it. Press enter. I'm I'm pressing I'm pressing the enter. The Hell Earth Conundrum. Hmm, there was a time when where this would have been easy, but the solution has become fragmented over the years. It needs to be put back together. I'll need paper for this. Should I hit enter? Uh let's let Wayne Wayne do your power so that Wayne, he Wayne stop doing whatever the fuck he's doing on stream right now. Give him some power. Or paper. You're such a fuckhead. Look at you. <laughs> You're a real asshole. I want the power to have fun whenever <laughs> I want. Who does it, Tay asks. The power to have fun is a powerful one, but it isn't something that can be taught easily. Learn these. I think you need to find joy in life, Doobie. <laughs> so I get a power and you two just don't really get anything. Uh, oh, wait, no, I, I got this. I didn't even get to pick my power. Just decided. Yubi just squeezes Ted and yells, Give me the power! Ted sighs a bit, then raises his hands. A tremendous pressure then fills your very soul, lifting you into the air. You close your eyes, taking a deep breath as you feel absolute and pure power fill you up. Gotta press enter. Yeah. What, what could possibly happen? When you open your eyes again, you are back on the boardwalk. Doobie stands beside you, looking around in confusion. What happened? You unleashed your inner power, you explained to him. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna re-roll that. I don't know what that re -roll means. Re-roll that. What, are they, what boardwalk? What the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> and a tremendous energy... Wait, hold on. And a tremendous release of energy occurs, flooding your body with incredible power. You open your eyes to see Doobie lying on the ground, laughing as Tess smokes from his fingers and has a turned a darker color. What? what? Maybe re-roll that again? Yeah, like what? Am I looking at my own body? It's getting confused as to who the subject is. Mothman says we should do a spirit gun. When you open your eyes, you gaze at your new self. Uh, Press enter hand. again. I haven't heard this song in so long. I love this song. Thank you, Seal. Computer, can I get a hat wobble? I'm trying. It's hard. 
You're unrecognizable. You feel like a god. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mighty Tsetch. Tsetch. Don't mention it, Tess says, chuckling. Okay, Doobie's leveled up. But that, <laughs> that power just lets up. me... That power just lets me have fun. <laughs> is he a Flargenstau? I can't do it. This thing is too unstable. Is that from Warhammer? Stench? Billy Fingers points at Tay and makes them explode into a crimson mist of viscera, killing them instantly. Now I am the stronger one. You move with perfect speed and grace, your hands flashing forward to burst the Tzinchian Psyker into a mist of crimson gore. Oh, wild. Alright, my turn. I'm the Dark Pope now. Apparently, Tzinch is like a Warhammer 40k thing. Yeah, chat was saying that. You're like an ETG? I had no idea. What is ETG? Bobbin also demonstrates his power by rebuilding the moon in the image of a blood moon, causing wolves to cry out all around you. You turn to Tay's book, ready to find out what else awaits you in the book. When suddenly everything goes dark. Oh, you know I have to hit enter. What's happening? What the fuck did you even just type? What does that mean, bro? <laughs> what? Says, Wasn't this supposed to be about cowboys? Yeah, but things happen. We found a gem. We found a brown gem with a tentacle in it. What do you want? You find that your expanded consciousness has grown powerful enough to break free of the fragile shell of Billy's body. What the fuck? It's not Billy's body. Change it to Bobbin. Yeah. You leave it as a husk and fly upward through the silo? Wait, so has the demon inside of Bobbin now burst out of Bobbin's body? Hold on, I'm re-rolling that. <clears throat> you feel yourself suddenly grow, your strength growing as your body stretches towards the sky. You feel powerful, <laughs> immortal, like nothing else in this world can harm you. Then, just as suddenly as it began, it ends. <laughs> so you just got really big for a couple of seconds and then went back down Shit. to normal size. All right, hold on. Uh, one last thing. Here's the silo. Oh, fuck. It's been a while since I've had this effect on me. <laughs> I look fucking nasty. I love the green stench hue. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm having fun Bob, tonight. We're just chilling Bob in the blaster says, shit. <laughs> you gaze around you at the many corpses and destroyed equipment that litters the inside of the building. You saw a bright light as your growth spurted, and when it ended, you were here. Ew. I want to hear about your growth spurting. <laughs> Shut up. Doobie Jones uses his powers of fun to have fun. That nah, didn't listen to me. I had fun pa Oh, wait, it did. Read it, read it, read it. Oh, you dance on the corpses. Bob and the Blaster wrote, yeah, I'm bored. What else is new? Fuck. I gotta keep re-rolling. Broke. You laugh. Everyone around you laughs. Nothing is funnier than the moment you're in right now. The world feels like paradise. Suddenly, God's voice booms from the heavens. Oh, shit. Right. We pissed off God with oh, all of our shit. demonic... Doobie Jones, Tom sinner, Fuller. you believe your growth and power to be a blessing from me. It is not. You turn around suddenly. Bobbin does as well. Oh, shit. Hit, keep heading at her. <laughs> Billy Fingers is too busy laughing. <laughs> keep doing it. Are we finally getting our comeuppance from God himself? You sinneth, Doobie Jones. Your power is from the dark gods, the undying king, and ever slaughter. Release your allies from their mind control so that they may see the truth of their actions. This is sick. 
You sinneth Doobie Jones is <laughs> just a great <laughs> sentence. <laughs> it's like a weird novel. Your eyes turn around, Billy Fingers looks genuinely terrified, but Bob and the Blaster looks pissed while ZZ leads the charge of Lil Guardsmen against you. Hold on, let's re-roll that one. Alright, let's just let's let's end the long paragraph there. Let's have a uh, truck take your turn. God is talking to us. What do we do? I guess it was ZZ Top. Wayne, please stay away. Why would I do that? gonna get some we're gonna get some blasphemy in this ai dungeon story billy finger says i'm not afraid of god i am more powerful than him or anybody <laughs> you thrust your hands out towards god releasing a blast of psychic energy directly at his voice god bellows in pain before the force of your blow strikes you oh, dude i, I damaged you. god that's wild hold on he like re he like he like reflected the reflected, blow at you though. He reflected the attack, but That's I That's kind of sick heard in him. its own way. I can be even longer. How about real small? Uh That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'll just say this. This will work. Does that cover up the AI dungeon? Oh, it does. That's the problem. I'll have to be up here. Bob and the Blaster says, Your power, your power wanes. My power grows. This world is ours now. Your shield, <laughs> your shield holds against the Psyker's attack. Psyker? What the hell is a Psyker? I, yeah, this is just like oh, yeah. up the fucking I think it, I think it it's things are playing Warhammer, Warhammer now. now. <laughs> the god. Read it. What? Read it. <laughs> Shadows grow from the corners of the walls, casting over your allies. The ever-present red mist grows dark as your vision begins to fade. A perfect world is for, is forged in the warp. I got something. The warp drives you insane. <laughs> you insane. Holy shit. The warp is also Warhammer. Yeah, we we've we've segued from cowboys into Warhammer. I don't think anybody here has played a single second of Warhammer. I played Vermintide, but that's not 40k. I've played like an hour. Oh shit. Holy shit! Oh my god! This is, I think this is all shit from Warhammer. Yeah, it literally says Space Marines right there. Yeah. I think this story is, uh... It's, 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 it's course. Yeah. I mean, we could rewind and try to talk to God some more. We'd have to... I got... I know, I, I know how to fix it. It's re-rolling right now. It's not perfect, a voice says, as the man lays down beside you, drifting off to sleep. It's better. Is that a Warhammer guy? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Bob and the Blaster says, I reset the world. I the know. world reset. Your mind is driven insane by the chanting of trillions of voices, all saying this world is yours over and over again. The warp Holy is a kind shit. god, he says, holding his head in pain. Suddenly, a bright light of a bright flash of light and noise fills the room. You take a deep breath as everything turns to silence and darkness. Your head rests on the soft, warm skin of a woman you once knew. Whoa. Wow. The yeah, world is set. Doobie Jones says, I love God and Jesus, but God and Jesus loves you, Tez says, releasing you from your padded prison. Doobie wakes up slowly, rubbing his head as he crawls away from you. What happened? Billy figures, God... What? <laughs> Billy Fingers kills God. Fate is cruel. Time is uncaring.
God succumbs to his wounds. That's the dice such a good never quote. stop rolling. The world keeps on turning and all things must pass. We come into this world like butterflies, beautiful and free. We bask in the sun for a little while and then fly towards the light. Your mission succeeds. Holy Our shit. mission was to I kill killed God. God. I love I the line, God. God succumbs to his wounds. That's so metal. I have to Google search this to make sure it's not just <laughs> stealing this from something. It does not know what to do I, with what I just gave I it. I looked it up. That thing Weep that it said sinner. starting with <laughs> that that thing that it said starting with the dice never stop rolling is not from anything. That's it crazy. came up with that. God it Emperor came up with that. Weep sinner, God Emperor casts judgment on you. Hell awaits you are a great man, but your bloodline has failed humanity and will be purged from the men of the future. The warp overtakes you. Yeah, this is yeah, like this is all Warhammer. I mean, that killing God quote, isn't. That quote is something you'd see in, like, somebody's obituary. Bob and the Blaster loves Bobby for apples. That's so good. Billy, Billy Fingers sits on the throne of God. The boys all bob for apples at Sunday school while everyone else takes their places in the dark God's version of heaven. You sit on the throne drinking and smoking some strange herbs. The fire in your belly burns bright. This apple bobbing business is awful. Your head feels like it's stuck in a beehive. Ugh, ugh, ugh. You are filled with rage. The kids laugh and jeer. This is like some weird slam poetry now. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you throw like a girl the children taunt a strange strangled scream escapes your lips now now <laughs> doobie gets an apple from the bucket and has to read a bible verse from the cup he drowns in. <laughs> 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 he drowned trying to read a verse <laughs> oh like drinking <gasps> holy shit that's so funny I love that, like, as a front to God, their eternal punishment is just to go to Sunday school. No, no. Billy Bob Fingers the is the new God. The old God, Harris, is dead. Bob and the Blaster is in charge of the weekend parties. All is right <laughs> with your world. Goku <laughs> arrives to save the day. Hey, who changed it and said, yay, yippee, and you fucking changed it. I want to do a Sunday school game. No, I don't want to do the Sunday school. I want to continue uh, killing gods and becoming more well, powerful. Too late. Jimmy is next to Bob for Jesus Apple. The fire <laughs> rages in your heart. Life to you is a hated enemy that must be beaten into submission and enslaved to you. You take the burning brand from Papa Giblet's hand and clear it. H. Jesus That's Apples. so good. I love. God, life to you is what? a hated enemy that must be beaten into submission <laughs> is crazy. It is fucking crazy. Is that Somewhere in the deep, deep void of space, Galactus screams as he is brought into being. He hungers. That's not a quote either. Holy shit. I need to start like a Tumblr where Writing I just post down. whenever whenever AI Dungeon says something that has never been said before and is like poetic. Poignant. Nope, I'm typing first. Goku, you gotta stop Galactus before he eats the Earth! The town of Penguinville waits impatiently as the townspeople gather in their town square. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing my own thing now. Mm-hmm. The t the, your Sunday school teacher says you all have to play Ring Around the Jesus before you can bob for more apples. You remember the sweet, soft feel of Jesus apple in your mouth when you played before. <laughs> the thrill of victory. You hope all the children get a chance to feel that way today. <laughs> Just hit enter. 
I, I think a very fun story would just be like a day at school, like for kids. <laughs> what? God is dead. Nietzsche cries from his grave. Galactus, Galactus crashes to Earth, devouring the planet as we know it. There's no way we could stop him unless Doobie, Billy, and Bobbin revive. One last battle chat. Revive the ancient art of jiu-jitsu! Surely they can know they will use psychic strength of their minds to cause Galactus to die! And it's over. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. That is how it's done. Doobie writes the new Bible, much to the joy of his Sunday school teacher. You reach a hand towards the sun. You grip it and begin to squeeze. The massive ball of fire emits a loud squeak. Everyone, this is the sun. The sun is a baby. Please don't hurt baby. <laughs> the sun is a baby. Please don't hurt baby. <laughs> Galactus harnesses Galactus harness the power of the sun. He sets out to consume the earth one bite at a time. Did you know there's what? no chance at all of time? By terror. Wow, I did know that. There's no chance at all. You're 22 more times likely to be killed by a bolt of lightning. The earth quakes as Galactus lands upon it. Mankind is doomed. Goku teleports into Galactus' ear and tickles him. <laughs> you play punch the puppet and defeat Galactus. Well done, that guy's been punched. Cat wins the game for you. No time for the end of the world. Sunday school isn't over. You have all learned about the sweet, kind Jesus. You sit around and talk about how great he is. Goku sits down on the grass in the middle of the town. God is revived. God dies. The end. Congratulations, you made it through another Sunday. Another manic Monday. I hate that song. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Just another Sunday. Captain Picard arrives to see the scene before him. Good lord! The gang's mom takes them to McDonald's after Sunday school, he says, simply. God does a backflip onto his cloud. There he awaits the next game. Good job on making it through another Sunday. Press any key to continue. They all eat too much and feel sick. The gang beats you up and takes all your Pokemon cards. You die, but Jesus saves you. Praise the lord! Amen! Holy shit. Okay, I think if as long as you guys are up for it, before you wrap up, I want to do like one more thing. Mm -hmm. So here's what we could do. Personally, I love the idea of of going in on that Sunday school thing and just like doing a story <laughs> that's just kids and seeing like this fucked up idea of a classroom. Does that not sound hilarious? It does sound funny. However, that does sound funny. I don't know if I can stick around for that. Why not? Okay, then do you want to do then you do want to do a collaborative recipe and like not play a game, but rather use it for a non-standard purpose? We could yeah, do, sure. do whatever the fuck. Do one of those real quick before we wrap up. We'll do that next time, chat. We'll do that next time because all that Sunday school shit was making me. <laughs> 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 it is. What? I don't. That one sucks. I'm not gonna make that Wait. AI shirt. Hold on. No, God ordained it. I'm refreshing it. <laughs> I want God's new shirt. You must now sell a shirt that features a monkey in a spacesuit. Tell people it's Mark Monkeyfish seeing into the Grand Canyon for the first time. <laughs> Give people <laughs> the satisfaction that they're laughing at stupid non-existent entities like that poor stupid monkey. A skeleton having gay intercourse with a demon. Take this picture. <laughs> this is what all your shirts must feature. God does a mirror <laughs> somersault and lands on his chair. Do not question me again. You have three days. <laughs> <laughs> you have three days to make that shirt. What is that? I don't know how to do that, God. These tiny <laughs> hands. These tiny hands can't do it. <sighs> That's crazy. Let's get more God shirts. This is fun on its own. You can just keep refreshing this. It will cost. It broke. Because I refreshed it. Hold on. I'm going to. 
Oh, it will cost. It will cost me a pretty penny, says Wayne, but I think I can pull it off. Do not worry about the money, <laughs> says God. Anything you need shall be provided. All the profits of your online shoppers, a thousand Twitter followers, three tin cans, <laughs> and the filter from a cigarette. What is your answer? <laughs> all, right, all right, new shirt, male weight, a, a filter from a cigarette, and, that's and three good. tin cans, and give him a thousand Twitter followers. Hold on. I want to do something for you real quick, Wayne. Okay. Chat, next time we do AI Dungeon, you guys have to remind me about the, the Sunday School story because that, like, will be one of the funniest ones we've ever done, I'm convinced. Yes, can you describe a better shirt? Maybe. Could I trust you with that? Yes, says Wayne, but only time will tell if I follow through. Hey, that's literally oh, this true. Is pretty real. <laughs> <laughs> I hit enter. Uh, I need God to describe a new shirt completely of his own accord. I've also got something ready if it doesn't work. What? He yeah, oh, does good. not know what to do with this one. <laughs> Other child got it, Wayne. I love you. I'm going to kiss you. Here's three tin cans. I ponders a bit. A field mouse scurries by his feet. <laughs> he picks it up gently and says, No field mice were harmed in the making of this game, although several were killed for their sins. Well, he falls asleep waiting for you to write an ending. He's naked and reading a book and hot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hell of blasphemous. <laughs> oh, man. That's fucking awesome. I love how it has and hot. <laughs> and hot. And stops if it does. Your next shirt must feature a monkey in a spacesuit. It just must. This is not negotiable. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm going to refresh that a few times. Wait, there you go. I can't have a monkey fucking a demon in, with gay oh, sex. Oh no, just have a shirt with a monkey in a spacesuit in it. Seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time! This will unlock one ending, do you understand? God pulls a <laughs> piece of paper out of your chest. <laughs> what? Well, weird. Hold on, I'm, what does it read? Well, it reads the end. Oh. I was just oh. about to say, I, I bet you could write a David Lynch movie with this fucking thing. It wants a skeleton having gay sex with a demon. You have seen God's madness, holy shit. We could wow. do Game Chip in a spacesuit and then like a skeleton butt fucking a demon. Do <laughs> I don't that. think you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Uh, you could, it just may not sell. All right, this is a better Pepper Steak mashup. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's like a very metal idea of a skeleton fucking a demon. That's like yeah. definitely already a I thing. I can see that on it's like a, a death messy, metal like band shirt or something. Or sure. All right, final game. You ready? I'm going to start it. Okay. I'm ready when you are, fella. All right. What should our what should our, your your name doesn't matter by the way because you're never gonna use it. Yeah. What should our recipe be called? What should this be a recipe for? It's a recipe Here's my for famous recipe for pumpkin pie. My classic. Oh, you wanna yeah, go with how that? do I get in? How do I get in? I'm gonna this? send you a link in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, not pumpkin pie. Monkeys um... and peas. Monkeys and peas. Monkeys and super super stubbo in chat recommended that. I like that. Cheese burrips. Actually, cheese burrips is pretty good too. <laughs> oh, that would be really good. That's coming full circle. Maybe we'll do that one too if this goes if this if this gets over quickly. Enjoy Tori screaming. Uh, her uh, how do I get the link for you guys to play? Top right. Invite friends. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yep. Oh fuck. No one copy that. I'll be so mad if anyone randomly joins in there. There's that was no too way. long. Yeah. Here's the link. You're out of your mind if you think someone can't join. Here's that. my famous recipe for my classic monkeys and peas dish. Trevor's monkeys and peas. One can green peas, one can sliced death membranes. You open the peas, you open the brains, you mix the peas and the brains in a bowl. You put some bread into the toaster. Okay. Wow, that's easy. Step two, put the peas in a cup. Step three, put the brains in a cup. Step four, put together and enjoy. If you need help with anything, let me know. Hold on, I'm gonna delete step four. All right, who's going next? I'll go next. Classic Wayside Wham Burger. Oh shit, I did it wrong. <laughs> I forgot to click the story button. 
Yo, Synaptic Relay, thanks for the resub. Your subs are on my head today. See that? They're going straight to my brain. Step four, procure several large slabs of meat, such as chicken, pork, lamb, and other prize meats savored by <laughs> vampires. Step five, drop all but one into the pot of boiling water for three minutes. <laughs> step six, peel off any fur or hair. Step seven, go back to step four if necessary. <laughs> all right, Bob, you go next. All right, all right, all right. What do you do with the, the idea of cooking meat by boiling it for three minutes? <laughs> it's hot. Oh, it's boiling boiled. hotter than normal water. Uh. Which one do you leave out? I don't know. Whichever one you want. If you're not feeling pork, you leave out the pork. All right. I want. I want this to go to go in the uh... code Lyoko for it. I mean, you're not wrong. It's now gotta be favored by vampires. The sauce for the dish. You have to go into the vampire lord's room and steal his. And that's as far <laughs> as I can remember of the recipe. Oh wait, here's the rest of it. One can condensed milk. One can sour puss. One can. <laughs> <laughs> one can of sour pussy. Step eight. Start, start, start over. You over, missed you the line of the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> you take a bowl of peas and brains and you go to the vampire lord's room. You open his fridge. <laughs> oh no, it's pus. It's so pus. pus. A condensed pus. Oh, Alright, Gerd. Gerd, your turn. Alright. What I would do is write step nine to like make sure it continues the recipe instead of like weird bullsh like story plot for this like non-existent character. <laughs> Trust me, Malatrus, we could follow it up. This shit will never end. So, thank you, Casey. The <laughs> go ahead. Fry step nine. Fry it all up, good and hot, like Mama cooks it. You take the balls of peas and brains and go in the vampire lord's room. You open up his fridge, take out the milk, the sour pus, and the condensed pus. Step 10, make gravy from the blood of innocence. <laughs> wow. This is like a vampire's recipe. Yeah. We got demons, we got vampires. What the? Who? That's someone from chat. Wow. God damn it. Told you. Oh, get, get out of here. Room and put get out of here. Fucking... Get out of my room. Okay. Hey, the, we should uh, just they didn't restart they, like, and not back. show them make a, the link. Make a new recipe. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I did kind of fuck that up. I didn't realize. Hold on, we'll see if yeah. they we'll, we'll see if they listen. Maybe they'll be nice. Hey, I know who you are. I've seen your IP address. Are you doing step ten when it already says step ten? Yeah. I'm impressed, though. I'm a little bit impressed that you managed that. Hey, uh -oh. you just donated to me. Step 11. Pour a whole bunch of milk on the ground. Use a turkey baster to put it on the meats. Then drag it into the oven for 20 minutes on broil. Step 12. Disaster warning. Press the no disaster button to continue reading this memo. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything. It seems irrelevant. Do not try this recipe at home. Step 13. After disaster is averted, grab your drop the bowl of peas and brain from a high place, such as the stairs outside, onto the floor to crack the shells open. Step 16. Peel open the broken peas to remove the peas from their shell. <laughs> now you begin with the maker of the peas. Meal and enjoy the delicious taste of monkeys and peas. <laughs> you watch in revulsion as Noel immediately sticks a fork into her mush and peas and brings it to her mouth. <laughs> Alright, you want to start a second recipe? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that would probably be for the best. Remember to crank your monkeys and peas. <laughs> Good one. All right, here to to avoid that problem, you start you start the next recipe, truck. All right, I'll do the next one. <clears throat> yeah, that way we don't get interlopers. The donation message said, "Hello, this is Wayne's brain communicating telepathically. This is a cry for help. I'm being held hostage and forced to stream. Please help me." I mean, hey, I kind of am. Do that, you know. There's a part of my brain that says don't stream, man. The depression says sit there and do nothing, but I say no fuck you, we're doing it. 
and then I do it anyways. I give you your stream. And you love the stream! Blaze123451371, what are you talking about? A wayside wham burger? I don't get it. I don't understand. Ask get banned from the chat for being a- Hey, somebody else- Hey, get off- Get off my screen! You're- You- That- You are abusing free you, real estate. You've been so stupid to try and defy the master's will! <laughs> that sounds like something AI Dungeon would say. That is what something AI oh, Dungeon said. I closed the window and didn't read it. Sorry. We're gonna get a new t-shirt while we wait. I still got this tab open. All right, I made a recipe. Inviting my God makes his own t-shirt that has the catchphrase, I want to learn all your secrets. <laughs> Here you go. <clears throat> what was that? Yay, new game, new meals. This is the recipe for Sweet Daddy Slaw's Goblin Crust. Step one, you must find 100 pounds of goblin ears. Step two, you must grind them up into a fine paste. Goblins are very common in and around the draws region, so this should not be a problem. All right, I'll go next. Step three. Oh. Sorry, I got a phone call. I did a gross one. Good. Great. Step three, nice. use a little bit of spit to add viscosity to the mixture. You don't want it to be too runny since you'll be throwing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's this is not good. a meal for eating. This is a meal for combat. Right, we got a, do we have a, an order? Chat yeah, sailing. This is a Vinny song. I'm, telling, I'm being told it's not copyrighted. Yeah. They're telling me it's not copyrighted. It's not. It's not. It I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Who's going next? Me. Shit, okay, I don't know with that mango. I'll leave it on, fuck it. Who is this? Me. Go, read it. Okay. Step four. Don't forget the... What? Don't forget the earning sugar. Too much will make one explode, so don't add more than two cups. <laughs> After you've completed these four steps, then your goblin ear-based tossel cream will be good to go. <laughs> you will be ready to toss. <laughs> <laughs> now You'll be ready to toss. Now all you need is the rest of the ingredients. Some pixie blood, a dash of harpy spittle, snot from a giant red rat, and the brain of a dark elf. Alright, Bell. Damn. Your step. Spittle. What do you do with those ingredients? Yeah! I love this food! I'm huge! Fucking ripped! This is good God. for you. Ugh. It's like Popeye's spinach. Super! Remember, I can't really do Super! It. Remember to not let it sit for more than an hour. It will turn into a bouncy. So be sure to use it all at once. <laughs> it will turn into a bouncy. All right, Chalk, your turn. Bouncy. The other arm's big too, you see? Just not all the time. Do a coup de boo. I'm not going to do a coup de boo on stream. Step five, I I... uncover the mysteries of screaming yeah, cream, draw style. The enemy approaches, it is not known that he has a magical abilities. He might be a wizard, or he might simply be magical due to his race. You are not sure. Uh, hmm, let's fix that. Yeah. Let's just do... Let... How about, how about I, instead we re-roll it? Here. Because I want to see what it has to say about screaming cream. Step five summons the enemy, huh? It says Boggle Crunch. Uncover the mysteries of Ingle Creams with the rest of your gangrel buddies. Wait, you didn't type Screaming Cream? I, I no, it came up oh, with Screaming shit, Cream. Oh shit, that's good as fuck. I figured you typed that. No. Listen, it came I up could with that. I could do a Kudabu by using the distortion and putting my ass on cam, but I'm not going to do that cuz I think I'd get in trouble for that. Uncover the mysteries of Draws. It has been foretold that the Dark Lord will rise when the secrets of Draws are revealed. Now have fun. Uh, step 6. And what's the next step? Use the secrets to fill a bowl with flour. I won't show hole. 
into the shape of a man before firmly saying, The Dark Lord will rise when all are made subject to me! <laughs> Alright, my turn. Alright, what's the next up? Chat, you can make this dish at home. Is maybe Datapod a bot? Did someone make their own bot to, to promote the fighting game Discord? Or is that person just... No, you're not a bot. You keep posting that as soon as the word Discord is mentioned. They're subbed. They can't be a bot. Unless they got gifted it multiple times. I know Datapod. He's not a bot. He just loves fighting games. I saw you do that. Okay, that's fucking... I'm sorry for accusing you. I saw you do that twice and I was like, oh shit. Oh! All right. Now that you followed all these steps, there are some very important rules to follow. Rule number one, don't talk about making a creamy pie crust bomber. Rule number two, you can make as many as you want, but when you die, you must make, take the recipe to your crate. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell anybody this recipe. You know what, Knox? What's the command? Whose turn is it? I don't know. Ball? Well, I think it's Ball's oh, turn. Apparently I don't have that. I thought I had infinite coins. <laughs> Sorry, Nox, I tried. Oh, shit. You almost have that many. I'll give you 9,000. There you go. Enjoy. I don't care if this gets DMCA'd. This, in the past, hasn't gotten DMCA'd. So I'm gonna hope it stays like that. Rule three, if you do eat it, then make sure you take a swig of Ferberus juice before throwing it. There are no rumors of some bad side effects to eat the rich, creamy pie crust. If you happen to get stomach cramps or fever in the middle of a rash, do not fret. This is relatively this is a relatively harmless side effect, but the effect should wear off in a matter of days. Also, by following these instructions exactly, you should have a tasty friend. pie crust that add, does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the pie will kill you. Did it add that? Yes. Holy shit, that's amazing. Hey, I ha I had it make up the rule three entirely. I didn't like finish the sentence. So it, it came up with that. I'm gonna kill Newmans! <laughs> oh, Jerry yeah. Newman. By Bree scored seven. <laughs> Eat the pie. Eat the pie die. and die because it is actually a bomb that explodes in your stomach due to all the Urbingus. <laughs> Urbingus? <laughs> what is Urbingus? Urbingus is not something that exists, that is a word it made up. <laughs> Too much or bingus. <laughs> I think yeah, I'm gonna sucks. die. You've got too it all wrong. Bingus. There's too much of bingus in the pie. Step eight, become pregnant, pregnant with a child. If you have managed to tap yourself with a pixie, congratulations, you are pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. As your belly gets bigger, you will be able to name your child before it is born, unless you're a guy, in which case you only get a few days with your newly born daughter before she's whisked away. What? <laughs> the second way a person can become pregnant is by doing nothing and letting Mother Nature take its course. If this is the case, then you just need to sit around and wait for the child to come. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Reproduce asexually? I guess. Step nine, have your pregnant child. Step nine, that's when the... I think we both tried to do a step nine. Yeah. Congratulations, your child has been born. You may now move on to step 10. Any smart lady with a little extra money will go. What? Well. Whoa. Damn, what the <laughs> fuck, AI kind of dungeon? Listen, I'm pro choice, but not everybody needs an abortion. What? At some point, if your daughter has decided to read a book for three years or insist on repeating grade one three times. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, patience is a virtue of mothers. Once the soothsayer comes and tells you it's time, the child will be born within an hour. Give or take a few decades, although this is extremely unlikely. What is happening? We're just going with the flow now. The most important rule, never... 
the child is born, <laughs> its first words are never look at, never, well, no, it's the most important rule. Never, ever look at your child. Do not try to reason why this rule exists. It just does, and it has for thousands of years. The child is born, its first words are, I am old. It knows all and sees all. Of course, a new, as a newborn, <laughs> it can't do much except cry a lot and poop itself, but still. Oh, my God. A child being born and immediately says, I am old. <laughs> <laughs> Knows <laughs> all and sees all. Holy shit! Hey, get hey, back into uh, the demonic territory. Hey, I, I, ha I have an idea. What? Actually, Happy no, birthday, I Nox. Idea, the second it. most important rule next time on Iron Chef never! It is really important to not look at your child. If you must interact with it, talk to it from me on the doorway or use a walkie talkie. Want to participate in creating part of the next Dark Age? Send all ideals <laughs> to joesparrow at gmail.com. <laughs> Step 11. No, if your child is born at gmail dot. Step 11. Yeah, if your child it's not is... at gmail.com, it's at gmail. If your child is born in reverse, remember to note the following steps can be performed in any order as long as step one is completed before step 12. During this time, you should keep your child away from hospitals. What? Hey, hey, don't send anything to that Gmail account for real. <laughs> no! Did it no. do that? It did. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Just the world the reset. Oh, no. Yeah, it doesn't know what to say. This music is perfect. It's this drone. The final rule. Rules to live by in the zombie apocalypse. The Zombies, fuck? you wake up one day. Okay, hold on. not look into your child's eyes if you do it will stop time your time not universal time just your time Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you if you have make eye contact that. with your child you will be frozen in time hey, forever if want, hey if you want cool ideas that's a superpower right there everything for everyone else will move forward exactly as it should except for you you'll be locked in this moment of course this moment is a pretty sweet moment <laughs> This has become ominous baby hour. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not speak or be spoken to by your child or the first thing that you're be- Wait. Do not speak or be spoken to by your child or if you do, the earth will rip open and swallow you whole. If anyone tries to save you, they'll be swallowed up as well. Your existence will be forgotten instantly. The first thing that baby will say to you is you wouldn't want that now, would you? You look old. At first, you'll laugh and think this is some kind of cute thing that all babies do. <laughs> then you'll realize it's true. You'll find yourself in middle age, then onto old age. The baby is aging you. Mario Wahoo! By the time the baby is a young adult, you'll be an old person suffering from dementia. The amount of knowledge that'll be flooding into your brain will be more than you can handle. This is when the laughter starts, the ability to transform into an altogether different person. One of the greatest powers a mortal can acquire is the power to transform into another person. Why some are given this power while others aren't is still a mystery. An eerie cackle that'll give you nightmares until the end of your existence. You'll forget who you are and where you came from. In the end, your family will abandon you in an asylum. Bad. In the baby, your f baby then say, I want a soda, and the baby will become your father, and you'll fulfill that wish instantly by killing the next person who walks through the door and giving them a forced bottle feed with their blood instead. And holy shit. And that is how, if you followed all these steps, you should have a delicious couscous your whole family will enjoy. <laughs> Dearfully yours, <laughs> Iron Chef 593. Hey, why'd you guys go away from, like, the dark tone we had? It was good. And you guys started talking about Mario and pizza. Spaghetti. We had a good vibe going. Although I do think the 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 couscous thing was really funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
This has gone. This has gone all over the fucking place. Yeah, I think we extracted everything we could out of this, maybe. Hold on. I want to listen to Papa Joe's tale. Oh, shit. Mario starts cranking it. As you all know, I run Papa's Pizzeria. It's a pretty nice place. Although we are having problems with money, along with every other business in town. The President of the United States of America, then I see the light. Hold on, I'm gonna go back. I wanna go back to the baby story. This song is dope. The baby will come to you each night and ask that you never forget and you never want to. The baby will demand you. You secretly wish you had never been born. You secretly wish you hadn't bought her a gun. You. The baby will demand you buy its favorite snacks, and in between filling snack requests, you'll wonder if this is what it means to be happy. Meanwhile, next door, Mario is cranking his hog like never before, but mostly you secretly <laughs> wish someone would come and help you, and that wish will be granted. He's screaming something about bananas and Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know the credits are on screen. We're wrapping up. Maybe kills Mario as you expected it would. Maybe you should have gotten two guns. You think as you're blasted from behind, blood squirts out of your body like a wild river of gore. Death runs on death runs on fumes when the baby's through with you. What the <laughs> fuck? You <laughs> died so sense. hard. Holy shit. Death. That is an incredible sentence to say. Death will run on fumes when I'm done with you. All right. They're all the trial, of course, but the verdict is clear even before it starts. Everyone agrees she should be executed. Her and the monkey that spawned her. They're calling me that? <laughs> well, they won't you, find your body, You're though. the game champ. I guess. Yeah, how about it, Pigeon on a Chair? Let's look at fan art. Oh, wait. Wasn't I going to play Fall Guys? You were. Oh, yeah. Hey, I guess the stream's not over. We'll look, at, we'll look at fan art, and then we'll chill out, and we'll play some Late Night Fall Guys. Well, Let's if you don't want to watch Fall Guys, it's over. Demon only just came back on how Yeah, I'm going to bounce. Hey, I got to go to bed. <clears throat> yeah, we'll look at some fan art, and then we'll play some Fall Guys. That sounds like a good time. Let's see what AI Dungeon has to think about that. Wait, plays Fall Guys. Yay! It ignored me. What? But when one mentions that their child has been growing at an alarming rate, the police are called in and find a dead clown in a room that isn't a bedroom or even part of the house. That's some... That's good. I don't know what that is. Good night, Trog. Good night. Good night Trog. Valve, do you want to play some Fall Guys with me before you go to bed? I streamed myself and now I was on your side. <laughs> That's fair. Good night, chat. Check it out. Check it Wait, out and own you. You know what? Scorpy's streaming right now still, right? Yeah. I'm just going to raid him. I think that's better. But let's look at some fan art. Stick around for the raid. Let's give him those big numbers. Raid, raid, raid. Wait, Maybe I'll come back. Guys. Maybe I'll come back with some super boring. late night Fall Guys. Ooh, What'd you say? I said you play Fall Guys and everyone leaves because it's boring. <laughs> Did it generate that? Yeah. See, I shouldn't stream it. It'd be boring anyways. And why do you say doubt that? What if I go live at 2 a.m.? No one would stop me. <laughs> no one could stop me. We'll do some uh, super late night fall, guys. We'll be up all night. What do you mean, uh? I mean, uh, as in, uh, I'm trying to think of something. Bitch. Shit, Ed. All right, don't leave because we're going to raid Scorpion. I gotta get this fan art thing ready for you guys. This green's a mess right now. Shouldn't still work. Oh fuck.
Yo, here we go. Here we go. Fan art on the way. Gur, if you get something funny, you're gonna have to read it out loud because I, uh, I don't I'm have closing it. that tab. I don't care anymore. Okay, you're all done. All right, let's take a look at some of our fan art here while we listen to the last media shares. Mick, hi. My power went out 10 minutes after the stream started, but I drew this while it was out. This man beats. I don't do that. I. pretty dope thing to be able to do just be like yeah i could do that for you thank you dank dudes for the sub <laughs> baby pope for a day yo the media share's over did we actually reach the end holy shit we did it we did it we did it i made good on my promise we did it everybody fuck yeah it's about if your, time if your media share didn't work for some reason or like it just got fucked up i'm sorry Hopefully, it, hopefully, very few of them did. I can put on my own music. 
You know what it's time for. We've heard it twice tonight. We're gonna listen to it again. Because it's just, it's so good for wrapping up stream music. Garfleend, I love that. Thank you, Pigeon on a Chair. <laughs> Thanks, other child. This is a good contender, too. I'm not sure if I'd rather have it be art of my face or just like a bad screen cap. I really like this art, but I think the bad screen cap is super funny. Thank you, other child. Breakfast champ. Draw on the Dark Pope. More Dark Pope art. Thank you, Polite Sheep. <laughs> My face is real small. Father Diddy. I look so kind. I look like I'd make a good Pope. I'd look. I'd make a good-ass Pope. Thank you, Wurmpy. It's a spoiler. Oh, God. Oh, spoiler for Eye Strange. Oh, this is awesome! Fuck yeah. I look like some kind of whimsical villain. I really, really like that Strange Puppet. Thank you. Jam ham. Oh, I got a full body here. Damn, I look like I could stab somebody's eyes out with that thing. It's sharp. It's a weapon. Dummy, dummy. Dummy, yo. Dummy, no, no, yo. I DMD you the pic of your face I used in the shirt on Discord. Suki no, Suki, Suki te. Dore da ke. Hey, hey, media shoes are over, Casey. Ah, fine. You donated for it. We'll let it play. You interrupted, my, think. you interrupted my Baka Mitai. Yeah, I don't have the delay set up for that. I have the delay set up for media shares. Thank you, Casey. You donated a lot tonight. I'm not going to shit on you for, for donating for more media shares. Let's keep going. Fake fact source. I got excited over the idea of tiny little cowboy demon giving you fucked up powers. It's Te! I love Te! Was it out of sync? I'm guessing it was. Arsenic well, kneecaps. Oh, I remember this one. It's always relevant. Little Mimikyu with Long Wayne. I like I got a I got a quaint little smile there. That's cute. And I like the wispy nature of the hat. It looks more demonic than holy. Yes, there's so much Pope art! Dr. Bones, fuck yeah. I love my classical halo. A lot of Popal art. art. Long Wayne from Bre <laughs> I got little tulip eyes. Thank you, Breakfast Champ. Oh fuck the Dark Cowboy Trio! Hell yeah. I wonder which one is which though. Still looks really good. Thank you, Drawly. We never described a single one, so I can't differentiate it to them. There's just three of them. Thank you, Drawly. Gumi! Holy shit, this is so cute. I've got a little cat mouth. <laughs> Thank you, Gumi. What is this? Oh shit, it's Anonymous trapped in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good, Puppy Fluffy. Kind of a dick move. Thank you, Kieran. Here's my rendition of the characters from the first round of AI Dungeon. Oh yeah, what were our names again? There was Golf, Golf Worm... Uh, what were the others? Uh, Wimpy Za or something like that? Wibby Za? Tejas Philbin or something like that? Uh, Lurge the Large? Who's who? Well, I guess this is, I'm guessing the frog is Scorp. No, that's me because I have the golf. Or is that Wimpy? No, it's Wibby because he would go, he would go Werbit. That's right. Ribbit. That's awesome, Iliopteed. You did, you, you took so many liberties that like I, oh, hey, the donation's over. I can see, I can listen to Baka Mitai again. Oh, watch this. You, want, you guys want a trick? I can do it again no. better this time. I'm going to apply a delay, baby. 192. 192 delay. Now the music should sync up with me. But now Gur is also a couple milliseconds delayed. It shouldn't affect it, though. We're doing it again from the top. Bakami Tai from the top. Toby Doby. <laughs> Why do I have an Obama pyramid shirt? That would be an awesome shirt. I love this belt. These all look really fucking good. Toby Doby, you've been blowing it out of the park today. Detective Defective. I like this. Just me in the corner. I should put that on like the BRB screen. That'd be really good. Wayne's evil and fucked up moments. Listen, if you f fuck with me, I'll put you in a ball. He didn't fuck with you though. He was like- He talked to me. Hey, he talked like, to me. Like, <laughs> it's fucking with you. He talked to me. He wasn't supposed to. Hey, you look like you got an evil aura. Thank you, Jamaham. Adrian. <laughs> Very good use. Very good use of the reference up here. Oh, fuck yeah, Private Mumbles. This is the shit where you busted my head open with a bottle. Yeah. No, Wayne, don't put me in a ball. No. Oh, shit. Dame, dame. Dame yo. Dame nano yo. Anta ga. Suki de. Suki, suki te. Dore da ke. I don't know this part. 
I don't know this part. Baka mi tai. One day I'll know all the words. Breakfast champ, thank you. Who is this? Oh, it's Princess Game Chan, the Game Clam. I forgot about this. <laughs> real good, real good, Cowboy Hours. Oh, gross! It's the it's the old man with teeth shirt. See, antagonist Chan. I was thinking that too. I'll have to use lyrics the first few times. When karaoke stream when? We did that a long time ago in the past, but I'll definitely do Twitch things again one day. Fucking nasty worm but thank you. Mind flow, dark doobie and the tentacles gem. The little brown gem. The brown rune. Got it. I miss Joshua so much. Here's Holly when get kissed from pretty drunk lady. Oh, that's from her street. What is this? Oh, is this the Mountain Dew lean? Fuck yeah. You, you put it in Minecraft. Wait, 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 wait. Does, does, it, does it have a special name? I'm looking at the GIF here. This is elaborate. Bottle of Mountain Dew. <laughs> Good job. <gasps> this is really cute. Good job, Polite Sheep. Polite Sheep. The final bandit. Oh, you, you named them here. Sweet. Bob and the Blaster. Thank you, Jolly. Cole, watch out. <laughs> we shot Cole dead instantly. Fastest character death in AI dungeon, other than Claude. We'll be right back. Thank you, Jamaham. I love... I love all of this so much. Look at my fucking mustache. That's almost like Mario levels at that point. Kind of wish... I, I wish I could get my mustache to look like that, all fluffy and shit. Thank you, Ursa Wood. Thank you. What is, what is your name? Is small. Chaotical? Just tuning in, but I felt the need to draw... <laughs> I already forgot about Dave and Buckster, so thank you for bringing that back to me. Oh my god. What the fuck? Suki de Suki Suki te. Thank you, Dragon. Couldn't stop thinking about the Mountain Dew portal. So <laughs> Good fucking job. Thank you, Sasha. Kind of zone out for a bit from the stream, but here's some doodles. Oh, nice. You got all kinds of stuff. Oh, you got the train! And you got the shirts, too. Yeehaw! Thank you, Arcane Arts. Haunted Demons. <laughs> it's... Who, what was... Scorpy was Tejas Philbin. Thank you, yeah. Wormpy. Oh, we got Doobie Jones! Doobie looks too innocent for what fate befell him. Well, actually, no, because in the end, he just had fun at Sunday school, so that makes sense. Thank you, Drawly. The king of Dave and Bucksters. Doobie Jones. Oh, he's got Pope Cowboy hat. That would be dope! Yo, I need like a, I need a seamstress or something to turn this into a fucking cowboy hat. Like, make, like, take like this kind of Pope hat, but then turn it into a 10 gallon hat. Would that not be the sickest shit? And then we, we get some, we get some papal guns. That'd be fucking awesome. Pape, I'm sorry, some what guns? Papal, popal, whatever, whatever the popal. word is. Hell yeah, Gamzee. Popal. Whatever the shirt ends up being, it'll pretty much be like this. I absolutely want to make this though. Thank you, Gamzee. Oh, it's large! Holly would love this if her internet was still here. I love the I love the color scheme for the hammer. Or the color scheme in general is dope. Hell yeah, Bells. Billy Fingers. Yeah, Billy Fingers looking badass, rightfully so. Hell yeah, Drolly. <laughs> I feel like there's so much art you've drawn. Just in general, all of you, over all time, not just tonight, where like Gur is calling me some name. I feel like I've seen that many times. I'm getting mad deja vu. <laughs> It's almost as if it happens almost every Thank single time. Pope Jr. Baby Pope for a day. Deservedly so. Calzone. Gotta poison the Y. <laughs> the one tooth. The one buck tooth. Hell yeah, Calzone. Fuzz brain. Big Wayne 3 shirt you missed. Okay, chat, just pick the one you want. <laughs> They're punching the Cowboys button. I love this buff chat you've devised. Fucking great. I'm gonna poison the blood of Christ. Hell yeah. I look so I look so fucking evil. I look evil, but I look like I have none of the means to act on any threat that I make. Thank so you, mischievous. Pa yes, that's a better that's a better way to put it. Passport Guardian creating another downloading music shirt. What the fuck do I even call that shirt? I don't know. The 49 cent shirt? Jack, give me a name for the shirt. I <laughs> yeah, cinema machine. I you know, my music sale. for 49 cents. Music sale. Sale shirt. Music shirt. The piracy shirt. 
But it's not piracy. You're spending 49 cents on it. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. I have to type it out or it won't <laughs> make as much. Thanks, little mimic you. Here, I'm typing out my answer. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Jamaham. Oh, hell yeah, Demon Tiger was. <laughs> Good little edit. What did you type? I missed it. You have to still it there. To Is it in Discord? Music, music coupon. Music coupon? I like that. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, all one word. All one word. Oh, you made Lurge the Large hot. How'd you do it? I think you spare us, uh, Oh, look at this. That's fucking awesome. Cinema machine. Fuck yeah. This is rad as hell. Tiger Woods true form. The phrase I, I the phrase iconic Arnold Palmer alone made me draw this. Hello, I'm the iconic Arnold Palmer, bartender extraordinaire and crowd favorite. Here have some lemon cough syrup. Oh, uh, you guys are making my night. Do not click on the Streamlabs merch link. I told him to stop doing that, and he's still posting it. It's not where you can get me. <gasps> Don't you hate when you get one of your favorite songs in the queue? loud get kicked out of the channel bitch you're I'm, loud i'm not gonna do it to you wait did i lose my place what is this shirt yeah, i scrolled, I scrolled past a bunch oh fuck god damn it oh no where was i near the top you were actually almost done oh shit hold on we're almost there we're almost there thank you streamer thank you drawly the nice lurge art Mal Havoc, how to make lemon lean. Do not follow this guide. I don't endorse this. You, This won't do anything. This will make your house blow up. You need to be careful. It'll make chlorine crystals and, and mustard gas. Don't do it. Thank you, Mal Havoc. The other child. <laughs> you do the Gungan and the fucking, the no minor. He was a dwarf, but it's still good. Thank you, other child. Thank you, Jamaham. Drawn Wibbly. Wibbly figuring out their destiny of golf. We stand a gnome frog wizard warrior. Hell yeah. I like the little star cap. Nice job, Drawly. Little Mimikyu. <laughs> you took, you interpreted Claude literally. Just a fucking lump falling out of a painting. How did I snap that thing's neck? I'm too tempted to sing along. We gotta skip songs. Oh, we got all kinds of Wibby designs. We got the Gungan. We got Wibby. Hell yeah, M. Todd. <laughs> I love this, like, heart-shaped face. That's such a good design. I have to tell myself about golf so I can invent it. Thank you, Maddie. Oh, we got the whole crew with a big truck dog in the back. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you, Drawly. We got Holly as a wizard. Unrelated, but good. Are you solid? Whippy za! Color splash! <laughs> Drawly's still in the show. There's so many Drawly pieces. The first thing that happened in my head when I read golf worm, a literal golf worm. This is like when you this is like when you have those apples with a worm crawling through a hole in it. But with a golf ball. That had to be a strong fucking worm. My brain short-circuited with doodling like this. This is me with my giant ear. <laughs> we hadn't quite figured out the golf worm design at that point in the story. I saw this on Twitter. I really like this. I really like the the fucking this man. This man looks dirty and fucked up with the biggest ears trying to listen for MP3s and maps. Thank you, Mind Flow. Oh, and that's where we started the stream. Holy shit. You made this? You made a baby puppet? That's a fucking good. Yo, let's raid sock pens. Let's raid Scorpy. Everybody hop tally ho for the raid. Let's give him let's give him a blast of yours. Let's join him in his Blade 2 quest. Holly ho! But before we go, you know what we gotta do. Good night, everybody. Thanks for a great stream. Maybe I'll be back with Fall Guys later if you're up late at night. Who knows? That could happen. Bye bye. We fly, no lie. Yeah. You know it's it's my... oh, God, I still gotta get that. <laughs>